mean, Ben's only got 223 behind. I mean, it's kind of an all-in or a fold, isn't it? Yes. And I prefer a fold. Pot's 410,000. No, it's not. No, sorry. It's 634,000. Thank you. Wow. Are they going twice? Yeah. Uh, a king ball is dead. I saw one. Spades are dead as well. Obviously, and there's ace king. Oh wow, just wasted. Yeah. So sick. And first one goes to Ben. Six hundred and thirty-four thousand dollar pot. Ben is on his way to having the biggest night on our stream for him. Yep, and he's gonna win them both. Oh, wow. <laughs> you really was this head? Sorry for knowing where I'm at, Wesley. Wes, come on, what are we talking about, man? No coaching. <laughs> Wesley's laughing at his opponents, and I'm here for it. I swear he has a night queen, night queen. Nick checks. Barry's got to bet this. You got to bet that, Barry. Come on. You might win. I don't know. Ooh. Do you have and he does wow. win. That's the case 10, by the way. That's Professional. <laughs> Such an insane price here. When you when you bet half of the effective stack, it's just really really hard to pull. And I show you no. my hand after, and then if, if you win, I give you ten thousand. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. Living thing. way here. But well, look at this bet though, 20,000 into 10,000. He's betting 2x pot. Garrett putting maximum pressure on Bertucci. The Nick Foles, look at that. Just a power play from Garrett. She just snap moves all in. Ronnie snap calls and Ronnie's gonna need some help. Oh, wow. You have a coin? 
What a river. Wow. Oh, I knew it. I thought for sure one good. Garrett just wins himself $43,000. Took a chance, could have looked like a genius there, and unfortunately for him, his ships head over to that man right there, G Man. Kings beat him, aces beat him, three queens beat him. If he's, at, if he's having crazy thoughts, I think he's gonna put himself in a world of hurt. No, he just calls. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. It's still a $170,000 pot. 85.5 goes to Garrett. I have a seven suited a big belly like a dad that has <laughs> done. Bro, why you light me up like that? Wait a minute, I got a little belly. Did you have like a clutch in it? No, I get bloated and then my stomach gets huge. I'll go all in. You have 10,000? Oh, yeah, definitely 10,000 at least. It's not much more if you want to call. How much do you have? That's a dealer question, not a me question. I can't I do math. <laughs> you have a set of five, you know. I'm not good enough to mug, Mike. Nice hat. Uh, flush with a 10. Back to mouth is going to get paid. Oh. Or a nine or an eight. Deuce! Oh, I didn't know. Oh. One time. And Mike. Michael. All time. in. $50,000 pot. Chris just like needs to fade a six on the river. And Chris going to scoop a $50,000 pot. The way we could get a slow roll here would be if this money gets all in and then we bink a seven or a 10. That's how we can get a slow roll because Barry 100% thinks he won. So if we get a 10 or a 7, we will have the ultimate chance for a slow roll. And all these players know that slow rolling is a big part of this game. 10 or 7, one time. A 10 or a 7, one time. DJF. Washburn said no slow roll. Exactly. What are you doing? He just missed, like, the best opportunity for a slow roll. How? Do you not slow roll there? That's just bad etiquette. Not slow rolling there. Come on. A big pot here. Julie flops the nut flush. Uh, King Henry, who just bluffed it off with nine high, immediately flops the joint in the next hand. Julie needs a spade. Instead, the king is going to scoop. That's what's known as a cooler. What's this going to raise? Well, you get there. It's a big hand. Oh. So stupid. This is pretty bad. Just love played myself to death. Meaning oh. bad luck. Oh. Top set. Might get the job done, or he might just get it done right here. And look at that. Nick, you want to know what he had? I could give two. That's what he had. One time, Sammy. Oh, that's a good yes. flop. That's a good flop. All right. Oh, oh no, please don't do it. Oh, wow. oh well, yeah, he will. All right. Oh, he could catch a king here. Let's go, Sam, man. Sammy, put a king out or a nine. No offense, Ivan. Iman. Advantage, Iman. Wow. Slow roll, Iman. Ah. Slow roll. Look, watch. Oh. <laughs> He's really selling it. 
Oh! That a kid. There we go. What a great table. I love this. Oh, you had the diamonds too. That didn't make sense, but it was awesome. Man. Welcome to Max Payne Monday. The U.S. Poker Open, I, I cut 12 days out of my schedule to go play those events, and I had a, and I had a shot, you know, I mean, I had, in the last, like, five days, I had two seconds and a fourth, three final tables, and in the main event at 2 a.m. last night, less than 24 hours ago, I took some ridiculous beat uh, to finish 10th. Wesley, let me explain one thing to you. When a player likes you, who bluffs it off, gets the aces, I took the time because I, I thought, like, wow, the, my time yeah, yeah, yeah. might. Okay, it wasn't strategic so much as fear. I've got it. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Did Garrett just tell Ethan I got it and save him 66000 no, do it for the memes. Hold on, do it for the memes. It's a good clip. I think it's a meme. I think it's a clip. You right, let me see what I just said. You're trying to be grand on. You line on, you win this, bro? Look at the pot. This is a $25,600 straddle for Mr. Beast. He's had enough. I almost got coerced. I'm so glad I didn't do it. I'm so glad I didn't do it. It's going to go like nine bullets. You haven't folded yet. You owe me. You know what? You owe me, Botez, so I don't mind if you call. If you were, you know. Yeah. What about taking advantage of our stupidity? I'm, I'm so happy you said that. What about it? Literally, like, there's a call. Oh, are you trying to do that? The chips. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's stalling. Oh my oh. God. Oh, that's a three. Wow. So oh, she's wait. like, everybody pairs, oh but God. beast. Everyone but me. What is happening? Everyone but me. That means, that means there's six left for you, King. How in the hell? That's fine. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. I will literally tip you twenty thousand dollars. Nine, three, eight, queen. You better put a queen there in your best interest. Magic got twenty thousand dollars if you can put a queen on the river. He's he's praying. Twenty grand. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? Pays him off. Makes the call. Wow. Only a jack will save Alan. One jack left, and that is not a jack. Ten of clubs on the river, and Alex is now doubled up. She wins herself a hundred and two thousand dollar pot, and Keating on to bullet number three. Well, yeah, I'm all, what's my all-in button? What's that? Oh, no! Wait, wait, all in. I'm looking. All in. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna let you guys call it. Right? Hey, no, no way! No one's ever you lost three in a row, Keating. No one's she, ever she lost three. She's saying three times the charm. You know I do, right? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, I'll show the table. I'll make you a deal. I have king five. If you can promise me you don't have aces, kings, or ace king. I'm not, I'm not promise you anything. Give me no. your money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you only want the four, then you can take it. I'll Give pull. Me money. <laughs> One way or the other. Hmm. All right, I'm calling. Fuck it. Once. Let's go. No! All right. Oh my god. Not a hot start, not a hot start, but there's a lot of diamonds in there. <laughs> a lot of diamonds. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. Oh. Jack's full of aces. <laughs> Jack's full of aces. I'm battery for it. And the aces hold. XQC doubles up. I want much. He's like, help me. Bro, I got like five, two, six, two, five, nine. Like, I'm not even right, actually. That was like a pretty good speech. Like the uh... actually, what it was is he interrupted me, and I was like, "Well, fuck this guy." <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Put it on the Dolce Gabbana. I gotta tell you, you were not supposed to call this. Yeah. Wait, what do you have? Aces, then. I got nothing. That's an excellent hand. Oh, for what? Are you ahead? What a good call, Jimmy. Yeah. What a good call, Jimmy. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Are you ahead? I love that. Guy shows 9-4, are you ahead? I'm, never coming back. I'm not paying you back, I'm not paying anyone back. I'm just never coming back. Four pairs. You win. Let's fucking go. Woo! 
car can handle that. I thought for sure you are gonna fold. Oh my god. Bro, I was sitting there, I was just thinking, uh, I was like, I just gave this motherfucker 50 grand just for him to all in on me. You got it. Oh my it god. went through. It went through. Uh, what yeah, planet am I on right now? Let me just be like, I got you. And he goes, You said flush shop. Fucking crazy. 50,000. 50, oh. Wow. That is the definition oh, of a snap call. <laughs> And they're gonna run it twice. Quarter million in the pot, pretty much. 244,000 from Tom Dwan. First time goes to Dwan. They're gonna run it the second time here. And they both go to Tom Dwan, and Keating once again felted. And he has just uh, reloaded for another 100,000. I think so. I'm all in. All in. And Chris is going to check jam with Ace Deuce of Diamonds. One time. And one time, Queens versus Ace Deuce. Wasn't expecting that. Turns to seven, one time. Rivers and Ace! Oh! Rivers and Ace! Rivers and Ace! Oh my. Unbelievable, and he's out of there. Did he ever overlimp my hand like Queen 3 suited? And Garrett's gonna call. Good call. Oh. oh. And he makes the call. Right away, Reza is gonna win a hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollar pot and double through Krish. Look at Ronnie. <laughs> he's in it. He's happy. He's, he's, he's loving it, man. <laughs> I love it. I, wanna, I now want to go to a strip club with Ronnie. I mean, look at him. He's just having fun. Durr goes to 26,000 and just gets snap called. Chalk another one up there for Durr. What could have been, he probably could have won more money. Wow! Unbelievable! Oh my he god. It a back jam. Oh my god. A 232,000. I don't really know flip. if I meant it. A 232,000 flip. This guy just back jammed. Wow. Oh, counterfeit! Counterfeit! Ace High gonna win it! <laughs> Reza with 26-6 behind. Oh, oh no! Wow, wow. 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 Reza trying to rep a seven. Trying to rep a full house on the river. That is a slow roll. And I think I'm an expert on Analyzing slow rolls. I mean, I love Mickey, but on a four-bet pot against an aggressive player, this is this is a suicide mission. He just is absolutely yeah. He's he's lighting he's lighting some of these chips on fire. We go a lead here. Do we have a clock for fifty-one thousand? Yeah. What time is definitely not something that just Garrett is usually accustomed to seeing. He just calls. Nope. He's not used to being in this position. Garrett is good enough to sniff this out and to put the money in. We are at 101,000 here. Wow. River, it's a blank. Six. So Mickey has absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Mickey's feet bombs here. Yeah. Yep. 65,000. Wow. Uh, I, I meant... I don't know. What's the bet? Whatever he wants. Is 60? I meant, I meant 60. I don't want to, like... You're fine. You know. Whatever you want the bet to be. Yeah. Guess I'll fold. Wow, Mickey, show it, baby! Oh! And he shows him! That's gonna leave a mark. Wow, Mickey Tricky. Garrett is very disappointed in the fact he made the wrong decision. I know him. Well. Wow, Mickey. If you do or you don't, like, you know, I never mean to be no, rude. You can always show us all day. He will take the information, even though it's stinging. Why, could you beat five high? 
<laughs> a monster $70,000 pot. Check, check. Sonny looking for an eight on the river. Not gonna happen. He's gonna bet here. I don't know. Wow, 13,000, there's a snap call. The resident doesn't care. Oh, Reza for president. You're my, I, I love him. Can knock it out. I wanna get a t-shirt. I wanna get a Reza t-shirt. I would wear that. And look at this flop. Brandon flops the stones. Antonio with king, queen. Let's see how Brandon plays it. Just a call. King, jack, 10. The turn's a nine. They both have straights and Brandon with the nuts. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. And now, is Brandon just gonna call? Let's see. Oh, he just called. Snaps. Wow, we could have seen huge. Oh. Boy, if this one gets through, this is highway robbery from the magician. I think I might have to pay you. That is not good news to Antonio's ears. What do you mean? <laughs> you want to chop? How can we chop? Is that, is that, you want to chop everything? <laughs> I could have the nuts. Super happy to have your brother. You mean by my poker skills? No, I mean by your YouTube skills. No, no, no. Your poker I'm skills. I mean, we're going to see tonight. Okay. Are you feeling confident about your poker yeah, skills? Yeah, I'm going to walk up a million dollars. No question. Do you think so? Yeah, easily. So, uh, do you play a lot of poker? Are you no. like an avid player? No. Or he's going to let it go. There. He has to let it go. He's going to let it go. He's going to let it go. Yeah, it's gross, but he's going to let it go. Let's see what that river looks like. Five! He would have got counterfeited. He would have got counterfeited. That's what I told you. Oh my god, Andy would have oh. won. Jack Gabe would have got counterfeit. I, I'm going to say it. We're firing right. I'm just saying that. Oh, wow. Running hearts. Yeah. And Mr. Beast has got the 10 of hearts in his hands. You have a flush, dude. You have my flush, bro. Oh, shit, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Yeah, I think that this is going to be like a $390,000 flip. Somewhere in that neighborhood. This is a 400K flip. Yeah, it's a 400K flip. Now, by the way, if Keating wins this, he's still down. Okay. You show one, I'll show one. Okay. Oh, shit. Bro, let's some flip of our fucking jack. I mean, your king might win. Oh, Well, you get 10 grand. Oh. One more time. Oh. I'll bring it down. All the way down. Bro, so... Did you get 10 grand? Uh, yeah, of course. Why not? She's been great. I'm here. Yeah, that was... That was... Cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these last... That was... Yeah. That was... Yeah. That was... Yeah. All right, I'm all... I think it's the way to go out. This is the way to go out. I have to. I, I, just one, man. That's all I got. Yeah. I like, a, I, like, I like one bad beat. Hold up. I need these. Look, keep on. I think there's a chance here. I think there's a chance for him. And Ninja hit the seven. But I am sleeping outside tonight if I don't hit a seven, so.
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. Never fall. Lord to the game and the bankroll. We gon' add it up when we get low. I know my life is black, I'm a chat pro. All in, let's go. Monday through Friday, what should we do? Catch the streaming live right on YouTube. Right on YouTube. ACL family, this is our house. Keating on the show, bet it all now. J Boogie, walk away, never overplay. Max value, max pain, this is not a game. Hit that thumbs up, let's go for a ride. Come and join the stream, we're starting at five. Raise it up. Chat Pro. Hey, 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 welcome here at Hustler Casino Live. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble on uh, social media. Nice to be here today. We got another action-packed game. 500 to 500, 1,000 pot limit Omaha. Continuation from last night's incredible action. Can't wait to see what's about to unfold here in the coming minutes. Welcome. You are the best sweater. You are the best sweater. You are the best. Good to you, buddy. Everybody's starting to gather and take their seats. Should be a fun night. As, as you see here, they're going to be doing some ten and twenty thousand dollar flips. That's what you're seeing right now on the screen. Pretty common thing to happen at high stakes table before everybody arrives. Everybody wants to gamble in some fashion, so that's what you're seeing here. Black nine. Okay, open. You got it. You got it. Yes. You do? Feel good that you invited him. One more. Looks like we have a new player uh, from last night. I believe his name is Danny, and I've actually played a fair amount with him in Vegas over the years, like 10, 20, quarter, 50 games, and he plays quite a bit bigger than that, as you are seeing here. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in the game. We got Professor back again, as always. This is gonna be my high point for today, though. It was quite the catalyst last night with a lot of great plays, a lot of great bluffs. You guys doing showdowns? Same with Anthony as well. All right, I'll be back. Nice to see him back. Queen. That's me. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? How is Just this fucking possible? do it to him. Please do it to him. Please. How the fuck is this? And there he is. Danny did not know That's he was a personal me. trainer, but good for that. Might be a bit of a bit there, perhaps, but we shall see. I believe he's an Atlantic City or East Coast guy, from what I remember from playing with him in Vegas a few years back, but his location may have changed. But he's a pretty great gambler. Nice to see him in the fold here. <laughs> You flop juice. There's no flop, but it's wet. You flop juice. We might end up seeing some cool prop bets tonight as well. Might have some trips in your hand, quads in your hand props, or perhaps a stand-up game, perhaps, or who knows, there's always some twist of the Oreo and a big gambling game goes down. So we shall see uh, what ends up making it into the fold tonight. Should be a should be a fun evening. Hello. Come on, queen. Come on, queen there. You have a queen again? Queen, that's oh, me. Sorry, sorry, that's a burn. Oh, yes, good, good, good. Nine. I'll put him in the box, okay. I, oh. I basically have uh, three pairs. You have a seven, you beat me. Ryan wants to track the flip now. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, the next one. Three side heart, next three one. side heart. Hello, three side heart. You have queen jack? Queen yeah. jack. You have queen jack? Queen jack, queen jack three. I win, I automatically. Looks like we're still doing yeah, some flips nice. here. Hopefully yeah, we can maybe so get a... Loose. So juice. View at the board at some point, but it's all just a random gambling so at this point, juice. anyhow. Gonna draw some blood before the real action starts. Poker players aren't one to sit around idly. They want to put those chips to play. Want to feel something. Want to move the needle in some way. Are we on? Yeah, we on. So tilt. Gonna have a similar cast of characters to last night. He's not pictured yet, but we're gonna be seeing Faraz in the game as well. He was pretty much a wire-to-wire -wire winner last night. He was 
got off to a great start from the beginning and uh, definitely was That's not me. locking it up. That's he uh, Parrot, Parrot, Three, Parrot. Five. did a really heroic bluff with pocket jacks on a straight board on the river with no blockers in his one. hand. And Two pair. Okay. Got hero called by Anthony with a lower straight. He made a real great gutsy call today, Anthony. For all, made a hell of a... Yeah, I think he was Hell of a eight tough eight move eight. on him as well. So, here's to see a lot of more big yeah. bluffs tonight. <laughs> Ace is up. You got it. Whoa, call security. Oh my God. Hurry, hurry, hurry. so much. One more. Yeah, see, I walk in. You want to pop? I just got bad beat on the you you John, uh, John, 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 I'm favorite. He said I'm too good. I need this one. I need this one, buddy. For those unfamiliar with the chips here at Hustler, the burgundy purple chips are 5,000. The Green Bay Packers kind of green and yellow chips are 1,000 dollar chips, and the gray greens are 500. Good card. Four. Ten. Four. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay. Take one. Yeah, of course. Hello, that's a good card. Hello. Yeah. Uh oh Hello. So we don't need to look. We don't need to look. For Hello. those wondering, these are just flips. Yeah, Everybody's putting all their money over. in pre-flop. Oh, There's no skill. Over. It's just a pure ace. flip. Ace. Ace. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ace. ace. See this one? Yeah, there. Yeah. And these are twenty yeah. thousand dollar flips. <laughs> all right, last one twenty. Same seat as yesterday. I'll take it. Last one twenty. Yeah. He wants to suicide. Let's let him suicide. Nuclear war. Let him suicide. I'm pushing the nuclear button. Suicide. If I clear, if I press the nuclear button. If, if I press the nuclear How many people died, Anthony? How many, how many people will die? <laughs> if I, I press the nuclear it's button. It's not good to push a button with an Israeli. Uh, he's got the Iron Dome. It's nice to start a day with a You want 10 on the side, Anthony? Do you want 10 on the side? No. No. I know, I'm a, so I'm an easy target. Ooh. So I'm an easy target. So I'm, so target, I'm an huh? easy target, huh? So I'm an easy target, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you guys are telling me? That's a good fucking card. That's good one. Oh, man. Even better. Can you give me a chance? Uh, straight, 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 yeah, straight. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, don't have, I don't have enough for okay. one. Very That's hard to beat. Got it. Very hard to beat. Um, I mean, how is this possible? Nice very little 40k win, the professor. Yeah, thanks to that beat. river. Oh, yeah. right, let's play. Very hard to beat. Come on, send the money. Send the money to Daddy. All right, let's play. Oh, he just flopped everyone dead, and he just made a straight. That's pretty brutal. Here. All the action tonight is going to be brought to you Here by State Kings and WPT Global. Very happy Thank to have you. them on board as sponsors. Uh, Two pretty great do? poker brands offering a lot to the community. Steak Kings is quite awesome, man. It's so cool. You know, there's so much emergence with sports gambling and fantasy what did you sports. Up that hand? I would have beat Not really you a way to side, get right? involved yeah. with poker until Steak Kings came in. Now you can buy a piece of your favorite made, uh, cash Jack. game player or tournament player. Aces, right? Go to stakekings.com backslash hustler to do so. Here, give me that 20. Danny, give me four seconds. There's the State Kings chip count. You'll be seeing that periodically throughout the night. That'll be uh, taking account of who's up, who's down, what percentage of hands played pre-flop. That's all brought to you by State Kings, and it's a great spot to buy some action and be an active investor and in some uh, what? cash if game return players. Why? Okay. Kind of like a fantasy sports with poker, so to speak. Pretty cool concept. All right. But I always forget to put you. This is for you. Okay. Um, case, I That's forget me. to put you. This That's you. I see a lot of people in the chat wondering about Nick Airball. He's slated to come in today, but a lot of people are kind of so showing up a little late. Cute. Sometimes people get caught up in You're LA like traffic at this time. Like so. Do I like it? No, I would rather yeah, have found the full house. Always a lot of moving parts and organizing honest, a high stakes poker game, that's for sure. Then Feldman is doing it, the no. Lord's work on that end. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> no doubt about it. Not easy to get poker players <laughs> to all agree on a set time and place. So. We'll keep each other in action. You play poker with me, I'll, I'll flip with you. Yeah, that's why. He want me to have action on his flip so he, I can feed money back yeah, in poker. <laughs> what are we playing? Five five one. Five five one auto, yeah? Yeah. What about 
Five Five One. It looks like they are going to start off with 500, 500, 1,000 blinds. And for those that tuned in last night, they got up all the way to $5,000 straddle for like the last hour. That's it was absolutely mental in that final hour. I'm sure it's going to get. That's you. I'm sure it's going to escalate pretty quickly again here tonight as well. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of crazy action. Ten five. Down. Thank you. got a three bet pot Control. here. Two way. Standard Two three way, way three, bay pot, three bet pot out the gate here. 34K in the middle here. Everybody started off with 50K stacks. Doesn't take long for the money to get in here, as you can tell. <laughs> and on cue, we got an all in instantly already here. Oh, this. That's not a ton, right? Danny going with his dry kings, as they would call it. Yeah, kind of so disjointed, disconnected, oh, unsuited, you? but I'm so sick. high what? pocket pair is pretty high in value with the less you big blinds you have in your stack. Dude, maybe, we, maybe you should put a uh, request in to WSOP. <laughs> Flipping. Showdown tournament. <laughs> Showdown tournament to find out who. I swear to God, it would probably. We're going to get a decent field. Most, most registered uh, vote tournament Don't they ever. have some shit like that? They have like flip satellites or something. They have flip Ready? satellites, but I'm saying an actual bracelet, bracelet event, event yeah. to find out who is. Anthony, we used to play online back in the day. The best flipper. Every day we wake up in the morning during quarantine, Where's and I run a game online. The first thing we start is showdowns. The, the whole game is showdowns. 2,500. For how long? For like an hour, everybody gets on tilt, then we start poker. I think the best thing to do when a game starts, everybody flips for a buy-in. That way everyone's tilted. Except one like, guy. everyone should go to... Like, like the eight of us sit yeah. down when everyone gets here, we all flip for 30 each and everyone's tilted. <laughs> I raise it. 4,000. Danny promptly getting aces here. Ace A7-3 single suited. Anthony with nice little snapper hand. Jack eight seven four double. Promptly flops two pair and a flush draw. Backdoor diamonds will go with it. Hell of a flop here for Anthony. Should be seeing an all in here pop. Very likely we shall see how Anthony plays it. I reckon it's going to be raising here. Pretty sure. But we shall see how he's going to play it here. Whatever, dude. And it's an auto raise as wow. we tell. As we can see here. It's good for me, maybe. Danny's going to bet fold oh, his aces already. with no redraw opportunity. Here? Fairly Almost. standard line to take an Omaha right with unapproved right aces he, on a flop like that. <laughs> I think I'd rather do showdowns with Anthony. He's too good on poker. Dude, too good. He's too good. Too super pro. Super pro. <laughs> As you can see, the he's equity too, in that hand, the snapper hand was 80-20 favorite over aces. So you and me. Very Even good bet fold there by Danny. Like, uh, each free 5,000 juice to him. Yeah, we instead of playing poker. <laughs> Overall, we're winning. I agree. Overall, <laughs> sure. okay. even when we're losing, we are winning. Anthony, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%
Actually, that's a good idea. It's juice. He, he, he said next time, just get him on TV. He just wants to play on TV. He wants to be a TV player? He said, uh, I don't care. I just want to be on TV. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm playing. Otherwise, there's better games back home where I play. Exactly. Fuck, I need to go back to your house. <laughs> yeah, these games are pretty insane. I, that's that's a tall bar to clear there. Pretty standard open here from Danny. Nice premium holding four-handed here. Ace, queen, jack, seven, single to the high side. You look pretty good for us. Thank you. Single being single suited, Here's double why. being double suited. For those wondering at home, maybe transitioning from no limit like I was a few years back. Still play a lot of No Limit, but uh, have taken to the casual gambling nature of Omaha. A lot more social of a game than most No Limit tables where it's a lot more serious and you're getting stared down and everybody's professor angling for seat changes today. and such. That's it's, what has to yeah, happen. It's a lot more of a casual gambling vibe at most Omaha tables compared to No Limit. Pretty standard open here from Daniel with single suited Kings. Can we make that a team goal that professor's in for more than one buy-in for the first time? You talk about other people that are super pro. <laughs> buy-in both days? Yeah, it's fucking shit. One buy-in? And never he's had not, over he's, not, he's bitching about the VP, but the last night I look at the game, he's still the lowest. No way. Yeah. He's still the lowest. No way. Pretty favorable flop sure. for Danny here, flopping king high flush draw on an inside close. straight what, draw. What was um, I, I, I'm like a 42, he's 35, 30. You were, no way you were 42 yesterday. I just look at it. He played, uh, Professor played a lot of hands yesterday. Yeah, he did. I, I, he did. I, I, I just he did. look at it. You and Charles. The software. We, yeah. We, yeah. The Charles software. is highest. You and Charles are highest <laughs> always. <laughs> Charles is like a 58. Yeah. yeah, 52, something like that. 52, remember. yeah. If the software is broken yeah. if it's saying that you play more hands than me. Uh, Charles actually, he played tight online. <laughs> Charles didn't play tight. No, he was playing. Online. Well, he's saying online. 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 Oh, Charles is I backwards. Don't know why. <laughs> he's backwards. Online, like everybody is 67. <laughs> he got kicked out because he's below 35. <laughs> he <didn't>, oh, <laughs> really? He was under 35 percent? No. Sometimes. Sometimes. That 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 one was uh, it's. It, it, the updates every every like five hours or something. Even if I got kicked out, you, you can get in next. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, sure. He told me he sometimes got kicked out. Um. <laughs> because online, every everyone everybody plays crazy. Yeah, for sure. Two bad, three bad. I got it. Is it live stream right now? Yeah, yeah. No. For us as a TV player, you see he won yesterday? Yeah. But Wednesday he didn't win because it wasn't being, it wasn't live? Yeah. He's, he, a, he's a TV player. He said like you have to be <laughs> alive to show your full potential. Yeah. Yeah, of course. He didn't feel the extra motivation for the fans. <laughs> like you see how he comes in looking, he's ready for the cameras. You have to, right? It's part of business. For sure. Part of a business. Professor knows he has a large fan club. Yeah. Do you want to say anything to your fans, Professor? After I took all your money, I say something. Me and Professor Sorry play the, the game He's for the fun of it, for the TV, right, Professor? Yeah. For for the people. Yeah. That's me. What's in there, five? 45. 45? Why did you have seven four over there, seven five last night? There's no way I would have put you on that hand. You think uh -huh. I might play the nuts, buddy? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nice like, pull here for Danny on the river. Draw is realized with that eight, making a straight. Like he also had a flush draw to go with no it. I was really thinking about checking, I'm like, pulls, a, pulls ahead the professor's hand. top pair, king, queen. Check, right? Makes kings up on the river, but a complicated kings up because it does bring in straights. Flush draw dead brick, however, so yeah, it would be an unreasonable hero call hand, from the professor. Straight. I'm holding a lot of really big hands. And he's going to see the bad news. I didn't even like calling with that hand. 
Mr. Levin? Yes, sir. A lot of draws missed. Queen Jack, Ace Queen Jack, Spades. So not a so bad time, time to hero call there with Kings up. Just unlucky. I lose anyway. I bet on floppy and car, right? Oh, um, yeah, it's Spades. You think uh, collection this time? How do you guys want to do that? Um, Let's wait for the people to get here first, probably. How about just everyone at place has to give 500. So everyone just give yeah, just it. I'll, I'll take 95. care of it. Yeah. So when someone else comes, just remind me. For those watching last night, we also had Airball in the game. We had Fatal in the game. I know Fatal's going to be here the soonest, from what I can guessing it looks like. Fatal's going to be coming. He had a pretty good day yesterday, and I don't know if Airball will be able to turn away the action, but we shall see. He had a rough go last night, as most people saw. He was really up against it all day. Had a lot of coolers go against him, and even made some good folds <laughs> that he could have gone with, and would have made it even worse had he gone with those hands. So. Just a Murphy's Law day yesterday for Airball, but better days ahead on his end, I'm sure. Is it, um, yeah. Why don't you just give me all purple? Just give me 2,000 purple. Yeah. Fine, it makes your life easier. Okay, you guys deserve it. I raise in the dark. I feel like I'm gonna get a good hand. You can restraddle, right? For nah, that's not, we're not really straddling button. You can. Straddle for five, right? But no, I just not raise, straddle, that's okay. a race. I raise it in the dark. Button straddle's gotta be 5,000. That would have been strong if I just won. Why? <laughs> no, you're not going to win. Oh, sorry. It's almost like, if I have trips here, I think I'm still calling. If it's above eights. Only if it's above eights. Uh, we're on props, right? Well, Everyone's players on props? spiking top pair of eights I'm here, eights of side cards. Every, Pretty yeah. fair yeah. fight. You can I see the equity is 50-50 here. Yes, he was. He wasn't? He was yeah. Mm -hmm. He got out when we started the new game. Although, we obviously, accounting for position, Danny's in a pretty favorable spot. Even when something's 50-50, obviously, the positional advantage, obviously, no, pretty six. nice little to edge to have in the hand. Yeah. Danny pulls ahead the lead tomorrow? firmly on this turn card. You won. Two pair. Uh, good fold for Faraz. I had a good hand for blind. Sick hand. For a blind hand, yeah. I'm going home. I'm going home tonight, I told you. Too tired. <laughs> too tired? I'm not too tired, but. Who's playing Vegas? Huh? Who's playing? Vegas? Burger. I know. Who's playing? You guys are both leaving people. town? Both of you? Yeah. yeah. Same time next week? Uh, that's Halloween weekend. But the following week. We really need to find out airball situation. There's a lot of nervous people out there in the poker community. Yeah, I forgot Boy. to look at the comments. I mean, it's a nice surplus having airball. You guys are going to Vegas, F1? F1, yeah. You going? there the whole week. Okay. No. I'm going as well, I think, at the moment. 3,000. Is there, is there a game scheduled, something? Poker, yeah. Well, who's game? I mean, uh, I think they're all going to be out there. When are you guys going? I'm going to Saturday night before. So I'm going to go to the Raiders game on that Sunday and then play poker all week. Poker where? Is there a Burgers game's going. Oh, OK. Next right, month? Buddy's in. Yeah. They're in F1. Oh, I'm going to Europe next month. Where are you going? Everywhere. Everywhere? With my wife. Check, check, check. Check. I think everybody wants to see Airball come in today. That's for sure. He's a very entertaining player. Straw that stirs the drink in any game that he's in. Definitely lost a lot of money yesterday, but obviously a lot of people don't realize when you account for the stakes, the size of the blinds, it being a $5,000 come in, I mean, somebody's going to lose a couple hundred thousand through no fault of their own just by the nature of how big the game is. So We're unfortunately, everywhere. he was the poker pinata last night, but obviously that's just going to happen to somebody anytime a game of this size happens. Unfortunately, he was the. Thank you. Unlucky person to be in that spot, but uh, 165. Yeah. 
He was just on the wrong end of a lot of coolers from everything that I noticed, and even made a couple good folds in spots he could have went with. But just a tough day yesterday, but uh, I'm sure there'll be a meaner version trade for him <laughs> the next session he comes in, obviously. Perfect. And we'll figure out you guys uh, once everyone comes. Maybe the, I don't know. Should plan for it. December, you're going to Vegas during the wind stuff, right? Uh, probably. Depends on when I come back from Europe. You gonna go for F1 or no? I don't think so. It'll be a fun week. When are you guys going again? What what dates? Like November. Middle. Or... Middle. Like six. Well, <laughs> there's a weekend before, and then yeah. like the actual. I'll see. I got. Yeah, I don't think I can make it. Uh, Danny, are you from here originally? New York. New York? Jets or Giants fan? When I followed football like in high school and stuff, I was Giants, but I kind of lost interest. Rays. That kind of boring. Huge Raiders, cooler Jets, flop here. Both oh, players flopping Pardon? trip sixes. Oh. Professor in the catbird seat here. Actually, oh, actually I apologize. I didn't see Faraz. Spike that boat. You call it. As you, you can, can tell, even in Omaha, is still only a two to one favorite when you're flopping a boat. He's got to fade a lot of side cards here. He's got to fade an ace of 10. Peace, peaceful game. They both share the seven, which is very helpful to Faraz, equity wise. Oh, you spade, spade. Stop, don't fuck it, don't worry around. That's me. That's you. Good, good to do twice. Chop. Told you once. Tough luck for Faraz Who's here you on this flop. <laughs> Nothing either player can do. <laughs> okay, Chuck, that's me. Nice hand. This was kind of spots no. airball was on last um, night. I have you know, 16, 21, up against five? with a, a 6x or, no, here. Five. Sorry, 20, 21, 5. Sorry, yeah. 21, 5. Nothing yeah, the professor can do. Unlucky. Back to the comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. He's finally, eight, well, he's eight not, big he hasn't gone. Four B blinds. He hasn't oh, gone to the well yet. Oh, bad, bad news, bad news. Yeah. Two B blinds. <laughs> he hasn't gone to the wall yet. We really want. We really blind. need to get him on his second buy-in. Should we play like a tournament and just like check it call? <laughs> right, uh, check, check it down. Uh, check it buy -in. So just keep that in mind, guys. This hand. And yes, that's collusion. Just kidding. I do not condone collusion. Don't participate in collusion. Yeah, we definitely can't check it down. Yeah. Add this guy out. All in. Get him, Professor. 500. Oh, 25. Yeah. Good raise, Anthony. Good raise. Good raise. Bye bye. My hand is so bad, but I kind of feel like fucking on you guys. Bye bye, Danny. You want me out? You don't want to triple up? <laughs> I don't want to triple up. Real premium holding here oh, for 50, Anthony, four-handed. Obvious three bet with the ace, 10, eight, seven, double. Twice? One time. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, once, once, okay, one time. Once, 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 once. Double suited at the highest hat as well. Ace high spades, 10 high that's diamonds. Me. Told you, that's me. That's you? Professor all in for a nub stack here. 2,500 it looks like. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm the best hand. <coughs> and the short stack Ooh. finds and a win. Professor, after you win this hand, I want to count, please, on how much chips you have. <laughs> Did you beat it? You didn't beat the king. I had a piece of shit. You had him dead, literally. He had you, he had you in jail with that hand. I mean... We still can't get you on your second buy-in. <laughs> Close. Seven deep lines now. Kind of happy to see this game play shorthanded. Not very out. uncommon to see a high stakes call up an Omaha game be shorthanded anyways. It's if this is your specialty. You're typically not something you want to see nine or 10 handed like Holden is. Can, that's can be. Let's do it. More shorter handed it is, the kind of the more mystery there is, the more gamble there is. So it should be, uh, ranges are expanded. Should be some interesting I'm hands in, here I'm as we're shorthanded here. Yeah. I think in a perfect That's world, me. six, seven-handed is almost ideal. Take care of you. 
How much is it? 35. Oh, I'm thinking we're going to get to that benchmark oh, here yeah. in the coming oh. minutes. Can we go three five. times? Oh, you got aces? Yeah. I'm so Whatever happy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this won't pop. Um, Professor all in again with that small. nub <laughs> stack. <laughs> all in with aces here. $8,000. How do you do it? It'll be a nice old two to one favorite here. That's me. Oh. Eight five six. I, I got nuts. You got the nuts already. Oh, he does. Oh, you you joined that? Heart. <laughs> Heart. No, he so that's that. you. I'm, I mean, how, look at this. Eight thousand. He had everything. Everything. Yeah, they, what yeah, the fuck eight. is going on? You had twenty five hundred. Eight. Yeah. No, that's. Oh yeah, that's eight. eight the professor is running that wow. stack up. He's he's on a heater. From twenty five hundred to almost twenty thousand. <laughs> that's the beautiful game on? of Palo in Omaha. Things can change in a hurry. To, to 14. No, 13.5. Where, where did you learn how to count? Can I ask you that? Oh, I sorry. Don't know where the hell you were a professor at? <laughs> Seven, seriously. 18.5. 18.5, seriously. <laughs> there's zero how, percent how, chance. How Nick Erebo, even there's, for me, I can run it back. He still have hope. Zero percent? <laughs> he still. Where is Erebo? He still has hope. Oh, the food is here? Okay, thank you. Erebo don't, dead though. Don't give up, Erebo. <laughs> he might be on the poker bench. On the poker bench right now. I think some people think Airball's in the poker hospital, but I don't know. I think, you guys just can't the huh? I think he's always pretty live candidate to to show up at any minute. I don't think he's one to like sit on the sidelines too long, but we shall see. Can he even call? I imagine Nick's probably watched the session back and probably realized that a lot of those hands he lost were just pretty coolers, especially with the little big blinds as you have compared to, you know, the stack sizes, buying for 50 grand, you got a $5,000 huh? straddle, you have 10 big blinds, I and mean, there's not a lot of wiggle room with these hands. It's kind of... I thought about multiple times in the hand. The poker gods in many instances. This is crazy. I mean, we still cannot get you on a second. And he was night. never <laughs> able to run a stack up either Sorry, the whole night somehow. So. from the game already. No, no, 80, 80. 80 on the <laughs> um, She's not going to play this hand, so... Just a dead small. No, that's right. Okay. So we just 500, 1,000. Yeah. That's what's kind of cool about these streams, like I was mentioning with Airball, watching back to session. For those aspiring players, you can definitely learn a lot from watching these streams here on HCL. There's a lot of... A lot of ways to get, it's pretty nice you can get better at poker with actually having to ante up and put your own money at risk. That's something I did way back in the day as an aspiring pro. I'd watch a lot of these streams and just kind of uh, get a little more poker visibility and experience, so to speak, without actually having to pony up my own money, which is pretty helpful early on as a poker player. And now I've been playing full time. It's been about 18 years I've been playing full time now. I mostly play 1020 to quarter 50 pot limit Omaha or no limit, but you know, I started out playing one too, so. If you're a one-two player in, in the chat or whatever, uh, if you stick with it, uh, good things can happen. And these uh, these streams are definitely a good source of learning, that's for sure. Professor, let's get it all in. <coughs> Shoot, even one two is pretty big for a lot of people. I mean, I think I was playing campus games, University of Missouri, playing like twenty five cent, fifty cent, fifty cent a dollar, and then when I got to be twenty one, you know, one two is like the smallest stake that you can play at a casino. So, lots of ways to grow your game and your bankroll. That's for sure. Huge flop here for Anthony, flopping a little straight draw, flush draw. Got a lot going on here. Not much for Danny. He's got a gut shot to the nine, but not great to have straight draws on a flush draw board. We you don't have a flush draw to go time? with it. 95. You prefer all your straight outs to be live and not compromised by it being a flush card. It's definitely something to keep in mind. Come on. Good prudent fold there by Danny. Big one.
Where do you usually stay? What area when you come here? Usually I stay either the Pasadena or downtown. How far is that from here? 20, 30 minutes. Do you, you, you always stay at Beverly Hills? I mean, I've only been here twice, so. Which hotel? Um, I'll tell you when we're not on camera. <laughs> Danny. Nice turn here for Danny, turning the second nut flush here, queen high flush. Fresh is going to check that turn card. Flop two pair got nullified pretty quickly with that flush turn. Getting a pretty good price on a call here, but. Perhaps Professor is thinking, I don't want to call turn just to leak off money and fold to river. So he's going to make a good preemptive fold here. Could be getting bluffed by a blocker club or just a player like taking a, a shot when checked too. But die. Danny was oh. indeed holding, as they say. He had the, he had the flush. Tested. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Professor, come on, man. We want nuclear war. <laughs> <laughs> There's the button. <laughs> Players are asking for nuclear war, and that will come. That's I the a lot of times the poker game is kind of like the early round of a of a boxing match. Everybody's feeling each other out, throwing some jabs, and withholding the power punches till a little later on when a little more information is gathered. So, pretty sure we're going to start seeing some haymakers here in the coming minutes. Just players are kind of rounding into form as the game's taking shape. You guys, as you wish. And as you guys speak wish. of the devil, we got Professor Jamin in his stack here. Come on, guys. I pressed the button. Nobody, <laughs> nobody dares. Rainbow to rundown. <laughs> no takers. Nice blind aggression there from the professor. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> my my tower is uh, twelve thousand. Just playing tight all night. Twelve thousand for us, three. So. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have 12,000, you don't give a fuck. Huh? <laughs> 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 Where is Fatal? Fatal. Fatal. Guy had fucking 26,000 on the table. He was like, yeah, let's put the 2K on. Let's, yeah. let's leave the fucking 2K on, yeah. yeah. Four thousand. for the professor here, waking up with aces again. He's been getting aces <laughs> a lot on the short stack up. here. Nice. That's me. Danny gives him a little bit of a loose tug here at the King Jack nine three single to the high side. Flops top two pair, but complicated on a three flush on a flush board. But professor only has one pot size bet left, so he may just go in with this top two pair here, though you wouldn't want to go with that kind of hand in a deeper stack casino type situation I might just if you're uh, up. I don't know. playing ring games. <laughs> Fuck. But a uh, pretty short stack you hand call? here. Plays a little differently. You yeah, whatever. Uh, King nine. But the professor did indeed flop in that flush. So. Once, right? Of Tough course. sledding of here course. for Danny. Three. That's me. How much? Nine, ten, fourteen. Yeah. It's definitely a hand Danny would be playing a lot differently on, if the stacks were deeper, but uh, with just one <laughs> pot size bet it? from the professor, it's <laughs> kind of hard to get away from top two in a three handed game. So. I felt like I was going to double When I put Once the 3K while. in pre flop, I felt like I was going to double him up. Unlucky Once there from Danny. He had a club as well in his hand, which reduces the chance somebody flopped a flush. play good to shoot my fans like him play. That you all played me. You would rather have resisted. two pair with a club in your so hand than you know, two pair with no club. Even in the comments, professor doesn't know how to play poker. I have to <laughs> prove myself. I'm battling with the best two, two of the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's not like I'm playing against Nick Herbo or, or, or Charles. <laughs> he knows. I'm playing against the best two. Even the dealer's laughing at our ball. <laughs> he knows. 
He knows who is the easy target. <laughs> you think Nick is watching at home right now? Charles and, <laughs> Charles and the Nick Airbo, easy target. <laughs> I'm battling against the best. Protecting your stack. <laughs> this guy's playing a fucking tournament. Fundamentals. Sevens, no good. Is it eight? Yeah. Sit down. Two of the best, huh? Two of the best. I have two pair. Two is four. I think a lot of No Limit players watching PLO often think. Uh, the PLO is a bit of a bingo fest because the equities run closer together, and that's true. But the PLO is no different than any other two? poker game. The last cream night. rises to the top, no, well. and the best players oh, will win the money over the long run, game. and the bad players will lose over the long run. So it's a bit of an illusion no. yeah. I think No Limit players have about Paula and Omaha that it's all just a Something lucky like gamble fest. And I think that's pretty inaccurate. But obviously on any given single session, there's a lot of variance and gamble to it, no doubt about it. But uh, Great PLO player is going to win a lot of money over the course of time, and a bad player is going to lose a lot. So that's really no different than any other form of poker. There's just a lot of short-term variance in Omaha. As we saw last night, there's some big winners and some big losers, and you know whoever does well in those big all-in pots is going to be the winners, and whoever <laughs> has poor luck in those big all-ins are going to be the loser. But obviously, it's... Just a poker god situation on those big pots, but over the course of time, you know, the math evens out on all that stuff. Obviously, why bankroll management is pretty important because you can go through some pretty rough periods over a shorter sample, especially in Potlum at Omaha. But over the long run, the good players make money. That's just how it is. But you can definitely have to endure some uh, <laughs> stormy waters to get to that long run, that's for sure. You've got to be a pretty resilient player to be a Potlum at Omaha professional, that's for sure. You've got to have pretty good soft skills, got to be able to manage your emotions well. 25? Big bluff here for Danny. Absolutely nothing. He's got a jack blocker blocking some boats a little bit, but uh, really great instincts there by Danny. Definitely some poker being played there. Well done by Danny. Full house? Something like that. My dad called me this morning. He said, we played okay last night. He said, well, what the hell were you doing calling with ace-10? <laughs> <laughs> he says, there's something wrong with you? Actually, I thought about it. It was a good call. Yeah, for you. Good call, right? No, seriously. What was the right call? You just sent me beat. I shouldn't bluff with his jack. I don't know what I, what I was thinking at that time. I, I think you both played the hand great, honestly. <laughs> I think the variance in Palo Bonoma kind of makes it a great game. You can't really hide <laughs> in Omaha Even like you can in No Limit. So normally, <coughs> people would get back there. <coughs> But Professor playing straight poker. <laughs> I didn't listen to it. In No Limit, you kind of can just be a nit if you want, and wait till you flop a set, wait till you get aces or kings, and only play big pots 35. when you're a huge favorite. Uh, can't really hide in PLO and do that. You're kind of forced to get in there and gamble with 60-40s and 70-30s and stuff like that. Good so value, but. Definitely better to play No Limit on a short bankroll than Pot Limit Omaha, but... <laughs> it was a bad bet because obviously, uh, yeah. if anything beats you, I was going to call you. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. 
Why would I better ace check and proof to block? I have a shootout value. And anything better, you am gonna call you. Yeah, anything better, you call me. I think that's why a lot Actually, of gamblers are drawn to Pot Love in Omaha. Actually, I was worse. I w the only thing I was worried about was Equities like. Equities run closer packages. together. That's the thing I was worried about. Professor Sam Bayan still? Yes. Same what Bayan. a grinder, bro. He got more what of a chance. What a grinder, <laughs> Professor. He had, he had Omaha 40, compared to Nolan. The best short stack player ever. $2,500. We cannot get this guy on his second buy in. I don't think I've ever seen it. Day three, Professor's only been on one buy in. Never, never, never happened before. <laughs> Surely it was like two seconds because I go all in first hand. <laughs> no. Bad call. Uh, Bad call. I, 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 I want you to know. I have dust. I want you to know. <laughs> I promise. I just really want to fucking bust, Professor. Still dust, but still calling. Danny with kings up here, kings and eights. Not concerned about Faraz having a 4x. Correctly so. Be a pretty big hero call here for Faraz with just an eight. He is liable to do a suicide mission heroic bluff as we saw yesterday though, we shall see. And what do you know, he does. Puts a stack in and promptly gets snapped off. Good end. Thank you, buddy. At an eight only. Just an eight. Got to admire the gamble there by Faraz. He's one to go with his read, that's for sure. And Danny did not uh, get in his head and think this opponent had a 4X there. He Thank promptly you. called that off real quick. Unconcerned, unbothered. Nice hand there by Danny. Cumulative winnings here brought to you by Stake Kings. We've got the Professor up a smooth 24 and a half already. Sure Danny up 22. One. Faraz, really big loser so far, down almost 50. He was the wire to wire winner pretty much yesterday. A little different path he's going to be on today. We'll see how he is playing from behind. For those looking to buy action of their favorite player in a cash game or tournament. Head on over to stakekings.com backslash hustler. Buy a piece of your favorite player, get involved, get a sweat. Stakekings.com backslash hustler. Playing 500, 500, 1,000. Pot Limit Omaha here out the gate here. Oh, jeez. I'm looking over there. Anthony waking up with Trying the best hand. You can see yeah. double suited aces. Full full week. Week. Wow. What a big On the button oh, with that. A, He's going to make it 4,000. So Professor Anthony got a big hand on the boat. Danny with a nice Attention. hand here. Short handed ace jack 10 9. <laughs> you got to read on me. <laughs> ace high hearts. He's going to three bet to 13 and a half. Imagine we're going to see a jam here from Anthony. We shall see if Danny decides to call it off. Told you. We got 42. Really? Told you. How do I know? Danny read. probably wishing he, he had a king in his hand, not an ace. So his side cards would all be live. His ace is kind of compromised by Anthony holding ace-ace. He'd rather have four live side cards than being up against aces. But obviously, 
Anthony's range is a little bit beyond just ace, ace, x, x. And obviously Danny having an ace kind of reduces the chance of Anthony having pocket aces as well. But really good discipline fold yeah. there by Danny. Mm -hmm. Could have talked himself into a call with a rundown. Maybe could have said he had kings, but uh, Show the flop. well played there by Danny. Two cards, if he shows two cards, I'm leaving. If he, sh if he only shows two cards, I'm leaving. Here you go. No, 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 no. Oh, I might lose, I don't know. You only show the fantastic two cars. <laughs> you were trying to show, show me three, seven. Yeah, something like that. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today by clicking the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code HUSTLER and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Definitely take advantage of that promo. Money ain't cheap anymore, that's for sure. $1,200 for free 100% match bonus. It's $1,200. Go to WPTGlobal.com. That's for Hustler Casino Live viewers. Quite the promotion there. 100% match up to $1,200. WPTGlobal.com. I'm here. Well, I commit it. I really want to just bust Professor. Like I really, I'm sorry. I really want to get Professor. Professor, why is he after you? He's been on one buy-in I mean, for fucking talking. three days. Good for him. Yeah, yeah no. easy talking. That's pretty incredible lucky to be on one bullet in a game with this much variance and uh, pretty much unable to win without showdown in a, in a game like this. It's pretty much a showdown uh, equity-based type of game and to, <laughs> to never have to reload is walking on water, that's for sure. That's a pretty impressive feat of luck there by the professor. How much in the middle? Huh? 20? 14 times. 14 times? What a call here by the professor. King like king high. Ace king high. high. Wow. I thought he said like queen nine. No. We have a hero am amongst us here, the professor, with the ace king high call down. Well played by both parties, not in my opinion. Anthony's not going to win that hand by checking king high. That's not going to win likely at showdown. Often that's going to get ace, ace high to fold out. Perhaps you could get some small pocket pairs to fold out. He had to missed bluff to give himself a chance to win, and he did just that. But, uh, yeah, but you worry about for us. <laughs> professor snipped it out like an old screw bet. Nice hero call you there by the professor. Poker is much easier. <laughs> yeah, you back your rings. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's a way so, for you to learn? <laughs> so you saved money. <laughs> yeah. So Good play. It would have been the same. No, it would have been the same. <laughs> oh, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here you go. All I did was make professor money. Quite the call there yeah. by the professor. Still on one by him. Single. And a great bluff there by Anthony. Just did not work out, I'm sure. If Anthony saw the professor's cards face up, he would probably make the same bet. And so that's a great bet. Just uh, professor cracked the code on that one. Well played there by both of them, in my opinion. Take it. What the fuck? So oh weird. God, what are you guy, doing? This guy. He's got He's all the moves. He's playing position. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's just cut one person. Nice little three bet here with the jack high rundown, obviously. 13. Faring pretty well even against aces and high card oriented hands with the jack 10, 9, 7 rundown type of hand. Unfortunately for Oz, is kind of sharing some of his cards with the ace 10, 7, so that's not very great when you have jack 10, 7 in your hand and your opponent has ace 10, 7, so nice spot for Faraz here. 
Both players flopping straight draws. Faraz with the better straight draw. He's got that open-ended. He's got backdoor nut hearts as well. 20? 20. This is going to be a... <laughs> a folding on the turn. Okay. Yeah, I really thought this would be a shove, a like, given the stack yeah, well, sizes from Faraz. He's only got 16K behind, but playing a little differently this one I here. Can. Okay. Probably God spikes there. it. Oh, my God. God there. Good that? turn for me, too. Anthony still got a puncher's chance here at the higher, higher open-end straight draw here. Jack to 9-8 on that nine turn. Like to see a queen or a seven here. No Not dice. Not like this. Pairing like five. This. Anthony, you're just bad. No pair all the way. Just fire, fire. I made a pair on the turn. Oh, made a pair. On the turn. Big turn for me. Not like oh this. Oh my God, this guy don't die, bro. This guy never this is, died. It's hard. It never this guy dies. Never died. Lucky never lady died. on the river for Anthony. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Buddy, what do you have on the front? <laughs> have a gosh, yeah, check guy. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You have a pair open and there in the east high. You have a jack high in the gun shot. You yell at me if I play tight. You yell at me if I play loose. What do you want me to do? I mean, you play loose, okay, but you always Suicide. win. Suicide. <laughs> it's okay to play loose, but just don't get there on the river. You want me to die? <laughs> you want me to die, huh? <laughs> So you want me okay. to be the easy target? It's okay. You can afford to be die once in a while. Right? Yeah. Nick Arable cannot afford him. <laughs> Who's, where is, who else is playing tonight? Uh, I'm not sure. John Professor, Cohen, John Paul Cohen, Fatal. Who won all the money? No, who else is playing today? Oh, Fatal, John Cohen, and Charles. Charles Airball? should be here Nick? any minute. How about Nick? Nick, uh, no news. 50-50, I think. <laughs> Do you have a message for Nick if he's watching at home? <laughs> Professor? I don't know. I think he's going to come later. Here's to see John Cohen in the game. Used to play a lot of No Limit with him a few years back. Haven't seen his Pot Limit Omaha game, but uh, it's always nice to see people you play with in real Thank life on the stream and see how they play. Especially curious to see his Pot Limit Omaha game. Are you serious? John's very good player. Very bad call. Very good No Limit player. We shall see how his four card game is. I give action. It's a very bad call for me. Thank you. Pop. You have to ask how much in the pot, Professor. Oh, no pair, no it draw. wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. No pair, no draw. No pair, no draw. <laughs> I have a pair and a draw. <coughs> What's a back call? I have a that burn card, that exposed card, block my straight, block, block my flush. Professor, you don't care. Is it 35 or? Yeah. 11? Yeah. yeah. Professor with the three bet here to 11,000 with Kings. Single suited to the I'll high side. For all, it's gonna get in there at the ace to nine, seven single. 10 high clubs. Four, four, three, rainbow flop. King still in the lead here on this orphan flop. We're also going to check his unimproved ace high run down over to the professor. professor. I don't have anything. Not so much for for us to call with. Kings, kings. Nice hand there by the professor. The professor's tough, man. Never die, huh? <laughs> I believe he's up from a $2,500 stack. He was all in. He had all in for his last $2,500 in his first buy-in, and pretty sure he's ran it up to where we're at now, which is I think north of 50. So. Not an uncommon sight in Palabin Omaha to see a small stack of chips grow to a large stack of chips. That's the beauty of Palabin Limit Omaha. Chips move around way more frequently than they do in No Limit.
Professor waking up with another big pair here. Pocket Kings again. I think he's had aces or kings maybe six of the 50 hands he's been dealt. He's been uh, running pretty hot pre-flop, that's Sam for sure. Sam flop is last time. It's not bad. I like the flop. Very cool. Yep. We're, Professor might go for a second buy in here. Nice flop Possible. here for Faraz, flopping he's top thinking about two it. pair. He's got to ask how much in the pot. Oh, okay. We're going to have an all-in okay. and call twice. here. Twice, twice, twice. Two to one dog is the Professor. He's got backdoor diamonds to go with his hand. Oh, I'm a string draw. Faraz still in the lead here. Say it, Faraz. And That's Faraz me. will take it down. Not you. On that first run. And Faraz will scoop. Okay. Thank you. Nice scoop there for Faraz. Looks like that lucky bullet has died of natural causes. And we have a reload here from the professor. You okay? Huh? You okay? Quite the run up there, there for 2,500 all the way up to 50. <laughs> Some air. Live by the sword, oh, die by the sword. Yeah. Nature of Pot Lamu Omaha. The walls are closing Just like in. that, huh? Kings lose. <laughs> Not like this. Not like that. Three. It'll be a $3,000 open here from Danny. For those wondering how to account for the pot, in Pot Lab at Omaha, it's three times Love the last that. bet plus whatever else is in the pot. It's a kind of shorthand way to approximate the pot. Nine eight seven rainbow flop here. Jenga for Danny flopping a straight with two pair. Got to like to see that. Pot. Professor also flopping a straight with Jack-10. And Anthony in there with his double paired hand. He spiked a set of nines, top set here for Anthony. This will get messy. Two players sharing on, the same hand. Nice little spot here for Anthony to get a three-way triumph scoop here if he can get a board pair here. He's got two players sharing the same hand. He's the only one that can benefit from a board pair here. here. Twice as good. As you can see, the equities are pretty well distributed here. Turn them up. Twice, twice, twice. Good. the best end. Jesus Christ. What do you mean? He's got seven eight. Backdoor oh, hearts hard. here. Come on, dude. Nice development for the professor. One time. That's me. Quite the horse race, That's equity me. wise, That's as we me. see. And what do you know? Too. Runner, runner, hearts. Professor secures the first bag. Yes, Professor. For oh. all the hearts, please. That's me. Two hearts, two hearts, two hearts. Yeah. They, I'm sure they have another two hearts. Backdoor. Backdoor flush draw can add a few extra percent of equity to your hand. Something to keep in mind when you're playing Palo at Omaha. Huh? Be mindful of those backdoor Jack. outs. Oh, I got half. Okay, how much you have, Professor? I got no, I got more than that. She's asking. How I much got you three have? How much you have? So, thirty. Chop that. Forty. Forty-five. Predictably, some blood being drawn 40, here already in this first hour of this 500-500 one K match. I'll be back, guys. Just put it in. Just put it in. Yeah, thank you. 47. Just put it all in. Put it all in? Okay. We're going to chop up Anthony's stack side, here. Right? 47. You cover so me? So I got three quarter. Nothing either player can do in that situation. Anthony drawn to the best hand there, drawing to a full house. And Danny and Professor in there with the current nuts on the flop, Jack 10. Pretty academic hand there, played itself. Poker gods pick the professor and Danny on that one. Nothing Anthony can do there. Mm -hmm. Professor with that stack north of 100, 116, up a smooth 65. Big winner so far. Everybody else fighting for table scraps after the professor. Nice first hour of class here for him. We shall see how the rest of the night unfolds. Obviously, pretty impossible to lock up a win in Potlip and Omaha, especially the way this game plays. The blinds definitely rate to escalate as time goes on and players to, to show up. Right? Yeah, just give it to him. To, to, small, to the smaller yeah. portion. Yeah. I need it. He got no, a no. burst. 
Cumulative of Winning is brought to you by Stake Kings, your go-to spot to buy a piece of your favorite poker player, whether that's a cash game or a tournament. Go to stakekings.com backslash hustler. I wish they had that stuff back in the day, I man. I'd love to buy pieces of people. That's pretty cool that that's an option nowadays. You guys got me to play deep stack now. <laughs> That's not my <laughs> expertise. Can't tell you how many arguments I've got with friends over, oh, this guy's better player than this guy. No, this guy's better. All right, well, let's put our money on it and see who wins in. I'm from Missouri, so show me stinks. So let's, let's, put, some, let's pe put some meat on the bone and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's how yeah. I like to do it. So kind of a cool way to get involved in poker without having to play. Get to have a financial interest in your favorite player. It's a pretty cool option to have. Kind of fantasy sports version of poker, so to speak. Parishan. You're deep now, buddy. Be careful. That's why I want to cut down. I cannot play extra deep. How much in the middle? Big flop here for Professor. The run continues. Flops a full house with that Jack-10-8-5. Jack-Jack-8 flop. Not much for Danny. He in there with ace-queen-4-4. Four, four. Good luck for him to avoid that four coming on the turn. He would have lost a bundle there had that happened. But sometimes it's lucky to not hit the hand you think you want to hit. Oh, man, another 50. Just in case. Man, I wanted you guys to both have 9-10. I didn't want you to have 7-8 with it. I knew once you snapped, you had 9. Or 10-jack, so I mean. Parishan. Nice flop here for Anthony. Up in second, that flush draw, Broadway, gut shot, straight draws. Got a pair of queens as well for good measure. Off suit eight on the turn. Anthony still got a hammer lock in this hand. Got the current best made hand. He's also got the best draw. He's in a commanding position here. Not much for anybody else to call with. Both players with double paired hands, but nobody spiked a set. Love double paired you hands in Omaha. Seconds, you flop a set roughly a quarter so of the time when you have a double pair hand. Yeah, he's right around the corner. He's right around the corner. He said he can't wake up. Oh. <laughs> Four in the afternoon. How can he not wake up? <laughs> what a country, huh? <laughs> Only in California. This is a weird place. He can't wake up at 4 o'clock. <laughs> and Professor's saying how tired he is. Overworked, huh? You think I'm like all guys? I feel very hard to earn the money to guys, play with you guys. You guys are yeah. playing great, honestly. Aces? Double suited. For those looking to get a seat in one of these HCL games in a bit of a creative, uh, cheaper kind of way, just think we have an option for you on that <laughs> front. Radpoker.com. That's true. You can be the next big live stream winner. Top 20 also get a piece of the stake. We've been putting the work of, in. If you didn't win, perhaps you can get a piece of somebody who did win, but head on over to radpoker.com for information on that giveaway. Pretty cool opportunity for viewers to actually get in the octagon here and be one of the competitors in one of these games without having to you pony up day. the full buy-in, per se. Check out radpoker.com.
Nice flop here for Professor. Flop on top two here. It's got a gutty or gut shot to go with it, as they say. He's got inside straight draw to the eight. Danny with an over pair. He's got the open ended straight draw to go with his hand as well. I think we're going to see a nice little confrontation here between Danny and Professor. Let's see how they decide to proceed with these holdings here. A bit of a mixed bag flop for Danny. He does still have the over pair. He has an open ender, but again, straight draws on flush draw flops are a bit complicated. He's going to kind of play it as a counter punch here and check call. Three through five. Three through five. Three through five. Can I see how much? At a 60-40 spot. Professor gonna pot here, wants to charge Danny the most to realize his equity in the hand here, which is roughly 40% with the over pair and open-ended. King, king, 10-8 on this jack, 9-8. 3-2 board. Jack nine of spades, though. Definitely would be a lot more likely to continue in this hand if it was a rainbow board and not a flush draw board. Obviously, if he makes a straight with a spade, it's a bit of a complicated endeavor. The, the real easy target is here. It's like Professor uh, it's a spot an easy oh, target here. We shall see who that is. Nice hand there by the professor. Good prudent fold there by Danny. Gonna, not only do you got to, you know, consider uh, your pot you odds in the current um, street, but how your hand's going to play in a lot uh, of rivers. Just a little bit of cream. A little bit, please. Okay. Five is out for now, right? I have. Please, thank you. Just put those on that side. Hmm? Danny didn't want to just call his hand all the way down there. A bit of a tough hand to play, so he's just going to find a fold there with his over pair and open ender on that flush draw flop. Nice hand there by the professor. Some, uh, okay. Professor winning again. Every day. Super pro. As expected, we have more players trickling in here. Definitely. Uh, Professor got a stack. Let's go. Oh, my bad. LA traffic can get the best of us out it's here. It's chilling here a little bit, right? The 5 p.m. start, obviously, that's right in the peak traffic hours. So I think some people might be waiting to fade that uh, grueling drive here. I don't want to get on tilt before you even post your first blind because of the traffic. So oh, uh, can you Ten? perhaps a little uh, emotional management there by the players not wanting to endure the traffic and get tilted by that on their way in. So, Professor, you're so aggressive today. You guys treat me very well. <laughs> Teach him a lesson, Professor. Okay. I can't, I cannot wait now. Nice board here for Danny. Not much for Professor to contend with unless he wants to turn his hand to a bluff. He's got absolutely nothing, so perhaps he will take a shot at it if he's given the opportunity. Option on Danny, though, he may want to bet his hand for value here. Flush is pretty strong when there's four hearts on the board. Less likely your opponent has a flush. He's got to feel good about his jack high flush here. Hoping to get called by worse. There's no doubt I give action, okay? There's no doubt I give action. It's over, it's over. Hard to know if Professor would have took a stab and checked two on that river. Danny could have saw his cards, he would have checked, but can't blame him for sticking a value bet out there. Welcome to the game, Charles. Three suits. Played in some memorable uh, hands last night. If you didn't see the stream no, last night, definitely want to check that Shut out up. as well after this one's over. Yeah. A lot of pretty yeah, incredible hands happened last we'll night. Five, uh, wait, I'll Got wait. up to a $5,000 straddle blind the last hour. It was absolutely mental. Definitely check that out. And we got a shout out Stake Kings there. You're going to see that icon in the top right. That's a good spot to go buy a favorite piece of your action. I've definitely mentioned that a few times, but there's also a promotion that they're running here as well. That's pretty good for the viewers here. They're running a giveaway. It's only available for the next four hours to enter, so you definitely need to act soon. But there's going to be 28 winners that they're going to credit on the Stake Kings account for $10, $20, or $25. Oh, definitely want to get involved with that. 28 winners, guys. 28 people are going to get $10, $20, or $25. Bucks. Only about four hours left to enter, so definitely want to go to stakekings.com backslash hustler to get that free giveaway as well. 
couple reasons to visit Stake Kings at the moment. Definitely head on over to stakekings.com backslash hustler. Party one every day. Chips just grow. <laughs> Pretty cool thing about that Stakes Kings promo is there's no purchase necessary. You don't have to buy anything. You can just uh, just participate by visiting the site, and perhaps you'll get a free 25. So nothing wrong with that. Just click a few buttons, I'm sure, and capture the free value. So build that bankroll at no risk. Nothing wrong with that. Chuck. Two pair. Probably good. Good. Why not bluff? So bad. Charles, how you doing? I'm tired. I'm good. Tired? I'm okay now. I need that was some your, That was your oh, Christmas yeah. present to not bluff there. You ever have a Tita here? All right, what up? Um, Tita here? Three. Anthony, what I post right now? 3,000 Three. straddle. So? Yeah. Three. It's pretty amazing hearing Airball uh, speak in Mandarin so fluently last night. That was pretty incredible. I was actually playing a 1020 PLO cash game before I came up here, and there was somebody in the game that was remarking on how incredible his Mandarin was, who also spoke I Mandarin themselves. It. So it's not a good call, though. That was a pretty special, really uh, a pretty call. impressive display of uh, talent there by Airball, speaking uh, Mandarin like that. That was pretty gnarly. <laughs> not a pot commit. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you don't play these hands. All right, I fold. That's playing, why you don't play good. these hands. I'm playing good. Pretty good discipline there by Farah. Yeah, not to get involved with the dominated I flush draw. 499 queen with 499. I was like, I, I don't want to play that hand. Wow. <laughs> so I Pull the flush that. draw? Yeah, what am I going to do here? Just put feel, it in? I feel robbed. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, huh? I'm so bad. I should have bet like 5,000. I could have paid down. Yeah, nine comes. Nine comes? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you got to die. So <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta die, right, Professor? No, Sometimes you gotta die. Of course. For those in the chat wondering about how to get that free twenty or twenty-five dollars, you need to go to hustlercasinolive.com backslash stake kings, and from there you'll see the instructions on how to get involved in that free giveaway for ten, twenty, or twenty-five bucks. So hustlercasinolive.com backslash stake kings, and there'll be instructions from there. And get that free money, only a few hours left. What was that beat with me, Charles? Were the highest yesterday? Yeah, I'm the highest. 58, 52, I think. 58? You are, yeah, we are, we are basically the same. Yeah. I think two days out. Get yourself a free 25% uh, of a $100 one two casino buy-in. A little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Get a free uh, orbits of uh, live poker on that promo. HustlerCasinoLive.com backslash stakings. Get that free $25. I think they're giving away 28 promotional giveaway spots there. And you got, I think, three and a half hours left. So click a few buttons and get that money. Got a couple players with stacks north of 100 grand in this hand. Professor and Anthony squaring off here. 10 10 2 heart heart flop, neither player with a 10 or a flush draw. Let's see who's the most aggressive here. They're likely going to take down the hand. This is often where the skill can be at Omaha. It's not all just bingo flip fest. Who's going to win these marginal hands where nobody has anything? That's a pretty big factor in deciding who's going to win money in the long run. Who wins these pots that nobody has anything? That's often what people don't take into account. They just remember the memorable hands that happen and think it's all big gamble fest. And that is true on those big hands, but how do all these small and medium-sized pots go? Whoever wins the volume of those hands 
they're in a lot better spot to be a profitable player in the game, and that's what people Why? often misunderstand. Yeah, he's a block. That's a block. King high. He had a king high. King high, right? Two pairs. Two pairs? See, that's why you cannot wake up. You're watching the stream all night and getting a read on me? <laughs> I get a read on him. For those just tuning in, we had this game going yesterday as well. It was absolutely crazy. <laughs> Definitely want to bookmark last night's game after you finish this game. We got up to a $5,000 straddle there the last hour. The game was absolutely mental. Why are you blocking? Problem is... I'm guessing. Yeah, I was guessing. I have a tail. You don't want to tell me? Yeah, you have a tail. What is a tail? It's worth like $100,000. What is a tail? Tell me. Now, later. Yeah, wait till after the game for sure. Why now? Pot. I had the tail on him last night too. The Pot. problem was he's bluffing with the best hand against me. Oh, that was sick. Hey, Jack. 11? Yeah. Let me go on in just. 15, go there. Uh, 48. Big pot brewing here. Professor with a double suited little yeah, snapper hand. Way. Charles with the high court, like, high hey, card oriented ace, like, king, king, do? queen. And that? what do you know? This is the beauty of Omaha. He's got top set here. He also has the nuts with ace, queen. He's got an ace high straight. I mean, this is what you absolutely drive through traffic to dream about getting a hand like this. Unbelievable. He shows up late, promptly gets this hand. Good clean living there from Charles. And snap shoves like here. Professor with the sucker straight. He's got the queen nine. He'd be happy to see king king. He'd be ahead of that, but Charles got that ace queen to go with it. Professor effectively drawn dead here. He's got two backdoor flush draws, though. As you can see, that gives him 6% equity. Backdoor diamonds and backdoor clubs. It's a good illustration of the amount of equity you have there. He's pretty much drawing dead, you would think, but he's got 6% equity with those backdoor draws. my diamonds. Yeah. Ace. Charles, what oh, diamond, please. Things? Diamond, chop it. I'm happy to chop. Chop. That's me. How much? Look at this hand, aren't they? And obviously the professor's back to equity would be even higher, but as you see, Charles had one diamond in his hand as well as a club. So that would have been probably seven or eight percent. Had his suits not been in Charles's hand. But definitely got to be cognizant of your back to equity in Omaha. Anthony, one of my friends, he over set, set over set the other day, Danny. He's like, I've been waiting for this hand for two years. <laughs> I was like, we have a good uh, you got strategy. Welcome. Welcome to the game. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today it's going to be the easy target. <laughs> it's always the easy target. <laughs> but when Nick is not here, I know we need to he find might someone else. Yeah. How many players? Three. Okay. Okay. I check. Big flop here for Faraz, flopping trip nines. Nobody else with the nine, no pocket queens out there. He's in a great spot here. If you're in an eight or nine handed, game or maybe four or five people see a flop you wouldn't be you want to be a little cautious with trips with no kicker obviously queens has you pretty much drawing dead but in a three four hand a game like this obviously trip nines no kicker pretty amazing hand but uh to extrapolate this to a normal casino game there might be eight or nine handed where you're seeing four or five people the flop your deep stack trips with uh, no kickers really might want to play 
Michigan I somewhat uh, uh, cautiously, perhaps, especially if people everything. start piling a lot of money. So, like, somebody told me that there's, I didn't know there was a big, uh, there's a big Arab population. One difference between uh, oh, Nolan and Holland. I met some guy in, uh, in uh, oh, huge, in, uh, huge, the biggest for in sure. Miami, in, in, in Chicago, Chaldean, big, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think Mo Detroit's most of Chaldeans are in Detroit. I think Detroit's even more yeah. for Chaldean specifically, for sure. Chicago's got a lot of Assyrians, a lot of uh, yeah. Palestinians. For the friendship. Nice a lot hand of most of the here are for both Chicago, players. Professor with the double suited King Jack 9 2. Anthony, or Danny with the eight, ace 6 5 4 suited to the ace high side here. Good check. How much are you doing? Favorable flop for Danny here. He takes a head in the lead. He's got middle pair, nut, gut shot, straight draw, backdoor spades. Currently the best hand with a pair of sixes. Not much equity for the professor, but queen six two, kind of ragged, disconnected Very flop. Heads up like pod, he's gonna uh, force his opponent to make a hand to go with here. Looks like he's gonna make a bet. We shall see what the amount is. 20K in the pot, two to one stack ratio behind. Professor's got 40 grand behind roughly. Danny with 72. Professor weighing his options bet size wise here, we shall see. Pi feels bad, if Pi thinks if he checks it back, he's gonna be giving up the hand, he doesn't wanna do that. I think he's gonna to try to force Danny to contend here. He will do just that, he's gonna check call 7,000. As a three to one favorite. And as we know, the, the bad turn there, Professor turns a pair of nines, but a lot of additional equity for Danny there, turning the nut flush. Pretty automatic bet from Danny's perspective. Really going to put the pressure on Professor here. He did pick up a nine. He's got a gut shot as well with King Jack. Ten makes it straight, but tough to go up down this bet here with just second pair and a gut shot straight draw on a flush draw turn at that. He's got no spades. Pretty good bet here from Danny. Again, this is where the skill comes in in Omaha. You might have checked this hand and give Professor a free look at this river. Danny is not doing that. He's going to leverage his stack, put the pressure pressure on the Professor. He passes the test and does call with his hand. Good call. Basically a flip here. I have 25. No one is happy here. I have something. Pretty fair fight here, 54-46 as we see. Pretty gutsy go with there wow, by the professor. That is not the hand I was expecting to see. 25, 25. I think Danny expected nice him to fold that hand. That's me. That's you? That's me. Wow. Here's the added additional equity coming home to roost there. Three of diamonds on the river. Good shot realized. Two pair realized there. Four five I have. Nice scoop there from Danny's perspective. He's going to win that a lot of times with that turn bet. A lot of people are going to find a fold there, but Professor wanted to get sticky with it. He called. Correctly so, but uh, bad luck there on the Professor's end. Well played by both parties. Good gutsy call there. Oh, really, really good hand. Oh, the back door flash on? Oh, yeah, flash on. That's right. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today by clicking the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code HUSTLER and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Want to run 5,000 Strato? Everyone no, okay? No. No? no two, 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 two. Two? Um, two? One round two, okay. One round two. What? I'm okay. I'm just too short, too yeah. short. Yeah. Okay, two? what? Round two? Two, two. Okay, yeah. okay. Five. Round two is fine. Stupid, he's got five, fifty thousand. <laughs> Buddy, I'm stuck 200 yeah. already. Two you up 200. Up 200, huh? Yeah. Pitch? You up 200. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're talking about a short stack. Yeah, yeah. Of he's course, I guess stack uh, twice, three times. Of course, I'm short. I'm losing. Sense it. I'm second biggest loser after you, right now. I'm, I don't think I'm the biggest winner. <laughs> <laughs> you just started, guys. It's, it's way too early to talk about who's up and down. Danny Boy is the biggest winner. Today, probably. For now. 
Fatale. Fatale. How much are the minimum? Fatale, what up? I mean, Fatal showed up, so now we're all the biggest winner. <laughs> we're all winners now. What's up? In the middle. Yeah, right in the middle. <coughs> but are you uh, bring some cigar with you? Yes, sir. Thank you. I said I couldn't forget it today. Here. I have a clip, but it's in the bag. Not here. special. So do, you, like, do you smoke a lot of cigars, Fidel? Uh, mostly a novice. Just kind of started a little while ago. Yeah. But uh, a good cigar. Oh, another good all-in pot here. <laughs> 70 <laughs> large cigars for the total. Over pair versus top car, top pair of side cards and a gutty. Pretty fair fight as we see equity wise here. Twice. This is a pretty good way, like I was saying, to learn about Omaha without having to play. You can kind of see a lot of these hands, see what the equity distribution is. That kind of gives you a good idea. That's me. It's over. Kind of how hands are faring versus each other. Without having to actually pony up and be at a table yourself. So, gut shot instantly realized there by Professor. Oh, you win twice. Yes. <laughs> Professor nope. might be the biggest retard I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, wait, we already all knew that. So, prop, everyone in, 25 yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Okay, so we are in, yeah. uh, Perhaps a real occupation, perhaps yeah, not, uh, but uh, welcome wait, to the game, Patal. Okay, okay, I'll wait. Professor just started. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll wait. wait. Okay. No, I've actually played with Fatal a fair bit over the years, so I actually know that his name is Fatal, and it's not indeed Fat Al as it's showing on the graphics. Manning 50. I think we're having a little funsies with the uh, titles and names and jobs and such, so. So he waits? I wait, I wait. Not everything to be taken fully seriously here on HCL. But nice to have Fatal in the game. He's a fun character to have in the game. Gets in there and gambles, will straddle as much as most people want. Got up to 5K last night. He was uh, one of the advocates for that, as I recall. But uh, nice to have Fatal in the game. I think some people were uh, a little bearish on his storytelling skills, but maybe he'll have a better story for tonight. But either way, his play did all the talking last night. He had a good, a good win last night, from what I recall. So nice to see Fatal in the game again. Oh, I invite you. <laughs> How do you edition. fall? How do you fall? Uh, it's hard I'll to fall tell you, I'll tell you later what I had. Okay. Heads up. As you can see here, aces versus top pair and side cards here. It's basically a 50-50 proposition. Pretty good example of how equities can diverge in Omaha. Obviously, ace is the best hand pre-flop, but not even doing that great versus top pair and side cards. Of course, no additional improvement for aces, no backdoor clubs even. But he's still a slight favorite. King of Hearts on the turn gives Faraz a gut shot with his aces. He's got ace-ace jack on a king-10 turn here. Now, obviously, Faraz's aces are a two-to-one favorite since Professor did not improve on that turn. Repeating king on the river. Faraz aces firmly in the lead now. Best hand stood up by the river. Faded all of Professor's outs. Got a bit of a chunk right bet and a call nice. here. 5K bet and a I call. 2234 two, Badugi. 2234, two, I still call that hand. Good draw over in there on the floor. Yeah. I missed everything. 2234 two, Badugi. Yeah, for five more K, I think I still call. 2234 two, uh, is not. I don't know. I, I call. I have to call flop. And then I have to bluff on turn. <laughs> Would have probably worked. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I only have one three. I don't think yeah, I'm going to call. Uh, thank everybody Maybe. for um, watching the show tonight on YouTube and getting engaged in the chat. A lot of good, funny comments in the chat. Some people asking for Airball to either play or even jump in the booth as a co-commentator. Hey, if he wants to co-commentate with me, maybe we can rehash some of the hands from last night. That would be fun as well. But uh, I'm not counting him out to Annie up in this game. He's quite the competitor, likes to be involved as Airball, and uh, we shall see how that plays out. But either way, we got quite the game as is. Anyhow, the talls in the game now. <laughs> Things are going to get right heated I, up a little bit. As we see here, pots are getting big. 
We got a lot of stacks in the six figure range already here. Thank you. Game just getting started. Thanks, buddy. I'm rested. <laughs> no, no edible. Two people with aces here. This is something you'll see a decent amount of time in a Call of Omaha game. You come over and uh, just Easy target. three by me every time. It's a pretty great spot for the hand that's not aces when two hands are cannibalizing each other, as you see here. Professor's in the catbird seat with his double suited hand. As Charles and Danny both hold ace, ace. Wouldn't you be banned for life for doing what he did? Just the whole team. What are they gonna do? Ran the whole team. None of the players. I don't know. This one way never happen again. How much is his only? 131. How are you? Big pot brewing here. Already north of 138,000 chips are continuing to fly in the middle here. How much do I have? I got a bad feeling. I think it's 90 something. And uh, Danny, a seasoned gambler, his instincts are not wrong. He's got a bad feeling here. He does have rainbow aces. He prefer to have. Even better aces, but obviously a pretty amazing hand to have. Close. If not many big blinds here. I double you. You double through him. You want to bet? You want to do a side bet? You have 80,000 pounds. I'm going to laugh. I've never seen a fold ever. Not a crazy, crazy deep stack situation as you can be in Pot Labrador Omaha, you know obviously. I want to play good one time. Okay. Pretty academic to get aces in here. And oh, he gets a fold. The aces get saved by the fold of oh my God. Professor. You should call, you should call. You should, oh my fucking He's going to be mad. So dead. Hi, hi, hi. You had him dead though. Jesus Professor, you had Christ. him dead though. Oh my God, I have them dead. Not a spot you see often unless you play quite a, quite a bit of pot in Omaha, but again, another good learning moment for the viewers at home and the players. I got a, I got a hit chance, right? Oh my God, I lost the first one. Thank Obviously you. hard to necessarily surely predict each player, player has aces, blood. especially in a game that plays as crazy as this. I have a 5, 6, 18. Oh my God, I lost second oh, one, I think. I lost. <laughs> Good fall. Good fall. Good fall. Big spike here, trip 10s on the second run out here for ace, ace, 10, 3. 5, 6, 18. Danny's got to love that. I'm in such a good fall. Yeah, you come from me, right? Yeah. At 130. Half, half of my... Yeah. So Danny is going to three-quarter this pot. They chop the first run out. Danny outright wins the second run out. Can I order two? They only play aces and kings. I'm, I'm thinking about putting 100,000 in with king high. King, yeah, king eight six five, not even good king high. Oh no, I can tell you. Yeah. Oh, I want the These salad. Guys play salad. Uh, the way that I played out, I would have played a lot of four cards here because salad. they're most likely yeah. both gonna have aces. Yeah. Mommy, cheese, or poop. for us, yeah, mentioned what I was alluding to earlier. Yeah. Or meat. So salad, no salami, dairy, or croutons with avocado, and then the salmon with rice and veggies. Looks like we're gonna see Fatal's breakfast of champions there. Quite the order there from Fatal. I mean, yesterday I brought it, yeah. And yes, uh, 6 p.m. Oh, is breakfast on, for a high-stake gambler, no, in case uh, inquiring minds are wondering yeah, no about salami, that. No salami, no cheese, no croutons, yeah. yeah. It's the 48. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Charlie. It's a chop. Chop, chop, chop. Breakfast at 6, lunch at, you know, 10 or 11 at night, and, you know, maybe a little 4 a.m. wind-down meal. Pretty Come standard. Come on, dude, let me in. What do I have to do to get How in? How are you going to play on anyway, bro? <laughs> bro like, this guy's calling me a nit. <laughs> I've never been calling in my life. This guy calls me a nit. Uh, Fatal Whatever, is not bro. lying on that. He is a man of action, for sure. What Gotta did you call me with last night? That one hand took you like 14 feet. Professor, how long did he take last night? Seriously, that uh, hand? Total air 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right? Total 15 minutes. fucking gift. I, gave you I got gift. sore waiting for him to call. I was like, I gave you a gift of a lifetime. What hand? All I know is I had, a, 15 minutes. <laughs> I had a straight draw and a flush draw drawing stone dead to your full house already. What's uh, the 10? Give me uh, 500 for the staff for that sure. I was stone dead called with a flush draw and a straight draw. I mean, you've never been gifted before? Interesting hand here between Danny and Faraz. Now they're player with a super strong hand. Danny did flop. A straight here with king nine. Obviously, he is going to be concerned about ace king, and it's a pretty wet board as well, but not much for Faraz to have. He's got a four high flush draw, but you got to be a little concerned about having hearts. that low of a flush draw. I really did. Basically, can only beat the straight if you flush that low. You're never going to be up, never going to beat any flush with a flush that low. So, good uh, fold there by Faraz. 
He's chipped, man. Easily to be Great. super murk there with that kind of hand. Who's the genius that came up with this decision? Yeah, I don't like the color of the chips, that's for sure. <laughs> I really like this. I don't like the pad. In the five case, we have some big ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. For those wondering, there's also Pot Limit Omaha and Omaha games going on the casino floor here at Hustler as we speak. I believe there's a 10 20 or quarter 50 game slated for 8 p.m. But then I have to stop and charge. Saw a lot of names on the list. Uh, threw my name on the list as well. I'm hoping I can get a seat and this is over. That's because we spent 5,000. For some reason, I didn't charge that. That's because we spent 5,000. Five thousand all the way. Yeah, it was yeah. seven. Last Six time, then every seven. time reached cap. Seven five. Five. Oh, last. Last time oh, we spent five thousand. Ah. <laughs> Big game. That was a crazy game. Yeah. I have a forty-five in, uh, in total. Starting really? forty-five. Twenty-one. not pot, it's really nice little pot brewing like here between right Charles now. and Faraz. Queen King, Queen Two with Queen High Spades versus Queen Ten Ten Nine, Queen High Hearts. Charles is going to continue with his nice little medium hand there. Queen Ten Ten Nine, Queen Eight Two Two Diamonds. Each player is spiking that Queen. Charles with an inside gut shot straight draw. Money gets in pretty quick. We're short stacked here. Uh, no club, right? And uh, no like diamond. Uh, Hands no, pretty no, academic. No we shall good. see who the poker gods pick in this one. Faraz a two to one favorite Jack. currently. Set. That's me. That's you. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. I under mic. You get that one? That's you. Looks like we're going to have a chop here. This side never any bad. That side all right. No, little players uh, wondering in the chat. Obviously, a lot of hands are running are going to be ran twice uh, in this Obviously game. And in Omaha, in general, you're all in so often in Omaha. The variance is crazy enough as is. Okay. That you yes. see running it twice a lot more commonly than you will in no limit. It's understandable. Let's try it. Especially at these stakes. I mean, we do stupid. That's what we do. We're known for doing stupid. I mean, if you don't do stupid things, how? It's not fun. It's not fun. We gotta do stupid things. Why don't you make it? Why don't you make it 50 caps so it's fair for everybody? Or yeah. What the fuck? Oh, you want me to buy more? No, make it 50 caps. We can do one round 5k, 50k cap. No, that's fine. No, that's no, even no, done. I have only 50. So wait, are we on the fight? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, who, what's that? Where's the ante? He's coming. It's oh. Tempic no, time. the ante's just two, still two. <laughs> so we're doing five case rattles now? Yeah. Yeah, one in the five. And so, wow, I thought this on, was going to take a lot longer to happen. We already have a $5,000 straddle yeah. here. No, Goodness gracious. Tickets. This okay. escalated quickly. <laughs> More than I even anticipated. This is insane. We got a $5,000 bring in here now. 15. Come on, Anthony. Fortunes are about to change real Come quick. Come on, dude. Let's see who are going to be the benefactors here in these coming oh, rounds. You got your game face on today, bro. So serious. How much you playing, Anthony? How, much, how many of us do you have? Okay. So, okay. A little over 100. Big hands here. for us with the ace, jack, seven, six, wow. double to the high side. Oh Anthony God, with the ace, king, eight, five, double as well. A couple double seated hands. Looks like that found a fold, which surprised me. Perhaps there was a little miscue on the graphics, or maybe a player well saw cut. something to Told you the 5K spook them off idea. their hand. Yeah. A 5K bring in can uh, change some people's uh, arithmetic, dust, dust that's for dust sure. Dust so dust we shall dust. see how the players adjust you to this Bobo. insane $5,000 straddle Bobo line here. Dead Bobo, I miss you. Bobo, Bobo I'm die. Uh, Bobo, I'm die. We will Bobo play Dedo. back run roulette and soon, Bobo. Bobo, Bobo borrow, borrow money here. to roulette. Who is that Johnny guy from Australia? Oh, he's so juice, huh? I, I didn't play. Oscar told me he's juice. It's juice? I, I didn't know I didn't play him. I, I, I think he bluffed me. I had like trips with a king kicker. Ah, thank you. And I folded, but then he, I saw that he lost all his money. I thought he was actually good. Come on, dude. Huh? Big hands here. Faraz with the aces. Ace, ace, king, three. Ace, high spades. I'm in bad shit. 
really bad. Charles You're open and Fraz with the free that. bet to 50k here. Charles is all in with his queens. You don't want to be up against a higher pocket pair like he is. He's a pretty decent dog here. Roughly two to one dog here with the queens. Great spot for Fraz. You'd rather have four kind of disconnected, unpaired cards versus aces than a pair. You don't want to have a pocket pair when you're up against aces in Omaha. It's tough sledding in that instance. Faraz takes it down with the aces on the first run. I don't do it against Charles. Charles burned a 10 on that first round for additional outs. King, one time. Diamond. diamond. King, one time. You get a diamond or a nine diamond. here. No luck. You Best hand scoops the both runouts there. Nice this hand four for us. No, he was calling his outs. He had a nine. He wins also. That's what I'm saying. For the friendship, yeah. Six or time, huh? <laughs> Faraz, big winner again. He was big winner pretty much again all day yesterday. Playing from the lead. He started out stuck about 50, but here he is again up 118. Danny up smooth 100,000 as well. I think we have a few more hours on that Stake Kings promotion as well. HustlerCasinoLive.com backslash Stake Kings. They're giving away 28 spots, $10, $20, $25, no purchase necessary. HustlerCasinoLive.com backslash Stake Kings. Get that free money while it lasts. you got a few hours left, no purchase necessary. Get involved that way. Or you can pony up some money and invest in your favorite poker player as a cash player or a tournament player as well. Check out Stake Kings. Don't do stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel he wanted to do something stupid. You was thinking about it. With uh, maybe Jack High or something like that. <laughs> Charles flopping the nuts here with Queen 10 10, King Jack 9, two spades. Professor says. Window card. Like Not a lot player. to get looked up by How here by his opponents. Very, very very, It'd be very quite the loose slide. tug Easily by the professor way. here. I don't think How much? that's right. going to happen, but you never know with the professor. Fish. He's a fun one to watch. Hard to predict. We shall see what he does here, but I'd be shocked if he tags along here. Not a lot to go with. He's got backdoor nut hearts, but he's got three hearts. He's just got second pair on a straight pair. board. Boy, Not much cool. to do there. Queen Obviously, Charles should show the pocket tens, making his opponent think it was a blocker bluff, but uh, that's what casino douches do. But uh, he decided not to do that there. It's pretty fashionable to show your blocker cards and not the other two, make your opponent think you're bluffing. Say goodnight. But, uh, Say goodnight. You got a no charade there. Leon, the movie. He's that good looking? Leo, right? Oh, DiCaprio? No, no, no. No. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by comedic Yeah, you look just like DiCaprio. <laughs> You're right. I mean, maybe there's a Chinese Long time poker <laughs> professional. Played mostly 10, 20 to quarter 50. Parliament <laughs> Omaha, no limit. Nice to be in the booth here commentating this insane nosebleed action here. $5,000 straddle. Unbelievable action here at Hustler. Leon, Leon, Leon. Leon, Leon. Uh, Natasha Broadman, the girl, when he, the she was very young. Yeah, 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 I know the movie. Yeah, we all know that. What is the girl's name? Exactly Natasha really, Broadman, right? A really good movie. 42. I was thinking about doing something stupid. You guys are going to fall on me. Sorry. That's me! Merry Christmas. Thank you. I have a very bad one. I have a badoogie. Me too. No way! You want I have chop a it? No, hell no. <laughs> You should sure all in here. Wow. Pretty similar hands Dude, here. Ace King Jack hand? versus each other. No, we shall nine. see if oh, anybody okay. uh, gets What's super it? lucky or unlucky here. We could chop it twice. No, we're not chopped it. <laughs> you need that point oh one percent. Yeah. Up. See, there it is. Put the fucking eight out there just to there fucking it is. Them one time. So we have a flush draw now. Ten, ten, chop it. Chop. <laughs> Is it a shot? No. No, a 10 9. Oh, you have a flush draw. Nine! You're not happy with the current result, huh? You need the fucking whole thing. <laughs> fucking Seven! Seven! 
Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, there's eight. Give him the eight up top. How much? 42? 42, yes. You happy with yourself? I mean, who wouldn't be happier? Beat you out of a hand. I mean, what a dumb yeah. call. The it's quarter, a quarter good. Oh, we got quarter. The, who got extra? He got extra? No, you get the extra, because you got quarter. Oh, this is the extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is okay. the extra. You played a great bro. Yeah, I just want to What was? Who's five now? Cohen did though? Yeah, he's running away. So, yeah. so, did you talk to him? No? Did you talk to him? Yeah, he's on his way. He's on his way. He's Who lost. Is? Who? John, John. Like he's always lost. You don't know that? Expecting John Cohen to come on the stream. Mostly know him as a No Limit player. I played a lot of No Limit with him over the years in Los Angeles. Can we do 10,000? You get to see him play time? Pot Limit Omaha. I agree. Happy I mean, to see John in the game. Nice guy. Good player. Oh, fine. And given the nature of Los Angeles, you never know who could show up in a game like this, obviously. So Matt, teach you that one. Definitely want to stay tuned for that. I think we're all rooting for Airball, but uh, as you know, he was the poker pinata yesterday. He was getting batted around pretty good through no fault of, of his own, in my opinion. I'm batting a lot of coolers, oh, but uh, Get in there. it's not fun when poker is like that. I'm sure he's I don't care what the math and what that said. He should never fold. for a turnaround at some point, but we'll see what he ends up doing. Totally rest of it. I totally, totally, says probably never fold, so I totally agree. You guys Check. agree. Okay. The math says you should never fold here either. <laughs> Tricky flop here, neither player flopping an ace. It's ace, ace, queen board. What does the math say here? Faraz firing out a bet. Stupid. Again, this is where the skill and the aggression comes in the pot limit Omaha. It, all, it ain't all just flipping quarters and seeing who gets lucky. Really? Yeah. Who wins these pots on the margins, just like this hand here. Faraz, not afraid to throw some chips out, and that often can reward you in pot limit Omaha. Force your opponent to have a hand right. to go with. He's gonna win the hand right there. Stupid. They both have the he same hand, king nine. Nine. You're at best hand. I did. Fuck, I should have just called. I should have valued better him. Good aggression there by Faraz. I mean, you don't think I'm folding a better hand, do you? It's not all flipping cups and a quarters here, king folks. Seven, five, nine. nine. So I had the best hand? Yeah, you can check it on stream. To the aggressor goes the spoils. Nice hand there by Faraz. But the foul is the easy target. Yeah. <laughs> that was the word. Professor, that was a good word for easy target. Yeah, he's very tight. He's just blocking. He folds. Yeah. Yeah, I folded a bad ace. You're right, guys. You got me. I won't do another wrong. I, I didn't pick up a playable hand this one. One more wrong. Ray is a 65. <laughs> I didn't pick up one playable hand. I can't believe that. I couldn't be blind. I couldn't play my hand. The math definitely says to never fold here, right? Oh, okay. I can fold now. I'm happy Big spot here for Faraz. Three bet the aces. Ace, ace, four, three. The Raptor word, showing right? a bluff. 71 to bet. I'll be mad if, uh, if I lose this hand. We shall see if he gets some action here. 60, Anthony's got a bit of a kind of low board snapper hand, but he'd rather have like six, seven, six, five, four than the six, five, five, four. You don't want to have a pocket pair when you're up against aces. He knows yeah, that and finds a fold. Let's see the fold. Wish we could have given the 7654 instead. There's no jack. Are we done, uh, you lose. Strato? You lose. Are we done with the 5K? Yeah, stupid. We should make the buy-in deeper. Ah, <sighs> canal breeze. A straddle. 
Okay, it's good. Wow, this guy's action, bro. On my own. You still have to talk <laughs> this guy's action. I got it, buddy. Do you, have any, uh, do you have any friends or cousins that play like you? <laughs> you know how many women? <laughs> you know how many women tell me that? Two arguments going a bit too right and then. Like, okay. Sure. Put your table over here because this is not. Remember, for us, remember last night? I put. More than also, just in hey. case I need chips, it's good. You remember last night? Ray. There is like a 4,000 dead money in the middle, a guy 3,000, a guy called, a guy 4,000, a guy called 4,000, there's 4,000 in the middle. He has 12. He's a, I don't give a fuck, Goy. There's four dead in the middle, a guy rich for, a guy called for. He's like, I don't give a fuck, 12. And it's 8,000. <laughs> You are action, my dog. You remember last night? Big action. Big action. <laughs> a wow. I call. <laughs> it's a little double suited wow. hand here by the yeah. professor. Ace eight seven four. He's gonna make it eight thousand. Ace nine four three club flop. Flops two pair, but no club in his hand. Got to be a little concerned about a flush. It is only a heads up pot though. Let's see if he. How much? Play? Does a little bit of a button click bet here. Checks it back. We shall see. Not much you perfect all here. He's got so absolute 35. dust. Okay, okay. 35. 20 in the middle? Nothing to contend with. Looks like Professor going to bet 5K into 20K. If you're going to bet this flop, I definitely you know, prefer it to be a smaller bet like that with that kind of hand. And potting it would be pretty terrible, I think, with obviously two pair. Almost turning your hand to a bluff at that point. But... Uh, Nothing wrong with a little chump bet. Define the hand, scoop it up, move on to the next hand. Nobody went broke taking a profit. Nice hand there by the professor. It's kind of weird learning how to play these flush draw professor, flops straddle. in Omaha when you come from No Limit. The flush draw uh, boards play so differently in Palo in Omaha than in No Limit. When you get a little bit tiltier, you mean? Deeper. That too. No, right now, two shallows. You know what could be better than the 5K straddle is like one round 5K ante or something, you know? Yeah, I like that. Uh, Anthony is scared of gambling. He always prevent us from... It's like we've taken a break from that no, the massive kind of 5K, 5K come in. Oh, you said it's just... But uh, looks like they're cooking up some other ideas. We shall yeah. see. I mean, I mean for that. Four picks. Yeah, I mean... I'd like to see him play the small blind kitty game, as they call it, where basically an additional side pot builds in the small blind that only the small blind can win. Kind of incentivizes the small blind to get in there and gamble, which is often the person least incentivized to gamble in a hand being in the small blind. But uh, we shall see what kind of wrinkles they uh, throw in the mix here. Not that you need any wrinkles. I mean, we're playing 500, 500, 1,000 PLO. I mean, this is unparalleled action here at the Hustler Casino. I mean, you're not going to yeah. be able to see games of this idiot. scale really anywhere, so you're really in for a treat here tonight. I mean, this is a pretty rare opportunity to see people gamble this big. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Got to give it up to all these competitors for putting their money on the line here. This is putting an insane amount of meat on the bone here. I mean, this is absolutely epic. Really putting on a show for us at their own peril here. Got to give it up to all these people here in the octagon, <laughs> risking it like this. It's uh, not easy to do. It's a lot easy to know how to play a hand in theory in a chat or you know in a conversation with your friends, but uh, when the rubber meets the road and it's real money being risked, especially six figures, uh, it hits a little different. So, got to tip your cap to all these competitors here tonight. Anthony picking up the Rockets. Ace, ace, jack two, single suit to the high side. Fatal in there with a little king 10, nine, eight, single. 10 high diamonds. As you can see, even though he's got aces, it's a pretty fair fight for Fatal. And not a fair fight on this flop. King, king, six. This could get messy. Anthony does have the nut hearts to go with his aces. How many reds do you have? 20. Four reds. About 27. I got it. I mean, yeah, 27. Give it only 27K in Fatal stack. There's already almost 12K in the pot. I think Anthony's just probably going to bet go with his hand here. Without the aces, without the hearts, it'd probably be a bet fold for him because Fatal would like to have a king axe when he raises. But uh, with the nut hearts, that might uh, encourage Anthony to come along 
when he might not otherwise with aces. We shall see here. Class. He's going to go with it. Decent dog still with the hearts, 70-30, but uh, he's got a puncher's chance, as they say. Repeating six on the turn. No ace or heart for Anthony on that one. Fatal secures that run out. Brick five on that turn. Wrong color red for Anthony on that one. Red Jack. Fatal gonna scoop. Yeah, over there. Oh, it's already ready? Nice start wow. here for Fatal. He's got the dinner coming right on cue as well. Pretty solid uh, last few minutes there for Fatal. Got a nice little double up. He's got a hot plate being delivered to him, and uh, things have been worse for Fatal, that's for sure. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Kamita Gamble on social media. I'm a professional poker player of a few decades at this My point cigar. somehow. I don't know how that happened, but uh, play mostly Column in Omaha, no limit. Mostly right, 10, 20 to quarter 50. Table. Thanks for joining us here tonight. We got or an absolutely insane game on deck, as you can see. Yeah, you got a little table, that works too. Yeah, I got a little table. Okay. 500, 500, 1K. We did just finish a $5,000 straddle round if you're just now tuning in. We had a $5,000 straddle round for the last hour of last night's session. Definitely bookmark last night's game if you didn't catch it after you finished this one. A lot of insane PLO action to sweat for the, all the PLO enthusiasts out there or the No Limit people like myself was that are wanting to learn the game of Omaha. Not a bad way to get some exposure here. See some hands get dealt out, see some equities displayed on the screen. Oh, Johnny. Hop. 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 Yeah. Nice hand for the professor. He's going to find a three bet with ace, queen, jack, two, single suited to the queen high side. Flops, flops jacks up here. Jacks and deuces. Not much for Danny. He's got a little gutty to the 10, but on a club draw board, he's got no clubs, no pair, not much to go with it. He's probably going to just find a quick fold here. Hand played itself. Nice hand for the professor. Not much for Danny to do there. I mean, this game's so big, it's obviously, you know, you see what Airball lost, lost last night, you see what people win, it seems it's hard to wrap your head around, but when you consider the size of the game and the stakes, you know, what the biggest loser lost last night might be like losing a few grand in the 2-5 game when you adjust for inflation and account for the stakes, so to speak, so the numbers are really mental, they're really big, that's why we're here watching the games at Hustler, nobody else brings these scale of games to the viewer like Hustler does, but it's also important to keep in mind that uh, it's really not that many buy-ins <laughs> yeah, yeah. compared to the size of the game. It's it's a crazy amount of money in real life terms, but uh, when you apply the context of the size of the game, it's not that crazy to lose that much if you have a poor night of luck like uh, Nick did last night. Come on, dude. Good job. Double aces here. Danny with the aces. Charles with the aces. Fatal with the double suited unpaired hand. If Let's see if a, he goes with it here. Aces, he gets out the way. We do one time. Okay. Okay. They're going to go once wow. here with aces. What the heck? A true 50 50 according to the equity calculator here. We shall see if uh, you two always aces, somebody gets blessed, as they say. And what do you know? Bam! Charles Spikes trip kings right out the gate here. Danny wants to puke inside. Can't blame him. What are you going to do? Fold aces? Especially the one lone competitor here, especially Charles at that. Unlucky for Danny. This is the life we've chosen. Get the best hand to get absolutely murked. Faraz in the lead once again. Pretty much the lone winner here, up 166K. Absolutely curb stomping the game here. 
American History X style. This is an insane run he's on yesterday and today. Pretty much only winner in the game so far. Everybody else is stuck, and I'm going to tell you something. That's going to lead to a lot of action when five people or six people are stuck and one person's big winner. Uh, it's going to get interesting here in the coming moments. I can guarantee you that. We shall see if Faraz can continue the sun run. Unreal run for Asazan. He's also playing the most hands. He's got the highest V pip, so it ain't like he's just knitting it up and winning with aces and holding up. He is putting the most chips out there and he's getting rewarded for it. Nice to see that in a game of gambling and skill like Potlip and Omaha. Danny up there as well. Everybody playing over 40% here. A lot of gambling going on. Yeah. Pretty incredible yeah. action. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by comedic gamble. Thanks for tuning in. Things are about to get messy here, guys. Stacks are building. A lot of stacks north of $100,000. We've already had some rounds of $5,000 straddles as well. So I want to make sure that I have the cash. Buckle up. That's for sure. I'm thinking if I have more, you guys might raise the cap. I'm good with 250 cap. Is this 250 is against cap? Aces right? of one time. 250 cap last day? Whatever. 250 cap for us? 250 for now. 250? Yeah, 250 for now and. Just 250 Danny, are good? 250, 250 max. Whatever professor Just says. Take it. 250 max is good. Yeah. All right, 250 cap. 250 cap. I'm going to try and get unstuck. You never stuck, Three way pot here <laughs> to the to flop. King 8 3. King high there. clubs, 24,000 in the middle. Nobody with much, everybody checks through. Queen of spades on the turn, double flush draw board now. Nobody connecting much with this board thus far. First person to breathe on it in a meaningful way probably will take it down, but again, easier said than done in Omaha. Everybody can connect with the board. Not easy just to throw a bet out there. Take some, take some bravery, take some instincts. Let's see if anybody fires here. Nobody holding much. Fatal in the lead here, though, however. In the lead, but only with ace queen here, second pair ace kicker. And again, Faraz with absolutely squad douche, but it's been checked through to the river. He thinks he's betting into pretty weak ranges, and he is. Good instincts to bet here. Betting less than half the pot at that, give himself a good price. Photo air ball. <laughs> and boys, Fatal right. Good instincts there, but uh, will he follow it through with a call? He only has second pair here to the river and a three way pot. Often, just a pair of queens is not going to be the best hand at showdown. It actually is, but Faraz, once again, just mowing the table down. Total air ball? With really good aggression good here. It's really impressed with this play so far. He's gambling in a pretty good way, by my estimation. Good instincts there by Faraz. He had a slick Montclair shirt on yesterday. Mr. Montclair, I was calling him. I forgot to look up that shirt online. I might buy it. Maybe it'll rub off on my play at the tables. He's He's been seeing the ball real well the last few nights, has Faraz. Game really slowing down for him. He is locked in. And props are on. Let's see how his run continues We're all here. In props, right, everybody? Yeah. In props. You're in props, right? We're all in on that. You have to be. John, welcome to the game. He was a late joiner yesterday. He brought a dog as well. Oh my God. Not sure if we got a canine in the mix or not. But uh, we shall see here. Perhaps he's got somebody to feed the dog at home. I think when you're playing a $5,000 bring in PLO game, you might be able to afford some kind of stay over rover app situation or whatever it is to take care of your dog. A lot of those in Los Angeles. But uh, he brought his dog with him last friendly. night, so you know. Pretty dog centric fellow, it okay, looks like. Is John. Respect that. That's friendly. That, that is friendly. That is friendly. A lot of uh, pet animal lovers in Los Angeles, that's for sure. What See dogs everywhere. Check. Can I fold? Nice flop for Danny, flopping Broadway here at Queen Jack, we Ace King about 10. Props, and I opened these three cards. He's going to win. And then we're talking about nothing props, pocket. We're talking about, we're talking about like keeping that. it friendly, and I flopped the nuts. <laughs> Keep it friendly, and I flopped the nuts. 
John, uh, give me 500 for It's insane production. action tonight, brought to you by WPT Global and Steak King. It's proud to have these sponsors oh, oh yeah. Sorry. in the mix. It doesn't have to be cash. Supporting this amazing show. I mean, 500, 500,000 pot limit Omaha. We've already had $5,000 straddle rounds. We had that last night as well. Yeah. It is absolutely okay, so insane. Danny added over uh -uh. a quarter of a million, just no big deal, well, casual quarter of a mil add-on. Oh, wow. Why you have to go? You know, we all have done chip-ups, you know, we can relate to that. We all chip up our stack every now and again. No big deal. Introducing Rad Poker 2.0, your chance to win a free roll on Hustler Casino Live. Launching October 1st, Rad Poker 2.0, is a lightning paced heads up poker ladder. Work your way through the leagues from bronze up to grand master. Finish the month at the top of the ladder and win a free roll on HCL. To celebrate the upcoming release of Rad Poker 2.0, Rad Poker is offering free membership for the first month. Visit radpoker.com. Start playing and win your seat on Hustler Casino Live. Poker just got rad. Me and Charles were playing Limit last night. It was last year you did? <laughs> Limit, right? Like just yeah, memories, memories. Sorry. There's the pup. Like the one before that, I made a first how, uh, how many people had? How many people was in that Matt, tournament? Matt Schreiber said. Nice yeah, zoom Matt in Schreiber there. Said, yeah, you, you have no idea about that game. He, he made me play it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. I busted him in third. He's, he's third, right? Gotta love yeah, the zoom in here. Yeah. Much to the chagrin of Vegas Lynn, I'm when sure. When I entered, there was like 30. Big dog pessimist there. <laughs> really? Yeah. One of my favorite yeah, PLO players to play with right out of there. Vegas. Yeah, Great player. Shout out to Vegas Lynn. And shout out to Rad Poker. What a cool promotion they got going on. You can win a seat to play in one of these streams. Win a seat for less. Or get a piece of somebody who did win a seat. Top 20 also get a piece of the stake. Whoever wins. Radpoker.com. Check that out. No max. Maximize that. Yeah. Anthony said it's fun. Of course, because you can only bet the minimum. Yeah. A lot of great promotion for the viewers here tonight. We got the Rad Poker promotion. We got WPT Global 100% match up to $1,200. That's pretty sick. I was up a lot. I was up like 150 now. Also had the State Kings promotion as well. HustlerCasinoLive.com backslash State Kings. That promotion is running for a few more hours. Get a free $25. I think they're giving away. 28 spots in increments of 10, 20, and 25 bucks. No purchase necessary. You got a few hours left on that one. HustlerCasinoLive.com backslash Steak Kings. Super happy to have all these sponsors supporting the show. Thank you for that. And thank you guys for tuning in and supporting the show as well. 95? 95? Okay. Last time I checked, yeah. 4,000. How much in the middle? How much you have behind? How much you have behind? Also, you can see links for these promotions in the chat as well on YouTube. Check out that chat action. He said the example. You just tell me how much is on top. A lot of ways to get involved with the show. I got a professor at Stanford or the fuck he taught. Definitely not. I got to teach you math. You believe that bullshit? Can I please get a, another coffee with just have a cream, please? Thank you. Can I get a black coffee with two sponges, please? Keep it friendly. <laughs> Play post flop. Got a pot spot here. You just have to find Charles making it 5,000 with King, Queen, 10, 7, double oh, suited. John with the aces, ace, 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 okay. seven right. with three clubs. 
kind of a weird spot when you have three aces in Omaha, but you're still a favorite if you can get it in pre-flop. Not going to be a huge favorite, however, but you're going to take the small equity edge as you see here. Still a 10% favorite over a double-suited, unpaired hand, but bam, instant victory for Charles here. Not many ways for John to improve with his three aces here. Needed a backdoor club, didn't find it. And wow, what do you know, running <laughs> running sixes, that'll do it. A ten pairing would have helped as well. Then path to victory for John, but he found it. I'm happy to talk. Me too. Swear. No five. Charles pulls ahead in the lead there, but see if he gets counterfeited again. Okay. He does not. Pretty fair result there. 55-45. Pot gets split. About as fair as you're ever going to get. I'll keep it. You have three aces in a normal PLO game. It's obviously kind of sucks to you don't want to like pot it pre-flop and put in like, you know. 10, 20% of your stack pre-flop with a hand that's really can't improve post-flop or you're just gonna get murked on a lot of boards post-flop. But if you can get three aces in pretty much pre-flop, that's pretty outstanding. You're gonna be an equity advantage of three aces even. Well, obviously, you'd rather have two aces than three, but the shorter stack you are, the better the proposition it is. Charles gonna pot up his double seated jacks, jack, jack, four, two. 4-2 would kind of be considered danglers, but uh, being double suited is pretty key as well, so acceptable-ish hand here at the double suited jacks. I'd rather not have 4-2 with it, but that's all good. We can't be too picky here at HCL. We're here to gamble. Anthony pulls ahead here with his top pair of kings, although this is a great bluff spot for Charles, as we can see here. Jack 10 is the nuts, and he has two jacks. He's also got a club draw to go with it. This is a pretty good opportunity to really go ham here for Charles. You block Jack 10 considerably, holding two jacks in your hand. He's also got backdoor clubs as an escape hatch, as well as backdoor diamonds. So well played there by Charles. That's a really good example of how to execute a blocker bluff. Well played there by Charles. Nice check raise there. Well executed, well played, well done by Charles. I just, I got, went to my hotel, just relax. <clears throat> I haven't been getting much sleep. Thank you. Ross flopping hearts here. Danny on a lark here, betting king, queen, nine, five. He does have that five blocking the straight, but three other fives exist. This is sticking your neck out a little bit there in gambling. Got to respect the bet by Danny. Frost is going to continue. An overpair 
and queen high hearts, queen jack, jack nine. No flush realized on the turn, but it does bring Danny additional equity here. He picked up spades, board pairs as well, pairing four. Four, three, two, two hearts and a spade. Now a four of spades, pairs the board, making a double flush draw turn here. 54 grand in the pot. Effective stacks are deep here. 250K effective. We got a 55K pot at the moment. If Danny's gonna stab at this pot on an absolute lark, I gotta figure he's gonna stab again here now that he picked up a spade draw. This is a really good bet here. Really putting Faraz to the test here. Two great gamblers squaring off here, crossing swords in this hand. Let's see who wins. Pretty good hand of consequence so far. A lot of gravity to this moment, but Faraz is gonna find a fold. Great aggression there by Danny. Really good aggression there. It's not easy to fire that second shell. He doesn't have a piece of any of those cards on the board. Easy for Faraz to flat that flop bet on a straight flop with a set or two pair that fills up. Definitely took some gumption there by Danny. He found that second bullet. Not a one pump chump is Danny. He fired that second bullet correctly so. Well played there by Danny. You want to wait? Yeah, I'll take one. You'll take it? Take and they said big blind. They said big blind. White the hand there. As you can see, there's a lot of big pots that are basically flips, equity flips, where you know everybody's gonna just put their money in and it seems like it's a luck fest, but you really gotta pay attention to these hands like that, where a lot of poker is being played and you gotta pay attention to who's winning those pots, why they're making those bets, how they even come to make those bets. I mean, it's just a really good hand rating, really good instincts there. Hats off to Danny on that one. A lot of poker being played here, as I suspected. The first handful of minutes, first hour, it's kind of like the first round of a boxing match. People are feeling each other out. But as I suspected, you know, it's really heating up here right now. A lot of huge stacks, a lot of poker being played. I can't wait to see these last two hours. This is going to get very interesting. Danny mm -hmm. in the lead here. He's got top two on a non-flush or straight board. Hard to come by in Pot Limit Omaha. Charles is gonna fold his ace X here. Nice hand there by Danny. We're driving. He's like, what the fuck? I was like, what? He's like, there's a sign of my picture in it. There is a sign on the highway with his picture. How's like casino? Nick. They don't even tell them? Dude, he didn't. I was like, bro, you didn't know that. He's like, no, I swear to God, I didn't That's know so that. Funny. <laughs> Pretty cool side Nick. benefit of playing in this game. Last night, and there is a sign with his picture. How's like casino? Like a huge sign on. It's like, I was like, you didn't know that? He's like, no, it's my first time seeing it. Dude, that's. He didn't know. Any water? That's pretty cool stuff. There's a big billboard right in front of the Hustler that I think it has Mariano on it right now, but uh, from driving all over LA, you'll see all these billboards. Hustler Casino Live, you'll see a player in the game on the billboard. I mean, it's so cool. What a cool moment for a player to get on a billboard like that in Los Angeles. Yet another reason to get out to Hustler and find a seat in one of these big HCL games. Not only would we be in an incredible game of action, but uh, you might find yourself on a billboard like your freaking Clooney or Brad Pitt. Pretty sick little perk here. Got a hats off to Hustler for promoting the show like that and really promoting the players as well. Pretty cool moment for them. Sure. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. See a lot of fans of the dog in the chat. I forgot the dog's name. Perhaps that'll resurface here, but uh, the dog is really ratioing well in the chat. Nice little heads up pot here between Faraz and the professor. Nobody flopping much. Let's see who's gonna be most aggressive and take it down. That's been Faraz. Thus far, he's going to take down a yet another pot. Jabbing people to death, winning on points. That's for us. Mayweather mode, another pot. Well played there by for us. Still a, an hour or two left on that uh, State Kings promotion, giving away 28. Spots 10, 20, 25 bucks, no purchase necessary. Hustler Casino Live backslash Steak Kings. Also, you can buy a piece of your favorite player in a cash game or a tournament as well. Get involved. Steakkings.com backslash hustler. Four. Four. Rockets for the man of action here for Oz, making it 7,000 double suited aces. <laughs> Looked like a fairly tight fold there from John, quickly shown and re removed. I forgot what it was, but uh, pretty good discipline fold there out of the blinds, it looks like from John. He had some kind of King Broadway ish suited hand that looked decent. But he got it out of the way, correctly so. Seven, six, two, two diamonds. Faraz flopping okay. huge here. He's got the over pair. He's got the nut flush draw. Even got backdoor hearts to go with it. Professor in there at top two, but no additional equity. Charles in there with middle pair and open-ended. Everybody's got a piece of something here. Beauty of Omaha. Everybody's connecting in some kind of meaningful way. Professor leading out here. Pot for top two pair with nothing else to go with it. He only has a pot size bet behind. I don't blame him here. Twice. Money's going to get in. Got a big hand. Big hand. Just a standard $130,000 coin flip essentially here. The hands are playing themselves I'm in this hand. I'm happy Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy. <laughs> I'm Very telling happy you. I'm, to you want to chop it now? Can, can we do that? <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. It's not fun. It's not yeah, fun to do that. That's not part of the ethos of this game, chopping it. Start with the heart. Got to see some bloodshed here. Let's see a run out. Two of diamonds. Instant gratification oh, no, there for Faraz. But what do you know, a six on the river for a full house. Wow, what a run out there. Unbelievable. Nice, huh? Oh, like this. Incredible scoop there by the professor. <laughs> it looked pretty grim there on that diamond turn, but a little four out shout on that first run out to get a boat and then walk between raindrops on that second run out for the scoop. Wow. You had a six? Yeah. I feel better now. No, you don't scoop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't scoop. Yeah, you made no flush. made no flush. I made no flush. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the first one, yeah, yeah. He only loses to one guy twice. It's okay. I don't mean, I don't, For us, I don't big mind losing to still. Professor. Yeah. Six the figure money win. Play. Money in play. Six. The money in play. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't breathe. Huh? Anthony stuck in the cellar so far. The fate that Airball had yesterday. Today, it's Anthony who's caught the flu in the game. Somebody's going to catch it. Just the nature of the game. It's a big number, but again, when you account for the size of the game, it's just commonplace. Somebody's going to lose a big number. Somebody's going to win a big number. Just how it's going to play out in a game like this, of this size, and this nature here. Big straddles, big blinds, lots of action. Yeah. 
You have to be 60% uh, VIP yeah, to get a hoodie. He say, asked for juicy. one yesterday, they told him fuck off. How juicy do I have to be? <laughs> but, uh, why am I fucking with you? All good. It's actually not fucking, I'm joking with you. That's good, that's good. John strikes pay dirt like here, trip seven, 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 three, rainbow flop, king ten, eight, seven. Bro, as soon as he's up 40, Some people might think, slow play this, worry. check it back. That's what you say until a nine pitch is off. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nothing wrong with betting I'm your hand in Omaha, uh, even though that is as dry of a flop as you're going to get, pretty much. Yeah, Anthony calls with the over pair of nines. Pure bluff catcher at that point. Maybe hoping John was taking a stab and is going to shut down, but he does not. He's going to bet when check two here. 11,000, Anthony's going to I gave him $200 to shut do up the best now. thing and fold oh here. God. When he was winning, right? Yes, it was the best $200 ever. I wouldn't give him 200 I'll just, you know, keep him stuck. When he's losing, he doesn't talk. <laughs> How you doing? I think I would have paid, today? like, at that day, I would have paid, like, 1000 I know, buddy. You okay? What are you for? I told you I was stuck negative one. Count. Everyone on prop, okay? You say yes. yes. 25,000. 25, working on that. I'm working on props. I'm the two, right? What did you say, Anthony? Calling station. Who is? Me. You're calling station? Wow. What am I? Betting station. Fatal in hoodie mode here. Getting serious. Stakes are increasing. Stacks are rising. Yeah, get two if you can. Oh, you guys are just gonna surround me. We're gonna add you guys to the list. Oh yeah. What the hell is that? Uh, no, I, he told me not to. <laughs> he told me not to get one, but since he's getting one. He, he told me don't. He doesn't want one. Okay. Us to get it. But my neck. I woke up. My neck was. Danny worked out yesterday, so he needs his no? So he worked out yesterday. Yeah, I'm just two. Yeah, yep. <laughs> You're right. Thought I'd see Fatal get involved there, but kind of borderline play, I thought. He started to fold. <laughs> Charles completing with a four club ace king ten four. Obviously, you only want two of a suit in your hand. Any more than that, you're cannibalizing your outs. But it's a game of gambling and not net a net test here. So he's going to get involved. Every time we're at Starbucks, by, by the time it gets here, it's cold. For all flopping a flush here. Not much for his opponents to call with. Where'd you get yours? This? It's not Starbucks. Yeah. Just got regular, no. regular dust coffee. Am I the 2K? Fine. What's the score in the Philly series? I'm not sure. Philly's up 2 1. 2 1. And it's best of seven. seven. This is a yeah. Nice to see the Phillies winning this series. I'm rooting for them for sure. I'm a Kansas City Royals up. fan, we but. Have, uh, uh, 3 1 or 3 2? Rooting for the Phillies. I think they lost. I think they blew the game. Oh, you're right. Saw my buddy Kane Callis singing the national anthem there a few days ago. 
His dad was a uh, famous Phillies broadcaster, Harry Callis. Shout out to Kane Callis. Good luck to your Phillies, bro. Rooting for you. Hope to see you do the national anthem at a World Series game. That would be pretty cool. Professor raking in another pot. I think all the games are over for the most part today. Definitely want to be winning an accumulation of pots in Omaha, and you want to be having good equity when you do play all in pots. It's a pretty good recipe to be a good winner in an Omaha game, win a lot without showdown, have good equity when you play the big pots. Pretty good recipe for success. Still waiting the arrival of John Cohen and always a mystery guest. I think whenever John arrives in the game, oh, I've played a fair amount of poker with four of these people. John, Danny, I've played a decent bit with. It's been a few years. The tall. But look at them now. You know, they're playing a $5,000 straddle game, and I'm just a slap dick 10, 20, quarter, 50 player. So, uh, W to them on that one, that's for sure. I have not played anywhere near this big. That's pretty cool to see guys you came up with playing some playing as big as this. Hats off to them, that's for sure. <clears throat> Stratospheric stakes here at the Hustle Casino. 500, 500, $1,000 blinds here. We had a $5,000 straddle round earlier. We had about an hour of 5,000 straddles last night. Definitely check out last night's game after this one ends. Big pot brewing here. Charles betting 42K pot here. He's got a pretty nice little hand here. He's got middle pair of nines. He's got a little rafter to go with it. He's got backdoor hearts as well. Anthony technically the equity favorite here with a better nine, but he doesn't have that, okay. doesn't have a lot to call with. Doesn't want to play a big pot. He doesn't have a powerhouse draw to go with. The second pair, he just got a gut shot straight draw with it. Did have the ace of clubs blocker, but it doesn't matter much if somebody's betting pot in the 42 grand. Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, really, really hot though. Like started like a yeah, okay. thing where like he's like the next day he's like I now owe two point nine nine five million. <laughs> you know, like, but it's just so funny the interaction we had with him. Oh yeah. Sorry, sir. Never would have thought that guy wasn't a smart guy. Yeah, it's actually Never. amazing. Never would have thought. It's actually amazing. I, I don't know what you do. Well, yeah, maybe you, you take for me. We're done with strength. Yeah, it's like huge. Like, take your time, professor. Like, yeah. What's up, dog? You good? I do regret not buying that watch, though. Yeah, I mean, you. Yeah. Nice hand for Charles for ace, king, king, jack, king, high diamond. He's going to make a 4,000. But Anthony waking up with aces here. He's been a big loser so far. Like to see. This kind of hand going the place <laughs> somebody's stuck the most. He's got double suited aces here. Ace, ace, 10, six. Double suited yeah. spades and diamonds to the ace high side here. What a spot here for Anthony. He's got over 100 grand to start the hand as well. Good chance for him Come on, dude. to make it back here. Not like this. What's going on? The tall in there with a nice little rundown. 9875. A lot of money in the pot with the calls. Let's. Charles, four bets to 71 grand. Anthony all in for 100 grand here, 104 grand to be exact. This is getting crazy here. What a dream spot. Ace is up against ace, king, king. He's even got the king high diamonds covered with ace high diamonds. Dream scenario for Anthony here. He's going to hope Faraz gets out of the way with his rundown. This is a very bad fold. Same with Fat Fatal. Very fucking He hopes to isolate this against the ace, king, king hand. Fatal only with 50 grand, that might help him out here. He might just sling it in. Easier to sling in 50 versus slinging in 100. He's gonna sling it in. It's not gonna have great equity. His King Jack's pretty nullified by Charles's King King Jack. His spades are diminished by Anthony's ace high spades. Fatal kind of covered here, unluckily here. 
A lot of his outs are in other players' hands. Tough spot for Fatal. Jack, 3-2. Fatal does have backdoor hearts. Those are good. But no luck for Fatal so far. Anthony's still in the lead here. Aces hold up. Dream snare off for Anthony. He's the most stuck on the game so far. That's about to change here if he can get a big hold here. Big spot for Anthony. He turns two pair with his aces. He's got a flush draw as well. Spades. Good clean living there from Anthony. Well deserved. He's been a lot of action so far today. He's been on the short end of the stick. But good things can happen when you hang in there like he has. Still stuck. He's going to profit 186 grand. Like he said, still stuck. We will see when the State Kings graphic comes up if that's so, but that's definitely going to do a lot for him. Say good night to that money. Yeah. About, as good as a hand, got about as good as a spot as you're going to be in preflop, getting in ace, huh? ace versus ace versus ace, king, after. king. All that thin money. Oh, good. good spot there for Anthony. Really? And now he's only down, you know, 14, a used 14, Prius. 14, you know, he's, he's getting back to even here, only down 18 and a half. Just pretty good when you were down a couple hundred not that long ago. So I was called a nit. If I have your stack, I'm not folding. I have to call 150. I, I, dude, I almost put it in. I don't know why. I almost put it in. Like, literally. Make anything? Straight 5789. Good fold. For us, loading is fold there. He 5789. He would have got a piece of the pie had he stuck it in, but he's got a huge stack, so it's not easy to stick in. Six um, figures on a yeah, same situation. Just on a random what, you know, you, double suited hand. hand. Yesterday, five seven eight nine. Yeah, I think so. Oh, five six eight. Five six seven nine. Yeah. Um, John waking up with aces here. Single suited he aces four two ace high hearts. Faraz three bet with king king jack six single suited jack high. I don't have it. Thirty five. Great spot for John. The field. 40, there's queens uh, in the field. 40, there's kings five, five. in the field. You want to be up against lower pocket pairs when you have aces in Omaha. Four unpaired cards would have a lot better chance to crack aces than a pair. Great spot for John here, being up against the lesser pairs. Okay, twice? Yeah. And as you see here, he's a 72-28 favorite versus the pocket kings of for us. Yeah. And obviously, John's 45K stack is like ashtray money to Faraz, so easy for him to sling it in there. He's got a heart draw now to go with his jacks. But it's nullified by John's hearts. Great spot for John here. Faraz looking for a queen here for a straight on that first board. He didn't get it. Jack Jack 10 on the second run out. Bingo for Faraz. Hits trip jacks. Tough luck there for John. Aces versus Kings. You hope for a scoop there, but he's going to have to make do with a chop. Uh, I did not take that long. Did you say you? No, I said that did not take that long. Now you know how we feel when we play poker. We play online. I wouldn't know. Online pro. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. No? Mm. And you said good food. Hmm? You said a good food. Of course. Thanks. What do you mean to me, Danny? You're such a good boy, huh? I'm not going to do this. My hand, bro. Yeah, lucky. Up my Nine, eight, seven, two diamonds. What a flop for Anthony here. Flops the joint, Jack High straight. He's got a straight flush draw to go with it. Charles also with the straight. Great spot for Anthony. What they call a free roll in the biz. Great spot for Anthony here. His comeback tour in a great spot right now.
just flats it there. Just gonna wish he didn't, knowing what Charles has. May not matter here. We shall see. All in a call. Oh fuck. He's got trip eights as well. As if Jack Ten of Diamonds wasn't enough for the straight time. flush. One, one redraw time. here. It's a chop. What the hell is this? Unlucky there for Anthony. Can you, can you lock this He was in the catbird even, seat, that's for sure. <laughs> Mouse, Rico, kind, three flash roll. <laughs> Everything. One time. It's right here, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is mine, yeah. Yeah, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> Three old guy. Four house, draw, flat, Any draw. jack? Any six, yeah, jack, ten, diamonds. <laughs> what else? Eight? Six, yeah, eight, 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 diamonds. Six, eight, jack, ten, or diamond. <laughs> Maybe. Um, the what? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. I don't have much. Thirteen. Is that a raise? Thirteen. Oh. Got a raise, re-raise here. Faraz open in the Queen Jack 10 9 single. Great little rundown hand here. Fatal with the double suited double paired 8855. Eight, five. Gotta love double paired hands. Flop a set roughly one and four times. Add in those double flush draws as well. He's gonna flop a piece very often here. He bricks hitting it in a meaningful way, but he does have the straight blockers with the pocket fives. Let's see how he plays. He does have two backdoor flush draws. Ross leading out here with a high rundown on this 4-2-3 board. Bit of a gambit he's on per huge. Turn is an eight of diamonds here. Hitting top set for Fatal with the straight blockers as well. Got to feel like Faraz probably isn't betting and then checking a straight on a turn that doesn't change anything here. Great spot for Fatal. He's got top set. He's drawn to the best hand. He's drawn to a full house. He blocks the straights with the pocket fives. Great situation here for Fatal. He's going to bet. Small straight. Really? He's going to bet 25 grand and he's going to take it down. You had 5 six, right? Show really? the pocket fives as, yep, oh. that's the move. Small straight. Show the pocket fives. Keep him wondering. <laughs> I had no pair, no draw. You got to love Farage just leading out there yeah. at the uh, queen no, high rundown on the 5 3 2 flop. I had no straight either. You're right. He does, does. He does talk every time he wants a hand. Seriously. <laughs> wow. I was just answering your question. You know, I'm gonna let you win more hands just so he can talk. I. You oh. know what it is? I'm gonna. <laughs> for every hundred words you say, I'm gonna say two words. I'm just glad I'm here. Even even swap. Glad I'm here having fun. So. Even swap. You got two ears swap? and one mouth. Fatal's gonna respect for that every ratio, three words you say. Like. I'm gonna say a hundred. I said for every hundred you say, I'll say I'll say a couple. I'll take the over on the three. <laughs> really? If you're winning, for sure, I'll take the over. If he's losing, it's got to be the under. Oh, sorry. Four? Fatal was in storyteller oh. mode last night. I'll nah. take the over on words as well. I'm not in the mood. Too much traveling. You're going, for sure? No, I'm going to Europe. I don't know. Oh, oh you're going to stop by there? Uh, you just, you're going to... Go I mean, this just happened to be the same time you're going, or you plan? Oh. What time is it? What time is it? I don't feel for him. What's going on in Monaco? Triton, Triton. Triton. Someone asked me to go, uh, oh, David asked me to play. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. It's a nice casino, right? Faraz flopping open ended here with this 5 3 on King 6 4. Charles in there with a Queen High Diamond draw, Queen Jack 6 2, Queen 6 of Diamonds. Got a pair of sixes and a Queen High flush draw, second up flush draw. Hand consolidates down to heads up as we approach the turn. Queen of Clubs. Charles now with Queens up, Queens and Sixes. He's still got that second nut flush draw, Queen High Diamonds. 
Faraz does not improve with his 5-3 open-ended. He does improve slightly with that queen. He does have a gut shot to the 10, however. But he's got Charles betting into it for 16K here. 16? Nice spot for Charles. Faraz is going to continue. Tennis, bay, tennis Bay's on the river, and that backdoor straight came in for Faraz. He's got ace jack for Broadway here. Tough luck for Charles. He had a pretty solid lead in the hand throughout. Yeah. I've been traveling so much. My house but the fortune change with that puts it back queen 10 run out. She didn't even put the suitcase away. She just takes the clothes and puts them back in the suitcase. $49,000 bet from Faraz. Perhaps trying to sell that he has maybe just jack jack, maybe ace ace, maybe just betting blockers. Diamonds did miss here. A lot of straight cards missed. Wrapped around the 6 4, 5 7 8, 5 3, 5 3 7. Diamonds. A lot of draws missed, and he's going to find a call here. He's going to be dismayed with the result. Queen's up no good. He had that jack in his hand as well to reduce the likelihood of running into ace jack or jack nine. All the draws bricked there. Tough hand there for Charles. If I cover me or not, I think cover me. What a run out for Faraz, and well deserved. He's been the straw that stirs the drink in the game. He's been betting the most. He's had the highest deep hip. He's been bluffing. He's been leading. A dangerous man with four cards in his hand is Faraz. Well played there by Faraz. This game is crazy. Oh, I know who was there. Don't even know what that means. No, 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 not you. What do you, what do you think? I don't know what that means. No, somebody texts me and he's like, what are you doing this thing? Max Payne Monday, always around the corner here, a few days away, hosted by DGAF. I figured it out. Good buddy of mine I've been playing poker with here for many years. Vegas, LA, all over the place. Fellow grinder, happy to see his come up. something? Got a great show on Mondays, Max Payne Monday. 5K? Hit up DGAF on okay. socials if you'd like a seat. 2K, 2K. Okay, okay, 2K. Or curious about the game in general. Yeah, Tune in on Monday at 5 p.m. Yeah. Max Payne Monday, one of my favorite shows one, three, right? of all the Hustler shows. Three cards. You have how many? What happened is that you probably have the gaff is quite the host, quite the player as well. Fun guy to watch on, and listen man. to. Who's four seven? You do me like Hats that? Hats off to D gaff. No one's got a prop in three days. Oh my God! Don't say it. Fifty-eight. I got a feeling it's gonna hit. Somebody's gonna hit it today. Yeah. You wanna raise it fifty thousand per person? In three days, it's gotta be a favorite, in. right? Okay. The last time I saw Harrison hit a fifty thousand per table is yeah. four hundred. You think in three days? It's I'm a probably gonna win it. I don't wanna do that. Three hours. For well, friendship, you don't want to do it, right? Yeah. Now. I don't know. I don't know if you answer. Shout out to our sponsors as well. WPT Global, oh, Steak Kings, and Rad Poker. In the three days or no? All running great promotions oh, for know. the viewers here on Hustler huh? Casino Live. Sure. I think there's a few hours left in that Steak Kings promotion. Hustler Casino Live backslash Hustler, I believe is the link for that one. It's also in the stream. For those in inquiring, you can check out that stream. There's links you can click that will direct you to where you want to go here, lead you to water. $25 of water potentially here. $10, $20, and $25 giveaways. Faraz waking up with aces here, heads up to the flop. Nine, eight, four rainbow here. He's got an eight in his hand as well. Not much for John here. He's got an inside gut shot to the seven. It's not that hard to hit a straight flush. 10 turn here. Brings a lot of straights, but Faraz is not deterred. He's going to lead as he's one to do. Not much for John. He's going to find a fold. I believe it. So it's not just me, it's cold. I knew you were weak. You're off, you're on. Remember, it's only got to be. It's only got to be half the number for it to be 50-50. It doesn't have to be the full number. Swing up or down. Right? 
Temperature. So, so problems since 25. Right. 25. Oh, 25,000. Definitely 25, vital signs go up. 100%. No matter what game you're playing. Not you, I'm saying a like, human being. I'll find out. Oh, yeah? 100%. Why? It's the best. It tells me Speaking of this, I'm really very close everything. to a problem. I knew that. Nothing. You guys are ten. How do you think I ended up here? No. This is not one card. What do you mean? Are you that dumb? Can you be that dumb? <laughs> time, 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 time. Nice hand for Charles here, raising the ace queen 6 2, double to the high side, hearts and diamonds. This kid I know back home. Adds up. Very intelligent, book smart, very, very stupid in the real world. Everyone back home knows who we're talking about. Thanks for tuning in here to the action, guys. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble on social media. Professor, for real, what is your area of expertise? Coding? No, it's not poker. We know that. Nice turn here for Charles. He spikes trick aces. Expertise. A bit complicated with the three Bacchus? spade board, what? but he's going to throw out a bet. He's going to take it down. Bakra. Yeah, that's Professor Specialty. No. Bach and War. He's not good at Bach. Oh, yeah, he's very good at Bach. He's very good at choosing which side, which side to get uh, scammed. scammed on there. Oh, <laughs> this is a scene for the movie. Professor verified his side. Hey, remember that day with uh, about? I'm not even exaggerating. About six times in about 30 seconds. And the whole table. The whole table is like shut the fuck up. Including already. the floor, heard six times what I said. And once I flop out, can't say no. I said that hand. You lose. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, the floor I man has to chip in. <laughs> we all. What are you talking about? Did he pay you? He paid you. Ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he was thoroughly convinced. He was tilted. I was there. Oh, you were there? Not Am I like... exact reaching at least six times, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I even... said, see, Wait, you, three no, you cards, I have this two, yeah. you have that two. Tan, I think. Tan is never going to. He never, yeah. yeah even, the floor, even the floor person was like, I never, I never get involved in these things, but you're clearly, yeah. clearly involved. Tan was just confused. I mean. A732 clubs. Little inside gutty here. Gut shot straight draw for Professor. Six makes a straight. Just had an airhead moment. Faraz, total air ball on the flop, but that's not going to deter him from betting 8,000 here. He's going to put Professor to the test. Faraz knows the value of winning without showdown here. Scooping a dead money, but he's going to have to really earn it on this hand. Professor going to give him a tug here. Call 8,000. Two of clubs on the turn, neither player with the flush. Professor does have a five of clubs in his hand, reducing the likelihood of Faraz waking up with two clubs. Still very much a possibility though, only having just one club in his hand. Still a decent chance. Faraz has club club, but it goes check back on the turn. River ace pairs the board. How high? Oh. <laughs> There's only one straight. That gut How shot is enough one? to take Seriously? it down by the professor. Not, <laughs> Not much for Faraz there. Good discretion giving it up. Just a little, oh, took one you. shot at it. Did you get pizza? Uh, did you play the, you didn't play the first day, right? Croissant. First day. Oh, you did play the first day, yeah, yeah. Were you when I bluffed Change it up, huh? Yeah, croissant sandwich? When I chose squats, yeah. I was croissant. like, okay, we're flipping. It's good. <laughs> The funniest part is I think you enjoyed it more than he did. <laughs> What's up? Uh -huh. oh, Seven? Fold and hold. Don't do it. Don't do it. You got a sweat? Nice hand here for Faraz. Yeah. Double suited kings. King, king, queen, seven. Double to the high side. 
Professor in there at Queens. Charles with eights. Three ways to the flop. Ace Jack eight. Pay dirt for Charles. Flops a set of eights. I like that. I like that. I mean, double check it. For Oz, going to rip that ace high board. It's a very card. As the pre flop leader. Well, it's safe. What? It's safe. It's about 11,000. That's. Gonna get a check raise from Charles. It's gonna take it down. Faraz wishing he'd check that back, see if he pinched off a 10, but don't blame him for trying to win it right there at the bet. We got the Middle East versus China over here. Middle East. I'm, uh, <laughs> And I'm Chinese stepbrother. <laughs> middle East. <laughs> You're in the middle. I'm, I'm no, I'm, uh, I'm a stepbrother. After the summer, we became. Because uh, <laughs> they're, they're brothers, I'm a, just a stepbrother. Raised to 8,000. <laughs> it's true, right? <laughs> Partition. Huh? 28,500. Looks like Hold Professor's going to find a three bet here. Farrell's open to 8K with Ace King 9 9, three diamonds. Hold Ace high diamonds. Three bet by Professor King, Queen, Queen Jack Jack. 28 and a half grand is the three bet. You didn't see the last one yet? I fold. Oh my God. Farrell's going to find a fold. Wayne Gretzky yeah, with three probably. diamonds. Ace King high with it. He's going to get out of the way. A nice hand there. By the professor? No. No. No, it's I've aced him. It's a curve. Thank you. Different? Thank you. Charles, don't do it. Oh my god, I think he does have it. Come on, man. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? Wow. <laughs> it's got a, yeah. No, no, one third, probably. I, I, I have two nines. I pulled the two nines. Oh! Wow, that was close. Bad beat, dude. Did no, you know, or close. you really didn't know? I know it. Oh, I, know. Oh, did... <laughs> I already saw that. Hand. I thought I, I could tell from Bakra that the uh, three is curved a little different. <laughs> That's why I said. It's a performance. <laughs> no, but when you pull it up, I know it's uh, you know that. degenerate. <laughs> did you know that wasn't an eight? I, I thought it wasn't when I first looked at it, but then he like different. Yeah, just slightly. Oh, slightly snap, different. It's, eight is perfect. Three and a six gotcha. are not perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, yeah. Uh, queen, queen is like a... Queen is perfect, but a little... And Well, these cards are a little different. The nines are perfect, right? Nine is perfect, but it's skinnier than an eight. Yeah, until you one and four as you actually... This guy is good at everything. Uh, right suit and this curve. Queen is perfect, but it's different. But I'm not sure how a queen looks on this card. A lot of practice. <laughs> a lot of practice. A lot of sweating. 10,500. When you see George, ask him what he thinks of my Bakra again. Really? Yeah. Just ask him. He's going to die Check. Check. Is this Who is with you? He, he actually did tell me a story about. Okay, uh, if I think about it a little bit longer, I might raise. That's good. <laughs> Is, uh, I don't That's know. Good. I have naked queen of spade. He, he did mention that you play fucking heavy. <laughs> Security. We have a gamble How much is the trick? Check your cameras. Really, really funny. We got fucking smash shooting guys. In the Royal. Did you ever hit a straight flush or win? How long did it take you to pay? There's no, nothing more fun than oh, this. Nice, seriously. Check out when the seven uh, doesn't come out. It's the most fun game in the world. One was about 100, so it was 5K, and one was uh, uh, with 300. Yeah, it took him like, for, for 500, pay me 25K, it took him like, at least like a good 15 minutes. You gotta pop now? No, you gotta be kidding me. I was like, you guys gotta keep kidding me. I hope I don't close your anything that could be okay. 
all in here between John and Professor. Two okay. ace high Broadway oriented hands here. Pretty fair fight. Ace queen jack 10 single suited versus ace king 10 four double. No heart for a professor on that one. Didn't need it. He's going to get the bag on this one. Let's see if John can find some luck on this run out. Looking for clubs. He did spike a 10, but no luck. Professor also has a 10. Nice queen there for John. Are we continuing it? Oh, I don't know who did it first. I did. Oh. I don't think so. Let's do a big line ante. How much you guys want to ante? You guys want to raise up the ante right now? Yeah, 5K. All right. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Five. okay. You rather that over show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's 5K blind for, uh, here. Once again. No. It's better for a deep stack, the 5K. Short stack, you rather straddle 5K. Your short stack, I think. They're both good for short stacks. I agree. Stakes have accelerated here once again. $5,000. $3,000. I want to buy the here. About here. We shall see. Yeah. I want to buy the barn. Looks like it's going to be a future hand. Still 1K blind at the moment. Race to 3,000. Three bet to 9,000. Farrell's with the ace, eight, seven, four, single suited to hearts. Ace high. Danny going to call with queen, queen, eight, seven, double suited. Queen high, spades and hearts. Anthony with a nice little nine, seven, six, five. He's going to get in there. They go high, he's going to go low here with his hand. Absolute pay dirt for Danny, flopping the nuts with the redraw to go with it here. He's got top set and he's got queen high spades. Anthony in there with a nice little straight draw wrapped around the 4-3. He's got 7-6-5, no spades though. A bit of a dicey proposition. He does have a wrap, but no flush draw to go with it. Danny in there with top set and spades. Faraz leading out with not much per use. Nice flat there by Danny disguising his hand. Drags in Anthony behind with the straight draw. King of clubs on the turn now, double flush draw turn here. Queen three, four, king now, clubs and spades out there. Not the best card for Danny, but could be a lot worse. Could have been one of those straight cards that did not find his hand and found Anthony's or Faraz's for that matter, but. Faraz doesn't even have a straight draw, as a matter of fact. He's truly drawing dead, but Anthony does. Anthony did have a straight draw, but not much for anybody else here. Danny in a hammerlock position here with top the queen, pocket queens, and he's got the spades. It's gonna be hard for anybody to continue here in this hand. It's gonna fold out. Full house for Danny. 
Nice little 60K profit in the hand there for Danny. I know one of your cars, that's for sure. It's, uh, it's the beauty of Omaha, flopping top set, flopping a flush draw to go with it. Another bad read. <laughs> Danny, big uh, winner so far. Yeah, he had the queen. The winnings have compressed, queen. a little more widely distributed now. What are you talking about? What Professor talking up 57, Faraz up 70, right Danny, right. big winner, 74 grand. These stats brought to you by Stake Kings. That's fat out. One of the proud sponsors of this program. Uh -huh. TV on the this right. This is yesterday, right? I know, it's just today. Stakekings.com backslash uh, two hour hustle. delay. Two hour? Looking to buy a piece of your favorite player in a cash game or a tournament, go to stakekings.com backslash hustle. I had a very, very good I was not expecting a win right there. I had absolutely nothing. You're not expecting what? I was not expecting to win it right there. But I had nothing. I had a four. No draw, nothing. I was just hoping you guys fold. Tall gun open, Jack, Jack, nine, eight, Rainbow. He's getting in there gambling here, raising that up under the gun. Danny's gonna call the big blind with queen, eight, eight, five, double. Seven, four, three, two spades. Nice flop for Danny here. He's got a gut shot, straight draw with the eight, five, and the seven, four. He's got a straight block with the five in his hand. Total miss here for Fatal with just an over pair of jacks. No additional equity to go with it. Getting led into here. He's going to come along, though, hoping for a brick turn. Ace of hearts on the turn is a brick in the sense it does not improve Danny, but hard for Fatal to know that. does bring in a 5-2 straight. Center. Let's see what Fatal does. Win check two here. He's just sitting here with the lonely pair of jacks, nothing else to go with it. He's going to fire win check two here, though. I'm going to bet 12 and 18 and a half. Put Danny in a spot. Let's see how Danny responds. He does have a five in his hand, blocking five, two, four straight, blocking the five, six straight. Got a decent plus draw to go with it. A six does make him a nut straight. Eight five, if he can catch that six. Good check raise there by Danny, sensing weakness from Fatal. Correctly so, great check raise that by there by Danny. Great instincts there. Don't blame Fatal for betting when check two as well, but he forced Danny to do something and Danny sure did. Well played there by Danny. Check 7-5 Rainbow, nice little flop for John. He's got that king 6-4-3. Got a little straight draw wrapped around the 7-5 with that 6-4-3. Not much for Fatal there. He's gonna get out of the way. If you're curious about the poker action here at the Hustle Casino on the casino floor, those games are listed on Poker Atlas. If you happen to be an LA local, you can also text 
or ask for Jesse Knight. If you call the casino, he can tell you what's all going on with what games are running, how long the lists are, get yourself on the list. Hit up Jesse Knight. <coughs> Host here at Hustle. Does a great job. As does Suited Superman. He's in Vegas, it looks like. Good luck to Suited Superman as well. Only you and me survive, huh? Joe. Yeah, I do for sure. Farrell's going to raise ace, king, king, queen here. Gets a couple callers. Multi-way to this 964 flop. Dry king still in the lead here. Ace, king, king, queen, rainbow. It's going to check back, check through, though. Deuce of clubs on the turn, bringing a club flush draw. What's your ball? Patal has that. He's got the 9-8 of clubs. Jack, 9-8, 5. He's got a top pair of nines. He's got a gut shot to go with his flush draw as well. Seven makes him a straight. Charles in there with an over pair of queens, bested by Faraz's kings. He's going to get it out of the way. Tolan. And what a crazy bluff here by Faraz. He's going to put Fatal all in for the rest of his chips. Toy, Thinks his kings are I, I good. I have one pair. Me too. Toy. And they no, are. But he's got to fade some stuff here. But good instincts by Faraz. Just puts in the short stack with just a single pair of kings through the uh, turn. A lot of owls. Not as easy to do in board. Omaha. Good, Slowly. good gutsy instincts by Faraz. And That's the river me. is a deuce. That's me. It's always good to win the first one. Nice win there for Faraz. Tough luck there for Fatal. Six. Top set for Faraz. Chop. Chop. I won. Chop. How many outs do I have? Kind of thought Faraz would just bet that flop with Kings as if he's going to stick somebody in on a turn bet. Huh? But uh, hand pie played itself. I don't think Fatal is not going to check fold with that top pair gut shot hand. So it didn't matter. Money would have got in anyways. Where's Danny? I need chip. I need strokes. I'll play 100. Okay. Yeah, just take the answer. Here's 100. Um, Fidel, do you want to owe me that, or you want to? We'll, we'll figure it out, but I gave him 100. Okay. They're coming. Why did you put 5K in the middle? Yeah, we're ending 5K. Yeah, but from this spot? I give him change. I pull five. Yeah, sorry. What's going on right now? Five, five, one, so it's four, right? It's a race Deuce, deuce here. Bit of an orphan flop here. Nobody finding a deuce. Checks through. Six of hearts on the turn. Check. Check. Natal's eights in the lead. He's got some straight draws and flush draw to go with it. He's got nine high diamond draw. No straight draw, in fact, but he does have the pair of eights. That's in the lead. He's got a flush draw to go with it. The only player with the flush draw. Only player with diamonds. Faraz did turn hearts with the eight, seven of hearts. He picked up some additional equity with that six of hearts. It's all gonna hazard a bet here, about 8,000. Over to Faraz. He's going to continue in some fashion. He's going to find a call. River five of clubs. Check. 
Patel gonna check. He's got the lead in the hand. Do you have anything? Farrell's gonna give up. Good, you won. Oh, what a call. I thought I, thought I had the best hand here. Six. 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 Yeah, otherwise I would have bet. Faraz, six is best to buy for oh, tall pocket eights. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll take it back. He's not a net when he's down. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I'll make it rain when I'm down. What do we try, uh, 2K? Is this a round of the 5K? This is the whole game. Round of five and you did the first five? Yeah. I did the first five. John. I, I did the first five. Yeah. Did you do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I started it. I definitely put a five in yeah. there. I put yeah. a five as well. Yeah, you might have. Yeah, he, did, he was first. You were first. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, this is a straddle, right? Yes. Cool. $2,000 straddle round. We're playing 500, 500, 1,000. 1,000 is off. And the minimum you're going to see this game. We've seen some 2K straddles, 5K straddles, currently in a 2K straddle round. Pot. Faraz going to pot with queen 10 8 double. Queen I spades, 10 high hearts. Fold, 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 My. Danny's going to come along with the ace, 776 ace high hearts. Fold? Heads up to the flop. King, 7-2, rainbow, set of sevens for Danny here. Stacks are very deep for us. 200,000, Danny, 427 here. He did a air ball add-on. Six? Yeah. For us, going to check call 6K on an absolute lark here. He does pick up some additional equity here with that nine of diamonds. Picks up some straight draws, but like Danny's still in there with the set. Pocket sevens. He bet this king seven two flop. Faraz check call, did a little out of position root beer float action here. Float with the queen ten eight five. Turns a nine, gives him a straight draw. He's going to lead into Danny for 20,000. Where Danny finds himself now, facing a $20,000 bet after getting check called on the flop. He's not buying it correctly, so raises to 95K. Does not let Faraz realize his equity the with the straight draw. Nice hand there by Danny. An honest broker says what he has. He knows this is televised. Why lie? Not that he would, anyways. I'll only play that hand against you the way I played it. That's nothing, doesn't matter. A bit unlucky there for Faraz to bet into a, a hand as strong as Danny happened to have there. He's going to at least get to see a lot of rivers or a win outright with that turn lead. I think decent process, bad result there by Faraz. Unlucky. Unlucky to bet into a, a raising hand there, I think. But that's Faraz's game. He's going to get in there a lot. He's going to try to win a lot of hots. He's going to try to win with volume. He's going to get a lot of action when he does have the best hand. He's very happy with losing hands every now and again. That's how he wins a lot of hands and gets a lot of action on the big hands he does get. We got a pot from the professor here. John opened a 3K with ace, queen, jack, ace, high, spades. Professor with a king, king, queen, jack, rainbow, makes it 11,000. John calls the 8K. He's got 35K behind, one of the shorties in the game. He hasn't got to run it up just yet. 987 rainbow flop. Complicated flop for the professor. King, king, but he's got the queen, jack. He does have the gut shot with the 987 flop. There's already 30 grand in the pot. Basically, John with a pot size bet left. I think Professor may bet, commit himself here, perhaps. I'm not sure he's going to want to check this back. Chips, right? We shall see here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
29. And he's going to force John to go with his hand. It's going to work. Nice hand there by the professor. Some people might have got spooked off by that 987 flop with Kings, but uh, Queen Jack, just enough additional equity for him to feel comfortable. For? Uh, we had him stuck before. <coughs> Down to $2,500. Yeah. He doesn't rebuy. He I doubled him up, up like three times. But he did go broke once. He's in for two buy-ins today. Today? Today. Four, four, four. Don't, don't listen bullshit from him. Four Professor. Your ass. What are you talking about? You're in 200? Of course. No. Victor, I hope you beat all these guys. Yeah, I, I, hope, I only hope I can beat him. You know, I hope you beat Anthony only. How's that? Uh, Why is everyone against me? You're the best. I want to chat him. What'd you answer last time? I need five. You're the one. So we're doing it five every hand? Yeah. Like, is that the game now? Oh, hold on, no. hold on. No. He started. Give me that back. Started, yeah. Give me that back. We rediscuss about okay, which game. Yep. <laughs> now let's do something else. <laughs> Try something new. Try something new later. Three. Five. Five. It all depends on which lineup you play. Yeah. In some lineup, you are the fish in the water. <laughs> what? You gotta open a three bet here. Faraz with the men, click it back three bet with 10 9 8 8, 10 9 clubs. John gonna four bet his kings here. He's short stacked. He's feeling pretty comfortable with the math of this. He's got king, king, queen, seven. Pretty happy to get his money in and let the let the fate be what it is here. He's got the best hand with king, king, queen, seven. Trying to pile in as much money pre-flop as he can. Four bets to eighteen and a half thousand. Corral's going to call it the ten nine eight eight. Heads up to this flop. Ace three three. See what John does here when check to. Weird spot. He's got 16 and a half K in a $42,000 pot. Perhaps he does a small chump bet here, and he does. 4,000. He's an easily credibly rep. Aces full here with his four bet. Ace three three. You would bet small here with aces. Really good job there by John with that bet size. Really important hand of bet sizing there. You don't just jam it in to just get called by an ace X or three X. Do a little micro bet there. Accomplishes what you want to accomplish. Also makes sense what is the, what with is your the, hand pre-flopping or not. It's 5-5-1. Five, five, so it's well played there by John. So Tra straddle 3K. 3K, that's it. 3K is okay. Okay. I didn't no want to straddle for 11,000. No reason to bet big there at all. So we did the round of 5Ks, the any. We're, we're back to normal now. We can do a round of 2Ks or 3Ks if you guys want. After this back. What's that? After the toy is back. Okay. Yeah. Go on. I saw you do it. you want to talk about our illegal business? Yeah. I'm good. Got a raise from Charles here. Queen Jack 10 10 rainbow. Got a little zoom in of the dog. Gotta love that. It's a dog's world. Heads up. Heads up to this flop. Queen Jack 10 10 versus 9885. Double though. Heads up to this flop. Ace, 6-2, two, two hearts. Faraz with the flush draw here. Charles with the queen jack, 10-10 as the pre-flop aggressor. A lot of times you will always fall through on an ace high flop in Omaha as the pre-flop aggressor. He's gonna do that just here. 16,000, pretty stiff bet here. He bets almost full pot here with the queen jack, 10-10. Gonna put Faraz to the test here with his pocket eights and a nine high flush draw. He's gonna call 16,000. Repeating six on the turn brings backdoor diamonds. Action on Faraz. Let's see what Charles does when check two. I think a good spot to do a very small bet like we saw John do earlier. 
representing ace. There's no need to bet huge, but let's see what he does here. 54 in the pot. He's going to bet 21. Well executed there by Charles. The power of repping the ace high board as the pre flop aggressor in Omaha. I think he get out, right? Very good. I wish you call. I wish you didn't call. You didn't call. Good. I'm happy I didn't call. Don't forget to check out those promotions, guys. Radpoker.com. We got Snakes Kings. WPT Global, WPT Global 100% matchup to 1,200. Are you looking for action? Get your ass to Hustler, the number one place to play PLO. We have 5-5, five, 5-5-10, five, 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 10, 10 20, 25 50, and of course, double, double board bomb bombs. Games run every day. Just use the Poker Atlas and get your name on the list. You want the best action in LA? Well, I think you know what to do. Get your ass to Hustler. Pardon mixed language, but there's some serious shit going on up here at the Hustler. Lots of action, lots of reason to get up here, guys. Tons of action on the main floor and in the HCL octagon room here. Lots of stuff going on to Hustler. Get your ass up to Hustler, as you said. Get involved in the game. Lots of action here at the Hustler. On the stream and off the stream on the main floor. Lots of good games to play. A lot of big limit games. A lot of big Omaha games. Lots of stuff going on up here for those inclined to wet the wrist a little bit and put some money on the line. Get up to Hustler. And you can see those games on Poker Atlas as well. Top set here for Danny with a flush draw and a gutty to go with it. Dream situation, especially facing a $10,000 bet from Fatal and a call from Faraz. Faraz has an overpaired jack. He's got a nine high flush draw as well. Great spot here for Danny. 37K in the pot. Let's see what he sizes here. Too good. He's going to make it 52 grand. He's going to clear everybody out. He's going to take it down. Nice hand there from Danny. Running good and playing better. Well done by Danny. Very impressed with Danny's play so far. It's probably been maybe two or three years since I've played with him. Played him usually often in Vegas during the World Series. And obviously, I think he's graduated to stakes well beyond my grasp, I mostly play 10, 20 to quarter 50. He's in the stratospheric nosebleeds as we speak at the moment, doing his thing on this Hustler Casino Live 500, 500, 1,000 PLO game. We've had rounds of intermittent showers of 5K straddles here as well. Stay tuned for that. Always within range to see a $5,000 round. <clears throat> nice to see Danny doing well here. He's really playing well, as is Faraz. So many good competitors in this match. A lot of high stakes seasoned gamblers here putting their talents on display for the stream and the viewers everywhere. You don't get to see games of this stature very often. Pretty unique opportunity to see some incredible nosebleed pot limit Omaha here. Danny with the three bet, he's got aces. He's gonna get a heads up to the flop here. Ace, ace, seven, six versus Faraz's queens. Jack, jack, nine with two hearts. Gonna go check back. Danny playing possum a little bit with his unimproved aces. He does have the nut heart blocker here. Straightening turn, jack, jack, nine, eight, three hearts. He does have the heart blocker. He's just gonna play it back as a check though. Danny's still in the lead with the aces up. Aces and jacks are good. He's gonna check it back. Faraz is very dangerous. Doesn't matter. He's liable to check raise and make you wish you didn't bet. I think that was on Danny's mind there. He probably would have value bet against a lot of other people. Yeah. Tough to do that against Faraz. He is a very tough customer. Yeah, you can spread <laughs> 3K to, to 
It hasn't been working lately, this fucking shit. I think Danny might have bet that flop versus a lot of other people, perhaps, but uh, pretty reasonable check back as well. But Faraz is very dangerous. I'm not surprised to see him uh, play that a little cautiously, checking it all the way down. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. You also got to think about what you're going to be getting called by. Just because you have the best hand doesn't mean it's a bet. You got to think what are you going to get called by. Given the nature of that board, maybe it, was, maybe it was hard for Danny to get looked up by something. I guess you can get looked up by kings. There's some hands, but well played there by Danny. Ace is floating around like spring water here. Anthony going to free bet to 33K with ace, ace, nine, five. That's all with the king, jack, jack, eight, jack, Come high, up. diamonds. He's going to call 23 grand. He's got 76 grand back. Queen, four, three, great spot for Anthony. He's already 70 grand in the pot. Just a pot size bet left. He's going to commit for tall to the hand here. Pretty good flop for aces. Anthony also has a wheel draw to go with it. He's got ace, ace, five, four, three on the flop. He's got backdoor diamonds as well. Covers the tall's jack high diamonds. Amazing yeah, spot here for Anthony. Perfect boards every time you guys have dusty aces, huh? Good read there by Fatal. Bit of an ambitious flop C for Fatal if you do put somebody on aces and you hold jacks, but obviously you're in the show to gamble and he did just that there. You do, do not want to have a pocket pair in your hand if you put your opponents on aces. You want to have four unpaired cards instead. You'd really have a worse hand, so to speak. You want to have four unpaired cards if you're going to try to run down aces. Do not want to have a pocket pair in your hand. Mm. Diminishes your odds considerably. Got a raise in the three bet here. John opening with queens. Not even quote, but I didn't. Professor three betting with the double suited ace king five three. Good hand to play aggressively pre flop in Omaha. Double suited ace king hand. You block aces and kings with the ace king, obviously. Nice to have a double suited ace king type of hand like he has. He's going to play it aggressively here. 14 grand three bet. Danny four betting to 49 grand here with the ace so king much. queen yeah, 10. Thank you. Great instincts here by Danny. Not up against aces is what you fear. Puts Hall in there with the 10 9 7 3 double. And he's going to get in there and call. He puts his opponents on high cards, and he is right. They go high. He's going to go low here. His hearts are covered, however. As you can see, the equities are pretty widely distributed here. I'm with him more than you're not. 35 grand for the professor to call. Let's see what he does here. This pot is already over $118,000. About to get bigger, potentially. What will the professor do? He may put Danny on aces here, given the four bet. Harder to believe that with ace in your hand, but the man did put it, just put in $50,000. Often means something. Big spot here. He's gonna get out of the way, and look at this. Fatal now with the equity advantage. A lot of Danny's cards. In other players' hands, the deck more rich here for Fatal. Nice flop for Danny, flopping top pair of queens here with enough flush on to go with it. Fatal, total air ball here, just a gutty 10 9, spade draw flop. Doing the math in his head, is he getting enough price here to chase? Fatal found himself in a bit of a math problem here. He's going to throw it in. One. 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 Not even back to her flush draw for Fatal, but Go. pretty compelling pot odds. Ace of clubs on the turn. No luck for Fatal thus far. 
And it's going to be a big win for Danny here. It was a good gambling spot for Fatal, but did not come home for Fatal there. Another nice win for Danny. He's been absolutely crushing the session. Running well, playing well. Hell of a combination. Nice hand there by Danny. No. No, now he's perfect. He's double shooting. How can he three better than four? How can he three better than four? How can he three better than four? I will. Double shooting? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Two pair, right? I just saw a hand. One card. Two and five, yeah. I don't know. He's tired, right? Yeah, he's out. Is it? Only, uh, I forgot. Pause for an hour. Hmm? Pause for an hour for maximum pain. Fatal with the 100K I Ain't Scared reload. He could have reloaded for 50, but he's going to double that. He's making a smooth hundy. Got to respect that. Not deterred as Fatal. Aces in the mix here. Anthony waking up with aces. Looks like he's playing as a smooth call here. Camouflage in his hand, maybe hoping to get a four bet spot. No three bets yet. Looks like we're gonna go three ways to this flop. Queen four three rainbow. Charles flopping queens up here. Total brick, four for tall. Anthony did spike a three. He's got backdoor nut clubs as well. Charles bets 10,000 with his queens up, a little less than half pot. It's going to price Anthony in to see a turn. Now it's going to be tough here. Anthony turns two pair with his aces. He's got kings and threes, but that's going to be bested by Charles' kings and queens. We already got 32 grand in this pot. Charles. Gonna bet 32,000 with 60K behind. Anthony with a big boy stack, 272. This could get messy here, folks. Charles bet 32 grand, 32 and a half to be exact for Anthony to call. He might just stick it in here, assuming his kings up are good. Turn brings a flush draw, a lot of straight draws wrapped around the king queen, as well as the 4-3. Charles could be betting a double draw here, some kind of 5-6 spade draw, 5-6-7, some ace-5 now turning spades. A lot of hands that are out there. Charles with queens and threes. Bested, sorry, Anthony with kings and threes, bested by Charles's kings and queens. Great spot here for Charles with kings and queens. Not a great spot for Anthony's kings and threes. Very tough spot here. Massive pot. A lot of deliberation going on. Very tough situation here. You don't want to give up any free equity and just call here and let somebody catch up on you, but you also are a little concerned about being absolutely murked by a set or better two pair. Really tough spot here for Anthony. Very deep stack situation. Amazing turn far for Charles. What are you doing? Kings and queens here. He did flop queens and threes. What a job. Monster. Anthony now with kings and threes. Anthony gonna do a little flirting here, hoping to get a read. It's always interesting when the big hand happens with two players sitting right next to each other here. Tense vibes in the air. Combo draw. Trying to go to Anthony here with that combo draw comment. 
a call, we run it twice. I don't say anything. No? I don't say anything. Okay. And remember, if you make a bad play, your dad's gonna... I know, be upset, I know. Is that what you think I know? Either have him dead or he has me dead. Tis the nature of pot limit Omaha and poker in general. Quite the riddle here. Me before, I'm gonna make a big lay down. Probably the fold of the night if he makes it from Anthony. Great fold by Anthony. Fantastic fold. Not easily done there. Can you explain the hand the way it is? Take it out later. That would be sick. Who'd you call? That's what I was going to ask you. Who'd you call? Helpline. I call my dad. You call your dad? He never gambled in time. John, who would you call if you have a poker question? During the hand to explain it to someone to give you the right, whatever. You. I was going to say, what are you talking about? <laughs> Who I would call? What? I would call someone's name Dominic. What are you talking about? I think he's one of the best PLO players. What me hand do you fold? No. No, not that guy. That's actually Queen, four, three, you have three and a four. Pocket four? No way. Did you uh, ever see that three. first guy, the one? Uh, Queen four? Yeah. Pocket Professor, <laughs> who would you call for, uh, for a poker question during the hand? If you have one phone call, to call you if you're not on the table. I have a king. I don't need your help. I'm I have to find someone who understands my play. Do I have you dead or you have me dead? Not an easy fold in a game where chips are flying around like they are in this game. Might be an easier fold in a normal casino context, but not an easy fold here. You really have king queen? People saying easy fold in the chat would be saying the opposite of Charles was barreling away with the double draw. Minimal race. It's real easy in hindsight when you're watching from home. It's a lot easier when the bullets are flying. Minimal race 17. When you're the one in the game with all at risk. 3, 9, 17, all in. It's 15. Okay. Equation. Chips are flying here. Got a four bet here. Fatal with kings. Professor three bet ace, jack double. Charles wakes up with the aces. He's going to four bet to 57,000. <laughs> 42,000 for the professor to call. He's going to tag along with the ace jack eight double. Often the four betting hand will have aces in it. For not to have an ace in your hand, he's going to continue. 986 rainbow flop. Already 126,000 in this pot. Effective stacks 70,000. A little more than half the pot. Imagine Charles gonna stick it in here. And or call it off, now the professor puts him to the test. Not spooked as Charles, he's gonna call. Aces? No, you have aces? How do you have aces? What do you mean? As you can see, Professor's still with 40% equity what do you here. There is, I really is. Oh. What I what oh, okay. Need a jack eight or deuce. Interesting. One or two. Okay. Five, five. Backdoor spades helpful as well. That's me. Ooh. That's true. Oh my okay. god. Chop, chop, chop. You know? Professor That's finds the eight. Fine. Nice deck read there by the professor. Oh. More out there. Oh my God. Wow. What do you know? 40, 60 comes Cover. home twice. Cover. Cover, right? Cover. Cover. How much? He's got more of every set. He's got more of every color. Anthony, who would you call if you have a poker? Tough beat there for Charles. I don't know who would you call. Who would I call? Yeah. My poker question, I'm like, if you have an option. I even know the person. Yeah, that plays way better than you, bro. You just can't hold it back, right? Flop the hook. Flop the hook. Way better than you. Yeah. 
That's, that's they're all trying to think of an equity calculator to calculate that. You think it's going to read unlucky losing both, that's for sure. Whatever your inputs are, that's a tough, tough to get scooped there, unlucky there. Number one, Chicago? Yes, Eddie O by far. Danny, big winner so far, up 275. All those totals brought to you by State Kings. I got a feeling it's gonna hit Go to stakekings.com backslash hustler if you want to buy a piece of one of your favorite players in a cash game or a tournament. Go to stakekings.com backslash hustler. Get involved, get a piece of the game. I can never talk poker to anybody because people think I'm always wrong. Check. And, uh, who was asking everybody when they went all in? Uh -huh. I, have my, I have to call, right? I have to call. <laughs> no, no, you're wrong. Who was that? <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. All right, do something. Do stupid. Hey, let's do some round. Fatali can't breathe. Professor goes all I'm in. Okay, do it when I come back. I use the rest of the people on. The last hand was well, not... all this one over the summer. He's got no, no pair, no draw. And he's like, I have to call, right? This guy, he got me completely dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I look at the equity, I have a, like 25% equity, and then shot all in against Aaron Burger. Yes, yes, like 10 people, everyone. What do you, what do you want to do? Oh, we're waiting. Everyone, no. oh, waiting. everyone tells him, no, you're supposed to fold, you're supposed to fold. You're, what, is, what is this? That's a big blind. Oh. Uh, big blind. The third blind. Look at those Green Bay Packer 1K chips. So bad Brad walks in. New chips here yes. at the Hustler. Yes, yes, yes Brad. <laughs> What are you asking? What, what would what would you do? It's like shove all in for sure. He goes, thank God. And Dan Brand says no. I quit poker. <laughs> I have to quit poker. He goes, of course, no choice. You have to put it in. He goes, thank God. He made a five. Five. That's actually a good guy to call for a bad brother. Yeah. He can do it, man, if he gets hot. That's good. I heard, yeah. Uh huh. Touch. And then all I hear is playing biggest game, huge, huge. Then on the last live stream, we played together here. That was, that was the sickest deal. That was the sickest game. Okay. Did you watch it? I watched that clip somewhere. The last day, dude, the last day was... Who was in the, was the Santos guy in the game? No, no, no. It was me, Tom, Pav, one of the line, actually. Pav's sick. What's, what's in this lineup? Bradley, Tam, Bradley, Tam, Professor, and Charles. There was someone else. In there. Yeah. Sounds like a good fucking game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Brad was like up a lot though. Got a bet from Charles and call here from Anthony. He's got low two feet here, fives and fours. He does have a gut shot with the eight six though. A clean seven would give him a nut straight. Charles betting on the come with a diamond draw. Straight draw as well. Running diamonds come in. Nice turn of events for Charles here. He's gonna lead. Bet his diamond draw on the come, hit it on the river. He's going to get rewarded with a diamond and to take up a pot. Nice hand there from Charles. <laughs> I waited 15 minutes for a call last night. Okay. That was the longest I've ever seen somebody taking a poker, seriously. You got free money. No, it's not like oh, I, I have, have it every outs. time. I have two outs. A lot of people in chat want to know about the equity of hands and stuff. Definitely check out Prometheus Poker for that. One of our proud sponsors here at Hustler Casino Live. Go to PrometheusPoker.com backslash Hustler. PrometheusPoker.com backslash Hustler. Analyze thousands of hands from your favorite players on the Hustler live stream. Settle the debate once and for all. Check that out. It's all for free. PrometheusPoker.com backslash Hustler. Should see a link for that in the show description as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of tools out there at your disposal to get better as a poker player. Watching these streams is another way to do it. 
Get some experience without actually ponying up the money yourself. That's what I did as a youth a few decades back. As a teenager, watching these streams and kind of getting some experience before I was of age. Heads up, duel here between Fatal and Danny. Danny with the best hand here. He's got a pair of eights. He's got a heart draw to go with it. Straight draw as well. Fatal in there with an eight as well. Ace of spades on the river. Fatal's eights and threes held up. Had to fade a lot from Danny, but he did. Can we find a bet on the flop, huh? Yeah, check over to Danny. Danny turning his eights into a bluff here. Great instincts here by Danny. He wasn't going to win by checking it back. Instead, he's going to put Fatal to the test to get a win here. Really great hit play What's here by Danny. Really putting Fatal yeah. in the meat grinder here. He's got the best hand. Hard for him to know that. A lowly oh, bottom two pair, off and not good on the river in Omaha. Fuck Danny realizing that with just a pair of eights, king kicker. He's going to leverage his position here. Now you get it all, you get the fun. Hallmark of a good PLO player. I don't want it all. Put your opponents to the test. It ain't bingo here, folks. This is just poker being played. Who's going to win these marginal hands? Oh, there's four. There's four, like, king, king. And so far, Danny has shown that in spades. This four king, king really high level play That's there so by great. Danny. Can you just guess his hand is just four king king? He showed you an eight. <laughs> oh, I didn't see one. He had that seven blocker in his hand as well to block the straights. Look at this card. Well played there by Danny. <laughs> Can we start something? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you guys want to do, the Annie or straddle? Whatever. Straddle? Andy? Whatever. 25, please. We'll do 3K, 3K straddle. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. 3K straddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd like one. Oh, okay. What is the action? Straddle raised to six. Nice spot here for Danny. King, King, 6 4. He's going to call John's open. Looks like the 6K. John with the 9 8 7 6. Well, looks like we had a little bit of a delay. Danny got a free bet to 20K. Like, okay. God forbid you touch your skin. John on the short stack here. He knows he's not at an equity advantage if he gets it all in pre flop. Why not see a flop? And he does. Favorable flop here for John. Danny spiking king high diamonds would be hard to call without the diamonds, but he does. Pretty fair fight here. John going to need some help. Does not find it. Not like this. God, just tease you every time with a blank turn. He hits the straight, but the diamonds trump. Trump the straight of John. Uh, 50. Danny on an absolute sizzler here. Well played by John. Obviously, needs nothing wrong with the flop. See there with the 9876. No reason to four bet it in. Catches a good flop, but uh, unlucky there. I think that works if uh, Danny's kings don't contain diamonds on that ace high flop, but unlucky there for John. And Danny continues to run downhill here. Hasn't hit a red light all session. Playing lights um, out, running well as well. We're Deadly combination days. here. I think I remember like four or five years ago, Danny and I were playing in a PLO game at the win. 
and it got down to both of us, and I think we played heads up for like an hour or something. I have no idea what even happened or who won, not that it matters, but... Uh, First hand on tonight? Boy, maybe I was taking the chance there that night. That He's playing very well tonight. Very impressed with Danny's play. Really nice to see him play well. He's been around the game for quite some time. Really well played session here tonight by Danny. Very impressed with his play. Charles going to jack it up with ace, ace, queen, six, ace, high, hearts. Danny in there with double paired kings and tens. What a nice little spicy hand. King, high, diamonds like as well. Two hours and she's horrific. Or he's horrific. He's going to three bet to 13 I mean, and a half grand. Going to get a four a bet, I'm sure, from Charles here. They want, you know, that's why they just say 15, 20, 30 minutes. That's like an hour. 30, 40, Ideally. Okay, now I know. Four bet to 42 grand, 28 and a half for Danny to call. Charles has now put over half of the stack in here. Puts in 42 at the four bet, 34 behind. Danny with the hand that flops really well. He's probably gonna continue here. No reason to jam it in and isolate yourself against an obvious ace is quite likely here. Interesting flop here. Pretty good flop for Danny, though he probably realizes the straight draw is not as great as usual because two of those aces are very likely in his hand. But nothing to do here with that pot odds there. Nothing Danny can do but put it in. It's hearts and aces. We it's got hearts as well. I'm happy to chop, buddy. Pretty sick turn way. there for Danny. Okay. Secures that first run out. Unlucky there for Charles. Aces and nut hearts. Chop it. Instant relief on that turn. Seven of hearts. Running back to the Charles? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. That's huge. Down, 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 y'all. It seems kind of weird to say that it's easier to hand read in Omaha given there's two extra cards compared to No Limit. That was my instincts initially, but uh, as you can see in some of these hands, given the action, you can kind of define it better than you think. just don't move, don't do nothing. Pretty sure Danny knew his eight out open and straight draw was actually only six outs because he was up against aces. Nothing to do with the pot odds, though. I heard you. I heard you. I, I don't want to look at it or if it's up or down. It's closer, right? It's closer, right? Ace is out there again, this time in the hands of Fatal. He could use it. It's been a rough go for him thus far. Charles opens to 3,000 with the 10 to 9 7. Fatal covering with ace high hearts. He's going to three bet to 10,000. Get a call here. Heads up to the flop. Ace 9 8, two spades. Dream flop for Fatal. Flops the nuts. Top set. Charles in there. The 10 10 9 7. He does have an open and straight draw, though again, a bit compromised on the two spade flop. No spades for Charles. Fatal going to bet 15,000 here. He's got 45 behind. Let's see what Charles does here with the. 30, maybe like 33, 34. He's got an open ender with this 10 10 9 7. Gonna see a turn here. Brick to a hearts. Fatal now with less than a pot size bet here. 44 into 53. Good clean turn for Fatal. Charles just gonna go with it. Not buying Fatal hasn't beat. He's gonna go with it. He's got a straight draw in case he's wrong here. Charles sees his fate. Nice. Gonna go twice. I wish I had a spade 
Spooky River for Fatal, but he's clean on that one. No spades in his opponent's hand. Five on the river as well. <coughs> Going to be a scoop scoop for Fatal. Or as some would say, scoo woo in a casino environment. Nice to get a scoop. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Pala but Omaha, alive and well here at the Hustler Casino on the floor and on the stream. Lots of action here at Hustler. Check out those games on Poker Atlas if you're looking to come up here and wet your whistle. If you want to stay at home and watch this action, I don't blame you. You can do both. Watch it while you play. Heck, if you want. A lot of options here. Yeah. Danny, massive winner up almost 350 large here. Third of a million dollars by a handful of Bitcoin with that. Brought to you by Stakes Kings here. Stake Kings, a proud sponsor here. Want to buy a piece of your favorite poker player? Go to stakekings.com backslash hustler. You can do that for a cash game or a tournament. Trying to get a read on who's playing at these tables here. I'm fixing to be one of those here in a bit. I was, I thought I had all my. I got shut out of the 2040 Omaha last night. Could not get a seat. Buried on the list. Buried at sea, had to go home and sulk. But it was quite a stream to commentate on last night, that's for sure. How much is in there? Huge flop here for us, flop on top set. I hope you're doing like me. Danny in there with the nut flush draw. He's got a pair of threes as well. This could get interesting here. And look at Danny here just flatting the 13K lead with the nut flush draw. Some players would go ham here. Nice little downshift here by Danny just flatting with the ace high hearts. Extra merit in it as well. You're going to give a lower flush draw a chance, a chance to tag along, as is the case here, Professor. He does not oblige. He folds the seven high hearts. That's another good reason about flatting a nut flush draw is you can drag in a lesser flush draw, which is obviously what you want. What would Professor do over here? Danny now improving to aces up, aces and threes. But Faraz in there with the set of jack still. Faraz is such a live wire, this might be tough for Danny to get away from the hand. Twice? And even Danny can't get away from this hand. It. Not much you can do. Four, five, six, seven. Sometimes you just gotta eat doo-doo in this game. That's what Danny's doing in this hand. He is up against it in a major way. Three to one dog here heading to this river. No luck for Danny there. Little reprieve there with the ace of hearts. Good end. A pairing heart would have made Faraz a boat. Very lucky today. A little narrow path for victory there for Danny, but he finds a win there. Nice hand there for Faraz. What is it? What, is it? What, is it? what do they want from you? The microphone? They're asking me to tell jokes. They're asking me to tell jokes with the microphone, you know? You're not doing your job entertaining us today, uh, but just with your play. I swallowed my whistle. You did it right? You did it right? <laughs> John, I'm I'm it it oh, I was right. I'm right. Okay. Are you up or down? You're right? up, right? <laughs> so if you want to find out if he's up or down, just pay attention on how many words he says. There's a lot of people like that. I talk a lot more when I'm winning. Everyone talks more when they're winning. I don't know, maybe uh, off the stream will talk more. You think so? I don't. I made a straight. I had a four, five, six, seven on the three eight board. All four cards. Which three eight board? The last one? All one. Put it in. Thank you. 
So round of what? Round of uh, what? Uh oh, here we go. Round of three? Frost, round of three? He's coming yes. back to that. Round of three? Yep. No, it's my three. No, 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 his three. Oh, no, no, no. You won't be blind. You won't be blind. Oh, okay. Round of three. No, he's got a post. No, he's coming on B blind. He's coming on B blind. Correct. It's correct. Round of three. Yeah. He's a this guy waited this whole time not, not, not to post the small blind and big blind? No. When I posted, it. Same thing, same thing. What do you mean? Bless Round of three, Yeah, right there. You're right, Russ. I will pay extra attention to this guy, yeah. too. <laughs> I was joking, bro. Chill out. What do you mean? No, no joking. We have to pay extra. Yeah, no, we, he, have to learn he, why we definitely he have went. to pay. Um, like, there must be some secret that he knows, but the rest of the people doesn't know. Yeah, and I'm such a big one. <laughs> the first thing we know is that, John, you play single suit the ace. Four bad. I know this guy. No, no, this guy always plays double suit. Oh, he doesn't play three aces. You want me to call or fold? I have played the three aces. Please say call. Uh, yeah, that's the question. Once are you going to do the opposite of what I say, or is it what? psychological? Here? What? <laughs> what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was going to say, don't lie. Smart fold? fold. I was going to say fold. Make sure it's top set and we're not going to show it. It's not the best. I don't want to raise it. You know what's wrong with it? I had two, three, four, nine. I had the same hand. Is that what you had? No, you had six. But I had like that kind of spread. Make sure it's top set and we're not going to show it. Then get money on you. Exactly. Is it is it true that it, if no, I have a nuts flash call, call, he didn't, he didn't. heads up, you have a top set and nuts flash call, he just it's just always a favor against yeah. any hand. Is that true? It is true. What, do you think? what if the guy had uh, also already flush nuts straight? PLO is way higher variance than Hold'em, simply because if you're playing good in PLO, you, you are putting the money in all the time. In Hold'em, if you're playing good, you're probably playing tight. But in PLO, playing well requires you to put money in, it requires you to gamble in 60-40 situations, thus your results and your swings can be much wilder. This summer, Charles and I were playing in a game, he bought in for 20000 and cashed out for $1 million. You don't see that in no Lift Hold'em. And Airball proved that to the inverse last night. He uh, had a big down heater. He straddled? Oh, but oh, oh, that can happen. Sorry, sorry. Apollo and Omaha. It was a big number, but again, when you adjust for context and the size of the game, very easy to happen. Almost eight. Eight. Not hard to happen at all. From the best. Better days ahead for him, that's for sure. <laughs> It's like one, two, three, three pros behind. Uh, oh Remember that you're not allowed to have. How much? Oh, uh, 28 five, 28 five. My phone, my computer. Three bet here from Charles, 28 and a half with the ace king eight two ace high sure? clubs. Okay. The professor in there with the nifty little rundown, jack nine eight seven nine eight of diamonds. Okay. Pretty fair fight here, equity wise. As we see, heads up to this flop, 63 in the middle. Not much for Charles behind here. It's going to be an easy stick in here with, with his hand. Is a 20 something? Is a pot is 50 something? Charles with the ace king 8 2 on ace 9 3. Price. Professor going to call it off yeah, with the yeah. 9x. He's got a bit of an open end and running back door straight draw. He's got the 7 8 9. 10 will give him an open ender, as well as six. A lot of other additional cards give him straight draws as well. No dice in that king of hearts turn, though. That's a nine. Nice hand for Charles there. I'm happy with chop, yeah. OK, that's me, chop it. That's a chop. That's a chop. Chop this. 36. And Charles <laughs> is going to scoop. That's a chop. 36? That's 36, yes, sir. Professor's mid-pair gambit did not pay off there. You turn your dead to a nine both times. It's not good. Yep. <laughs> the ace king on ace X holds for Charles. Uh, no, no, no. I'm small. Small plan as hand. I was just trying to raise his button raise. And um, you bring with the food. With the food. Yeah. Can also get a coffee the same way, please? Thank you. Thank you. 
一门花到 A 呀、啊，不是让着，一门花还能到几家？到 K 也可以啊，到 K 我不这么搞的呀，是吧？你会吗？差不多了。It's like we get a $3,000 straddle on, $3,000 come in. We've had some $5,000 straddle rounds earlier today, and as you may have known from last night's game, we had about an hour of 5K going. Again, why it's not that hard to lose a couple hundy like Nick did when you got a $5,000 straddle going, things escalate quickly. And if you literally never win a hand, that's just what's gonna happen. I think earlier today, Anthony was down a couple hundred. He's made a hell of a comeback here though. He's got a big hand here, a nut flush draw with a big straight draw to go with it. He's looking to go for a check raise almost assuredly here. Already 27 grand in the pot. John with 38,000. He likes his hand enough to go with it. He spiked top pair. He's got a queen high flush draw, but he's totally neutralized by Anthony's ace high spade hand here. Tough spot for John. He's committed himself to the hand with a $24,000 bet, only 14 grand behind. Dream scenario here for Anthony. He's really got him in the vice grips here. And he's going to put those burgundy chips in with an absolutely amazing hand here. Sure. He's all wrapped around that 5 4. He's got ace high spades. As you can see here, 72 28. Tough spot for John. He'd rather be up against a set or two pairs, something like that. His spades are murked. Take it. Drawing dead now. And Anthony is gonna scoop. See if John's gonna do a walk back to Texas or a reload. We shall see here. Huge sis here for Anthony. Gotta love seeing that after somebody's major stuck the most. Hangs in there, catches that heater just in time. Very impressed with Anthony. Very impressed with players who can continue to hang in there when they're literally up against it all day. Not easy to play this big, let alone running absolutely terrible, losing a bunch of pots. Not easy to hang in there. Hard to understand the gravity of these hands and the money involved unless you're actually doing it yourself. We're talking major money here. That's changing hands. Takes a lot to enter into that kind of situation. Got to really give it up to all these players for <laughs> really sticking their neck out here tonight. Making quite a show for us to watch and commentate on. It's been a real treat so far. I'm a commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble on social media. Thanks for tuning in here. It's been quite a two days of Palabat Omaha here at the Hustler Casino on the yes. stream and on the casino floor. I'm okay with that. What time is it? About two hours. Two hours? Eight. It's going to be eight and ten minutes. John found that reload. 50K back in action. Tough spot there for him at the stack size, having a queen eye flush draw. Can't blame him for going after it on the flop, then he's just committed at that point. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. This is the life we've chosen. Spot for Danny here. He turns nut flush draw here, but pretty connected. 876 straight oriented flop here. Hard for him to get too excited. He Quick gets out call. of the way. Wow. Hoping to see a free turn there. He does not, but he gets out of the way correctly so.
two pair. Yeah, five nine. Mm, that's kind of one. Nice hand there for Tall. He turned aces up on an 876 straightening board, but Thank nobody you. had the straight. He's going to rake in a much needed pot. Adding 45. I don't think I'm gonna need a back. I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Just so you know. I know how you think. No, because I'm gonna play tight right now. Give me a chance for this, please. Yeah. Thank you, less. Anthony. Hopefully, I won't need it. Thank you. Like this. What? Yeah, I'm out. Oh my god, the line too. Squiggly, squiggly. Me? Only? Yeah. You love sweating cards, huh? You mean the pro? Because of Black Rock? We're swapping the 25? Swapping? Saving the 25? That's the biggest win, the biggest loss. Which one you know? Nine? 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 You hit that flop, but you didn't raise pre? Look at me, professor. Good little hand reading here from Fatal. Whatever, bro. How much he can do that. Would have yeah. been sick if he raised. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Would have been great for the show. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Ace is good. Ace is good. I had a king. Um, Bad king. It, it could be <laughs> Not easy to stick your like neck out there and raise, though. From, no, no, the most. I don't know. Uh, I showed you eight news to that. Huh? Good you deduction eight. there by Fatal. How much were you betting when you won that much? I can't do rules. Dude, seriously? The max you were betting at 25 and you won that much? I'll show you. It's funny because. It's like all. I kept taking pictures. I'm like, I want a little bit more, I took a picture. So I have like time stamps of like the run. It's like, it's What's your limit? How much of the max you can bet? 25. Oh, that's the max. It's a lot of hands. <laughs> to win that much, that's yeah. crazy. There was this Indian guy from Texas. That guy was hilarious. Sorry. Let me walk. I like 2,000. Let me walk. 1,000, 2,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. After a while, Come on, dude. Wow. That's huge. Big spot here for Professor waking up with the aces. Got a queen, seven of diamonds to go with it. A tall with the spice little at 8, 7, 6, 6 with two hearts. You'd rather have your pocket pair be on the high side than the low side, but hey, we're here to gamble, folks. The tall is not going to be deterred here. Piece of equity against aces, as you can see, anywho. He's got a gutty straight draw to go with it here. Five makes him a straight. He's got backdoor hearts as well. 30 grand in the pot. Stacks are pretty deep here. 150K effective behind. About a 5 to 1 SPR if you're trying to get nerdy with it. Stack to pot ratio. But let's not go that route. Let's, let's be more of gamblers than quants here. I'm not trying to get too nerdy with it. This is Pot Lemonoma, for goodness sakes. If you want to play against poker nerds, play no limit hold'em. If you want to play against gamblers, play Omaha. Do with that what you will. No one even cared about golf. Everybody's sweating. Yeah, yeah. When you're winning, the casino and drinking is the best deal. $15,000 bet by Professor with unimproved aces here. King, four, three, rainbow flop. Fatal with the nut gut shot. He does have backdoor hearts as well. Probably figures if he spikes a set of sixes, that'll be good as, as well. 
weighing the options here. He gets out of the way. Going forward. Wants to see a rabbit though, obviously. Good deck read by the call. I'm out of bluffs. I expired all my bluffs. You know how you like your time bank? Three, <laughs> right? Yeah. All my bluffs are expired. Yeah. It'd be so funny if Airball showed up right as the stream's about to end to tease the to tease the fans out there. He's got a lot of fans, a lot of support out there. A lot of people rooting for Airball. They went through a real tough day yesterday. Everybody catches that poker flu. He caught it yesterday in a major way, but he'll be back. It was Anthony who was coming down with it hard early. I think Anthony was down a couple hundy few hours in, but I think he's back in the winner's circle now. We'll probably see that update here brought to you by Stake Kings in a minute here as we round into this final Ten. half an hour or so here at this massive pile at Omaha game. 500, 500, 1,000. We've had 3K straddles. We've had 5K straddles. Unparalleled action here at Hustler. On, stream, and off. Pretty nice games going on, on the casino floor as well. Hopefully I can get a seat in a you guys know it's real money, right? 10, 20, or 20, 40 PLO, whatever is going I got on the list. Hopefully, I'm not buried. Six four two rainbow flop here. Three ways to it. Three ways. A tall spike in second set here. Six four two rainbow flop. Nobody connecting in a meaningful way here. Danny does have a gutty with the ace three. Five makes him a straight, but he's going to check back and realize his equity. Jack of spades on the turn. Fatal looks like he's going to be really committed to this slow play here. Almost went for the check. Perhaps he's thinking against it now. 35 grand in the pot. A lot to take here. How as dry as the board you're going to get. Rainbow through the turn. Not many straight draws as well. I guess you can't have something like a 5-7, five, 5-7-8. Seven, five, seven, about as innocuous as a board as you're going to see that's not paired through the turn here. He's got to be like up to date with his vaccination. Charles does spike a jack on this turn. But I'm not bringing him to like Mexico. Patal made such a stiff bet, may make it hard to continue. I think he would have got a call from Charles if he bet half pot, but he's really, really bombing away here. Danny spiking a jack as well. He's got a gutty to go with it, but Fatal bet so big here, really kind of dissuading anybody to call that he's doing well against is maybe kind of only isolating against a really strong hand here, but he's trying to take it down. Danny frustratingly folds. Great restaurants, great party scene. Oh, thank you. I think Fatal not wanting to play a lot of rivers here out of position. Stacks are deep. Pots already 35 grand. He decided to make a stiff bet, take it down. No shame in that. Nice Vancouver, hand there by Fatal. Oh, beautiful. I've been to Vancouver and Toronto. I've never been to Montreal. Ottawa is good too. Where? Ottawa. Ottawa? Yeah. yeah. Then you just tweak it. I know. Finish the round. Yeah. I thought the Fermi was sorry. No. I thought we did say Fermi. We did say that. You and for us. Oh, really? Yeah, we did say that. We did say. Yeah, we can just pull three. I think he's going to do three. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There he will post like five or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, look, hold on, hold on. I said we we'll leave it on. And he said, yeah, leave it on said, for yeah. the rest of if the street. If everybody agrees, I agree. I agree. Free. I, agree. Yeah, so so I don't think only... anybody said no, so that's why. So it's prevalent. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. If... Yeah. I did say, if you ask him, you can say it, you'll say it. Do you I know you and Faraz did, I didn't. Faraz, he said yes. I, don't know if anyone else. I, know I said, why don't we leave it on? He said, yeah, let's leave it on. Nobody said no. I hear you. So we. Here, here, let's, let's, before your action, hold on. He's always, no, he's, no, he definitely he's always yes. okay. I agree oh. with you. Okay. I agree with you, that part. I just didn't know if everyone was in either. Things are about to get interesting here. A lot of times the gamblers really increase <laughs> the stakes as we wind down to the final handful of orbits here in this incredible 500, 500, 1,000 game. We've had 5K straddles. We currently got a 3K straddle, it looks like. These guys are really sticking their neck out there tonight and yesterday. It's just been insane action here at Hustler. Don't often see PLO cash games of anywhere near this level. Oh, 
20. John open to Jack Gates, 7 6, three hearts. Instantly gets punished by the professor with a little bit of a small three bet here. He's got the ace, queen, 10 10, queen eye clubs, giving John a decent price to chase here. He's probably happy to see hmm? it wasn't potted. He's going to call 11,000. He got 24 grand behind. Decent flop ish for John. He does flop an eight. He's got an open in straight draw as well. But still pretty bad shape. Especially because Professor has pocket tens. Perfect timing, huh? That was good. Which are two of John's open ended straight outs. That nine pairing as well really helps out the over pair of the Professor as well. That's why we're seeing him as a three to one equity advantage here, even though John flopped seemingly well with an open end straight draw and an eight. I kind of fold it. John finding himself in a bit of a math problem here. Right, He's right. going to call it off. Thank you. Twice? Twice. He's going to be upset to see what he's up against. You might be a hand. I have a tens. <laughs> Not a hand. Okay. That's literally the worst hand I could see. He'd rather see pocket kings than pocket tens, given the tens are two of his straight outs. Twice? Yeah, yeah, twice. He's firmly aware of that, given his comment, obviously, as he knows. Tough luck there for John. Penny and Jack is no good for him. Nice hand. No luck for John here. He's been up against it. Looks like he's going to go for a third rebuy here. Nobody cares about the Thank you. Yeah. How are you, 100? <laughs> Casual $100 loan <laughs> right in front of your very eyes. Very common in a high stakes <laughs> game to be yes. loaning and borrowing uh, money between time. players. You miss the three or four, so you. Okay. Yeah. We do three or four? Um, more than three. Because. Uh, Look at these, the massive winners. Danny yeah, yeah, up 325, yeah, Professor up 200. Everybody else stuck like what? Chuck. I've seen 10, 9, 7, you Results brought mind? to you by Stake Kings, yeah. your go-to yeah. shop for buying a piece of your favorite poker player, cash game, or tournament-wise. Go to stakekings.com backslash hustler. 10, 9, 7, 3. Also check out radpoker.com. They got a great way to get a seat in one of these games. This guy, this guy at a cheaper price than just toning it up like everybody else. Also get a piece of another player who wins a seat, radpoker.com. Also got that WPT Global promotion, wptglobal.com. 100% match up to $1,200. A lot of goodies out there for the viewers of Hustler here. Build that bankroll in a sharp kind of way. No risk to pick up that free equity, folks. We're in there. We're trying to get some of that yum yum back. We're trying to build that bankroll for you. Maybe one day you'll be on these shows. <laughs> 10 6 5 rainbow flop here. Nice flop for Fatal. Flopping top pair and an open end straight draw. He's got two backdoor flush draws as well. 46 take it all. Like that? Danny flopping. Similar hand as well. He's got. 10x with an 8-7 as well. Him and Fatal, pretty similar hands. Fatal getting the best of it, though. What are you looking at, bro? Look at your hand. Stop looking, looking at, at that big head. I'm wondering why the head's so big. Danny's like, what is this, no limit? Quit eyeball staring at me, man. Trying to get a pulse read. What is this, no limit? I feel you, Danny, on that. That's why we play Omaha. We're not trying to get eyeball fuck for 10 minutes. Have a fucking stare down for 30 minutes. People see changing, angling. This is Omaha, we're gambling. Don't need no stare down in Omaha. Patel, though, trying to pick up a read, a lot of money at stake, trying to do anything you can to get additional information. Obviously, understand it, but these PLO games play a little cash. Way more so than no limit. Just got these chips. Okay, I'll loan them back too. 
Big spot here between Danny and Fatal. Pretty similar hands. They both spike pop pair. They got that 8-7 open ender to go with it. Also have players lurking behind you. Always something you got to consider in Pot in Omaha. These multi-way pots are treacherous. Always somebody potentially lying in the weeds. Spot there for Danny. He picks it up. He's got that big stack and he's applying pressure. No. 789 would be so far in his ass. Good one, 7 8. That's so good. Obviously, for tall concern, he's up against a set there and just has an open end straight draw effectively, which could be the case. You fold the 10 7 8? Please, please. Too stupid. Well, you can't have 10 7 8. Usually, I steal your 10 5 6. Yeah. He's bad. I don't know. Danny also running really well. Sometimes it's kind of easier to think somebody's got a huge hand when they've been having an epic session like he has. Danny also playing very well. Fatal just decided to get out of the way in that huge spot. Can't blame him in a way. He'll be kicking himself when he sees the replay. But they had a similar hand and he had the best of it. But obviously, sets exist, other hands exist. Danny's running amazing, playing great. Probably decide there's a better person, better hand to go with for a six-figure punt. Perhaps a little stack management there by uh, Fatal, not wanting to get involved in that major of a way. Paul Lebedohama, a little easier to play when you're shallow, that's for sure. It gets really complicated the deeper you get for obvious reasons. Tall in the lead here with top two tens and nines. Obviously, very messy board. River even messier now. Flush comes in three of diamonds. Charles secures it with the queen high diamonds. Flush, me too. Queen high, flush. John continuing to be up against it. Calls with the five high flush. Loses to Charles Queens. Queen high flush. Hoping maybe Charles is just button click bluffing there, maybe having the ace of diamonds as a blocker bluff. <laughs> Tough hand there for John. Anthony opened in with that 300 large stack. He's going to make it 8,000 with 8875, three diamonds. John waking up with much needed aces here. He's got his diamonds covered as well with ace six of diamonds. 
He's going to three bet here. An Omaha pot is three times the last bet plus what's in the pot. It's going to make it 28,000. Gets about a third of the stack in there with aces, which you'd love to see. 62 grand heading to the flop. Basically a pot size bet left for John. He's pretty much going to stick it in on about <laughs> a lot of flops. That's for sure. This is going to be one of them, I think. He's going to stick it in and hope for the best with that pot size bet left. Anthony's going to tag along. He's got a pair and a piece. He's got a little gutty to go with it. Needs a six for a straight. That is in John's hand, thankfully, for his sake. John with a little 57, 43% favorite here. Let's see if John can hold here. He's on his third, I think, shell. Nice to win the first one. Dog scratches that itch. Happy to see that first run out. Feeling good about things. Still scratching that itch as we head to the river. And the dog was not concerned for good reason. Good deck read there by Sparky in the background. Nice little 100K win there for John. Take the raise, you got me. The call was amazing. Might need to check Sparky for please after this FYI. He said, but, he said uh, my call was amazing. He'll take the hundred grand <laughs> in the meantime. Uh, pump fake pre-flop got me. I really was going to flop. What? I really was going to flop. I know, it's kind of stupid because... Because I was remembering what you were telling me, single suited aces. Well, you're going to flat. I was and thinking then, of folding. And then he went to fold. <laughs> I don't know, it's stupid. Here you go, John. Talk to me. John that's going not, for big you air here. Don't stop talking. No, it was bad, though, because it looked like you were going <laughs> like to flat, and then he throws his hand in, and then he went back and raised, so it was, like, weird. Oh, I didn't oh, see him do that. that. That's what happened. Yeah. I, I, I saw Professor okay. Stika. And... No. Yeah, my okay, call it. I, I saw him reach for his chips, and I, just, and I thought he was calling. Yeah. And then he went back and yeah, raised. Yeah, but so then I can, like... I can still act on my hand. Of course. I mean, yeah. whatever. It is what it is. I'm yeah. just saying what happened. But I, I don't think he was doing anything but raise that one. Got to look. Got to like doubling up to 200K and having the joke of the night there. What a nice little sequence there for John. Sticks the landing on the joke, wins 100 grand in the hand, runs it twice, wins both. I don't think he even noticed that. John maybe, maybe on the comeback I, trip. I, I was not angling. I, what? I was not angling. I don't care either way. Right. Well, always do what you want until you do it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, okay. I'm going to give another shout out to Prometheus Poker, one of our proud sponsors here at Hustler. Go to prometheuspoker.com backslash hustler. Prometheus has analyzed thousands of hands from your favorite players on the HCL stream. A good way to do some uh, poker archaeology, so to speak, there. Uncover some old hands, see what the equities were. Prometheuspoker.com backslash hustler. Run a little poker audit on everybody's play. He's asking me. A lot of ways to improve as an aspiring poker player. Watching these streams is definitely one way to do so. Thanks for tuning in here. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by comedic, gamble on social media. I'm also a cash game pro of too many years at this point. Uh, mostly played 1020 to quarter 50 no limit in pot limit Omaha. Thanks for joining us tonight. Got a few orbits left in this absolutely insane game of Palo Bidoma here, 500, 500, 1,000. We've had 3K straddle rounds. We've had 5,000 straddle rounds. Just unheard of action here at the Hustler. It's going to be very interesting to see how they close out here in these final few laps. So far, Danny, commanding pole position leader here. He's been playing amazing, running well as well. Anthony probably feels like a huge winner after being stuck a couple hundy. I think he's back in the winner's circle. And what a great feeling in poker when you're stuck huge. You get back in the green <laughs> or even just less of the red is a great feeling as well. I mean, really, really good session here for Anthony. He was really up against it much of the day. He was kind of an air ball spot yesterday, except it only lasted a few hours for Anthony. He got that mean reversion heater to kick in midway.
best echo. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Battle of the over pairs here between Danny and Anthony. Danny and the Catbird seed here with the Kings. Like to be up against Queens. It's got to fade some straight outs though. Anthony can make a straight with an eight or a four. Coincidentally enough, Danny has an eight and a four in his hand. That's helpful to his cause. He's an 80% 80, 80 favorite here. 66 grand in the middle. He's gonna check back as we see this river, ace of clubs. Brings in a four five open ender on the flop. Nobody with an ace in their hand. 66 grand in this pot. Anthony first to act. Check. Could be a Queens. good bluff if he okay. fired, but perhaps thinking his queens are good enough and he doesn't need to bet. <clears throat> The heater continues for Danny Rakin and yet another pot. Nice. You, you managed to complain. What do you complain? Tell he he tell also me mentioned problem. double suited. Not tell one suited. Double problem. suited. What are you complaining about right now? You're such an amazing player. Bro. <laughs> John, this is your friend. Yeah, that's my friend. Is this my future when I get old? <laughs> Is this my future when I get fat? <laughs> no, you wouldn't be able to pull it off like me. Yeah. <laughs> you guys over there? When you're a big winner in a poker game, you're going to get a lot of envy, a lot of roast comments from the from the table mates. But I think Danny's fine with that. He'll take some, uh, some envious roasting. 50. Probably worth the 300 large is up. He'll take the brunt of the jokes. He'll take the, he'll mumble, take the mumble, heat. Mumble, 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 mumble. <laughs> 50, what do you have left, amigo? 60. 60. I don't know. 64. We've been here from Charles to 50 large. <laughs> With the ace being 7 yeah. 6, double suited to the high side. King A5, two diamonds. Charles spikes that open ender to go with it. That's just gonna make him easily stick in his last 64,000. You found the exact uh, race to price me in, huh, amigo? How good are you? How much is that? Show your hand. Patal I committed. With the tough hand here, he just got Jax, got committed. the gut you shot. Have no but I know, I know. Oh, it's not, you committed. <laughs> can't see him continuing here. And there's a 112. He's going to get a tied hand fold, so to speak. Even equity here, as you can see, but. What do you have, amigo? Flush draw? What do you have? Dust. Dust. Uh, Tough spot here for Fatal. And wow, what a heroic Twice call by gracious. Fatal. Goodness Straight gracious. Off. Insane gambit here by oh, Fatal. What a read. I can be times? your hero, baby. Enrique Iglesias mode in full effect tonight. Wow. What a call. Of course. That would be perfect. Make the perfect call in this fucking lucky game. Unreal. Right read, wrong deck read by Fatal. You want an ace or a queen? What? He gets the save there on that second run out. Repeating king and a deuce. Jack's hold up there. He's just full of compliments today, huh, buddy? He was really sweating there. He's tough losing the first one. I don't know anymore. I'll tell you what, the taller in that one there. I don't know anymore. Great lead out there by Charles, an even better call by Fatal. That was gutsy, folks. Race to price me in. 
Calling with Jax on a king high two diamond flop. He just has Jax in a little gutty with 9-7. No diamonds at all, 9-7 of hearts. I mean, that was some uh, intestinal fortitude right there. I saw your right dust. He's out, he's out, right? <laughs> but of course, <laughs> can never go like blank blank. I don't know if Fatal saw him twist an Oreo or what, but that was a hell of a read there. Goodness gracious. Wow. What a gutsy I'm call there by Fatal. Gutsy play of the day I just so wanted to make sure I, I dust my money so I'm not called an it anymore. All right. I told you, I took it back. Uh, the knit status is off. For now. Now you're on probation. Super gutsy call there by Fatal. Man, unreal. Nice to see him get saved there in that second run out. You lose that first one, it's just not a great feeling, I can tell you that, especially after making a tough call like that. Nice to see him get rewarded with a second run out there. Battle between Fatal and John. John just leading out the little little weak bet. Does the job. Hard to think a weak bet's going to get through one. a guy that just called it off a yeah. jacks on a king high flop, one. but he did it. They were at 5-2, and now it's 5-0. I think Fatal would call with just one card in his hand for 1,000. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Some incredible poker being played here tonight. Highlighted by an insane hero call there by Fatal a few hands ago. What a way to near the end of this insane stream here. Makes you wonder if we're going to see another crazy hand as we round into the final few here. This 500, 501k pot limit Omaha match between a bunch of just absolutely seasoned gamblers going for it hard, going for big air, going hard in the paint, playing a lot of street poker. Not any scared money in this lineup, that's for sure. Feldman definitely curates it as such. And you've definitely seen why with the action here tonight. I don't think many people are going to be trying to get bluffs through Fatal for that hand. He put on some pretty good tape there <laughs> with that call off. Goodness. What a hand. <coughs> Ace is still in the lead here. Ross picking up a lot of additional equity here with that turn. Got a spade draw now to go with this queen. Spikes a four as well. Trip fours will do it. He can make it. Even a little measly duck would work as well. John in there with king, king, jack, eight, thinking his kings are good. He's got that jack blocker to go with it. Five, six comes in as a straight as well. Faraz going for it here. All in for 89 large. Really going to put Charles for the tester. He's got unimproved aces. Uh, took 20 in. How much more? He's the equity favorite here, but it's hard to know that when somebody's jamming in 89 grand. He's got to call a memeable amount. 69 grand. Twice? And he nice. does it. Yeah, one pair. One pair. Gutsy call by Charles here, 60-40, let's see it. 
233,000 at stake here. Quite the sweat. Two on the river. Unbelievable. A measly fours and twos takes it down on that first run out. All the additional equity counts. Picking up that four was pivotal. Pivotal. Now that deuce gives him two pair to outrun aces. Ace on the river, though, for Charles. I'm happy with the chop. Oh, chop, 20, chop. Pretty uh, fair result. Are you 28? I put the right, 20. Right, right. Yeah. Good, good, good. Sorry. Good hand. Yeah. I'm very proud of myself right now, the way I played this hand. I'm playing some poker here. I wish you, I wish you have a pair in the backdoor flash draw. That's it. <laughs> you got to have <laughs> something. No two pairs or whatever. Buddy, how can you call? What is going on? Gutsy raised by Faraz. Hey, Gutsy hey, call look, off by Charles. We're not even waiting for fucking top sets and shit, bro. We're here to gamble. Let's go. He ain't wrong. He ain't I wrong. I checked back flop. I'm ready to cut turn. And the raver. Charles, I don't know who made a better play here, me or you. I think me. you're, yes. <laughs> they both played it great. <laughs> Got to give it to them. 20, 20. Oh, I'm still, 40, I still got oh, the bun. I had the one pair, I had the one pair. <laughs> gutsy <laughs> jam, gutsy your call. No um, <laughs> on a straight board, no less. Five, six no, makes a straight. Charles Galfond is back. <laughs> Somebody could have two pair, a set, a straight. These guys are in there with a the single pair, just rifling in 80 grand like it's nothing. Out, right? <laughs> I'm winning that on the second board. I know, no, it's three five, I'm dead. Straight draw, they're just straight draw. The five I don't have a straight draw. Dead. I just had a pair and the flush draw. An over pair. Charles waking up at the aces here as we round out this incredible session here. A handful of hands left. Makes it nine large with ace, ace, five, two, ace high spades. Fatal folds the four suit hand, as you should, if you like money. Professor's going to get in there with the double suited 8874. Nice little snapper hand. King, king, nine, two clubs. Professor does flop a club draw. He's one to lead out in a lot of scenarios here. I think he may just rep this king. Likes having the club draw to go with it. He's got the 879 as well for inquiring minds. Got a little backdoor straight equity. 10 makes him an open ender, as would a 6. Also pick up additional cards, give him gut shots as well. But he's going to plow through here, lead into the aces of Charles. Charles calls the 8 grand, 38 grand as we head to this turn. Ace on the turn. This is what you dream about for Charles. He's got aces full now. His opponent had a king, that's a little two out shout. He's hoping he had a king now. He's got aces full. Professor still left with the lonely pair of eights. Has that club draw to go with it. You may think it's good, but it is absolutely drawn dead scenario. He gets out of the way. Good fold there by Professor. Wasn't even a big bet either. Good fold there by Professor. Four times, did you collect? We also put 500 in the beginning. Okay. Have to put a little more. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Shout out to WPT Global State Kings, Rad Poker, Prometheus Poker, all these amazing sponsors helping us bring this insane action to the screen here tonight and last night. If you didn't see last night action, it was absolutely insane. 5K straddle last hour of action. You got 10 hours of incredible nosebleed PLO content here from the Hustler last two nights. Lots of action. All archived. Check it out on the YouTube channel, Hustler Casino Live. For those wanting to pony up here and play a game on the casino floor, the games are on Poker Atlas. Check out Hustler Casino Live on YouTube, and the Hustler Casino ring games are on Poker Atlas. Nice hand here for Charles, ace, king, king, nine. He's going to three bet to almost 30 large here. I taught the double suited hand, but pretty clunky. He's gonna get it out of the way. Pretty disjointed hand there. 
Love it. In bad shape with a king nine in this hand. Charles having king. the king, king nine. Is there a king? Good Kings. duck Kings. there by Fatal. Kings, no queen. We're drawing dead. Three thousand dollar straddle here, folks. One K, three K. Why not? Let's see if we draw some major blood in the hand here as we lean to the finish here. It's been some epic pops so far in this session. Pop. Nine, eight, ten. Uh, ten, five. Ten, five. Top set here for Anthony. Absolute dream scenario. No, Professor's okay. going to check. He's got a king high flush draw. This could get spicy here, folks. Anthony with top set. He's going to bet 15 grand into 24. Professor with a second nut flush draw here. He's got some backdoor straight outs. Five would give him an open ended, but that's 6 4 3. What was the word he used? He used that really weird word. Why are these guys fucking with you? No, no. Jack pinches like, off like, on the turn. The Professor now picks up a gut shot eight. here. Sure, Queen makes it straight. Additional equity for the Professor. Anthony firmly in the lead with top set, but not a great card here. That Jack coming off brings in a lot of straights. 7 8 open ender comes in. Queen 8 comes in. King Queen comes in. Tough spot in Omaha. The nuts change on almost every street with four cards. It's not hard for somebody to connect with it. Very intricate game. It's far from bingo, folks. Tough spot here for Anthony. Check to Anthony. 55 grand in the pot. Correctly sticking out of bet here. He's got a king in his hand as well, which is a little helpful. It does block the king, 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 queen straight. Obviously, spades are the primary draw on the flop. He's still got a set of tens. Having the king in the eight in his hand blocks him straight. That's very helpful to his cause. He's still got a set of tens here. He's liking it. He's going to jam over the professor's lead of 38 grand. All in for 150 large. This is not easy to do, folks. Really good read here by Anthony. How much can you make if he pots? Professor led that scare card. That play's going to work a lot. But better than the top of Anthony's range here. He flopped the nuts on the flop with the top set of tens. And how much is that? Professor's lead would work a lot on a lot of turns, but not here. Really good gutsy go with by Anthony. Okay. Seeing some real gutsy play here by these folks tonight. Really got to give it to them. Not easy to do when the stakes are this magnified. Can you, can you put a, yeah. Can't okay, underscore can that. Yeah, it's just really, really impressive. Insane amount of gravity to all these pots. I knew we'd get a big one here towards the end. Quarter of a milli in the pot right now. Stop, guys. It's one fall on top of. It's okay. I got it. Here, 38. Yeah, that, that's everything. <coughs> so, how much is that part? Everything, the, how much is the middle? 243 now. 243? In the middle. No, with, no, no, I'm saying this, this, this That's including the minus the When you jam like Anthony, you're just praying not to get snapped off. He's got to love the tank here with the set of tens. Flops the nuts on the flop, gets called. 
Then he has the professor leading into him on a one, straightening turn. One thirty. Not a great scenario. One thirty. One thirty. This is a one ten basically. Very gutsy go with here by Anthony. Correctly so as well. King and eight helpful in his hand blocking the straights. He's got a set of tens here. Professor can make a straight with a queen. He can make a flush with a spade. However, a pairing spade will make Anthony the best hand with the full house. Massive spot here as we lean at the tape here at Hustler. Insane hand here. Professor led 38 grand on this turn. Anthony facing that bet on that straightening card still goes with his hand, pops it with a set on this straight turn. Charging the professor to realize his equity, the gut shot straight draw and a king high flush draw. of hand here. Even the dealer's probably nervous. This is a lot of money about to change hands here. Hats off to all these dealers. Not easy to deal a game of this magnitude. <clears throat> Haven't seen any mistakes so far. Hats off to the staff here. Not easy to deal a game like this. He's going to find a fold. Nice hand for Anthony. Huge finish here for Anthony. He was stuck a couple hundred. He's in the winner's circle now. Why would I, why would I dunk? How are we not seeing a rabbit on this one? What's the river here? I could easily just call his bad. Professor wishing he played that as a check call now. Could have realized his equity. Check calling that, get into a river, but he's going to try to win without showdown. Play that scare card and lead out. Forced Anthony to make a real gutsy go with their hell of a play by Anthony. Not yet. I'm trying. What's the difference? I'm gonna can't know. let you win. Can't you can't let you win? You win more. Professor you 111. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you learn faster. Anthony I'm actually stuck. But those you readings are correct by State Kings. I thought he was unstuck, but he definitely made a lot of a lot of headway from where he was at previous. Play the hand uh, the yeah. worst possible way. Yeah, the donkey straight. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the worst possible way to play my hand. The best hand I see in two hours, they all hold it. Looks like we're getting some bonus content here. I mean, how can you not? This game has been unbelievable. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble on social media. I guess I play uh, peasant stakes. I'm just a worker bee, 10, 20, quarter, 50 reg. Uh, this is beyond my scope stake wise. I think the biggest game I've ever played is like 100, 200, maybe 300 straddle for a few orbits. But that's obviously uh, as big as I've gone. This is dwarfing that by a mile. If I am not, if I am not only not space, yeah, not space. So played with a handful of these guys over the years, like Fatal no, no, and Danny. Yeah, 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 cool to see them on the biggest of stages here tonight. Shout out to all the chat warriors out there. Thanks for engaging with the show tonight. Appreciate all the kind words. It's been a hell of a game here tonight, folks. Been 10 hours of insane high stakes nosebleed PLO action here yesterday and today. Unbelievable action. Danny flopping top two here with queens up, queen jack eight on a queen eight four, two spade flop. Nobody with a spade draw here. Great news for Danny here. Patal with a huge ace king queen jack hand though. Flopping massive as well. He's gonna call 23 grand, hoping to spike. 
top two that's not a spade here, obviously. Any card he hits is going to make top two pair. Danny with a vulnerable queens up, queens and eights. Amazing safe card there, a duck on the turn, two of hearts. Also gives them a flush draw. Could be a much of a better turn for Danny. Emblematic of an incredible night for him so far. He's been playing amazing. He's got some great boards to play as well. This being a great example of just that. And Fatal in the meat grinder here. He's got ace, king, queen, jack, and a raised pot. Comes queen high. Got to think that's amazing, but he's up against it. Versus Danny's queen eight. Picked up hearts as well. Tough spot for Fatal. Whip it in your ass and just go one time. And he, that's where he wants to stick it. Will he do it? It might end up hurting his if he does so. Fatal is one for the heroics as that Jack's hand 20 minutes ago displayed in a tough spot again here. This is poker, folks. 158 grand in the middle. Facing an 80 grand bet from Danny here. PLO is far from flipping. A lot of these pots tip the scale. I bet you. He said he has, has no How much you want to bet? No, he, he, I believe he, he doesn't have two kings. 500. Really good fold there by Fatal. This time he had a monster, but 19-2. He put in like 60 grand with jacks or whatever on a king high flop, and he's going to get out of the way there on an even better board. Great decision there by Fatal. He turned a set. Oh, my God. He turned a set. Real good play there by Fatal. Eight Double flush draw board would have been Change easy to put it. Yeah. Danny on some kind of hundreds in there. Bluffing hand with a lot of draw equity, but he was up against it. Danny had a better made hand than his. Feel the hand. Easy to talk yourself into putting your opponent on a draw when you got a hand like that. Good discipline there by Fatal. That's for money. That's fine. Whatever. Thank you. Take it out of my five. What's Okay. Don't throw your hands away. You guys are all something over there. You're three. Fatal, don't vote. Three. Huh? You don't vote. You're the three. three. I cannot breathe. Yeah. Fries hasn't played with me enough. He thinks I only played nuts. Eight. Eight. Learn from the best. Learn from the Anthony. He's doing that? Not the best. Who? Who's hungry? He's reading 8,000. I learned. Take the 25? Yeah. No. You took the 25? Uh, I did not. I didn't take the 25. I don't know. The 100 came from here. I'm supposed to have 375. There you go. It's not you. No. Okay. What happened? What happened? How much? Mm Hot? -hmm. <coughs> huh? Got an 8K open by a professor with Jack Jack 9 8. Charles calls it King 8 5 5 double. Fatal getting involved here. Looks like with Queens. Queen High Diamonds. Going to play it as a call. Pretty standard way to approach it here by Fatal. But looks like we got a little delay in the graphics. He's going to play it aggressively here. Three bets to 70 to 34 grand. Uh, got 65. 70 behind. 70. 66. 66 68. 68. Well timed three bet here by Fatal with kind of. Keep doing stupid. Whatever Queens. He gets a fold. Queen, Queen, six, three singles. Not a premium holding, but that did not stop the call from sticking in a three bet there. Good instincts there by Fatal. Scoops up the money. Nice three bet there by Fatal. If you went all in, we were going to go once, too. One time with Professor tonight. He got me one time earlier. 
Did I? Huh? Small. Not Did that I? small. This is small. 130,000. Is this small? 63. Is this small? 65. Yeah, 65. Twice I would have won, though. Or twice I would have chopped. Chopped? Not one. You fucked me. Where's the show? It's Tully on you. Check. Favorable flop for Fatal's ace king king ten. Got back to her spades as well. Each player spiking an ace here. Professor with the a six four three. He's got a little gut shot to the five here. Club comes in on the turn. Fatal with no clubs. Not the best turn for ace king king. Seven of clubs pinches off. Professor fearing the same thing. Also checks back. Ten of spades on the river. Fatal now with aces up, aces and tens. Professor going to check back as well. Nice little 19 ball for Fatal. He's going to rake it in. Oh, oh, you, put oh. A pe you put a penny in that river, and it's going to the moon. Oh. What about no, the river. What river. about the turn, buddy? River, river. What about the turn, buddy? Turn, I dust though. Yeah. River, river, you put $1 in, I <coughs> raise you to the moon. You didn't, why you, you're up so much, you're not doing stupid anymore, huh? He's not up. He's up stuck. Now he's losing. I'm three, right? No, 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 no. Oh, red, red. He's up but so much. The, the, the ante. You can't miss the ante. Nice hand here for Fatal. I straddled four. Yeah, I straddled four. Ace, yeah, queen, jack, jack. Double to the high side here. Ace, high spades, queen, high clubs. I can just, I don't even know what you guys are doing. Four is fine. Four is okay. Four is fine. I haven't looked or anything. We didn't get one time. Last time Frost was another. It's because he only missed one. He didn't miss his ante. Yeah, he didn't miss the ante. It should be four plus two ante. Plus two ante. Yeah. Because the Frost didn't miss the ante. What are the blinds? It's because it's, five, it's five, three, one, one, three, three dead and, and one and one. Yeah. Okay, I'll just, There's no anti I'll just, this Okay, I'll just wait. I haven't okay, looked at okay, my hand. You can okay, look at the okay, camera. Okay. I haven't. Yeah, yeah. No, we believe you. Straddle four. four. I mean. But wait, then four. what happens to me? Yeah, straddle yeah, four. He's not, huh? he's not, he's not like using it. Yeah. One time four is okay. Straddle yeah, four. He's putting four because I already called. Okay, you just a little? I called four. Yeah, that's why it's weird. Like it's, we got a 4K straddle on now, folks. No, we know, we know. It's, like, it's just so weird because now the three's on and the two dead. And, yeah, yeah, if I knew it was sick, I just wouldn't yeah. avoid it. It's always tricky when a player reenters a game where there's a straddle around in the midst that they're trying to deliberate on now how to adjudicate that with a rejoining player in the midst of a straddle round. <laughs> Common scenario in a live cash game. Big flop here for Fatal. Flops a, a nut flush draw. He's got a gut shot to the 10 as well. Got the over pair of jacks. Anthony in there with kings. But Faraz with the top set of nines here. He's gonna bet nine in the 20,000. Perhaps hoping to induce a re-raise with that small bet on a bit of a dry flop here, wrapped around the 9-8 of spades, a lot of drawing hands. Check to him on the button, he's gonna do a small bet here with a set of nines, hoping to induce a raise. John calls here with nines up, nines and threes. He's got a gut shot to the six as well. And Fatal bringing out the big chips. We're about to see a doozy here, folks. <clears throat> Massive pot here in the making between Fatal and Faraz. Fatal makes it 56 grand and 
a prompt shove from Faraz. He's got the current nuts, top set of nines, but as you see, Fatal right. with the equity advantage here. Twice. Jack gives him a higher set. Spade gives him a flush. Ten gives him a straight. Faraz blocking that straight slightly with the ten in his hand. Has an off spade as well. About right. Still 55% for Fatal. Sounds a fucking about right. Tonight. 220 at risk Eight. here. Gutty realized for Fatal. Need a board pair here for Faraz, but no All luck. Rounds. Nice to win the first one. <laughs> you guys are fucking retarded. Instant lockdown for Faraz with the three. Oh, oh he could have got a he could have got a jack, but it didn't matter. He faded the two out shot after that board paired on the so turn. So stupid, you can't even pick up a joke, huh? Fucking okay, dumb and dumber. Jack. $222,000 pot here. <laughs> Thank God for poker, huh? Massive confrontation there. Top set versus nut flush draw. Gut shot. <laughs> Two outs to a higher set. Massive confrontation there. You fought a 4K with that. You should tell him what he was commenting on your hand earlier. It was so confusing. I don't even know what the fuck was going on. Mike. Unique thing about Omaha, you flop the nuts, you got top set of nine, you get all your money in, and yeah. you're a That's dog. That's great when you just hit everything, huh, buddy? Yeah, buddy. Ain't Love that something. Love to see you when you fucking miss. You don't see that in no limit. Don't watch the stream. <laughs> PLO is a gambling game played by gamblers. You're going to play against nerds, miss. play no limit. Do with that what you play. will. That's probably right. <laughs> Look, two of the best play the same. Hmm? Two of the best play alike. Play the same. A bunch of gamblers going for it here tonight. Unreal action here. $3,000 bring in. We've had a $5,000 bring in earlier. We had about an hour of $5,000 straddles last night. Unbelievable poker action here. Brought to you by Hustler Casino Live. Five hours of. Just in case. Insane PLO stakes last night, even more tonight. Looks like you're getting some bonus bucks here. We're going to extra innings, it looks like. Vaseline or no Vaseline? He likes it straight up. <laughs> so I'm the easy target, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know why you don't do enough of those stupid fucking min races. <laughs> Getting so chippy topic, huh? here. Lots of roasting so in a high stakes huh? game. They're so appropriate every time. I don't even know if you know how to use it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Fatal wanting to probe his opponents here, looks like tonight. <laughs> Professor waking up with the Rockets, Ace A7 6. He's in the big blind here. Eight. Looks like it's a battle of the blinds here. He's gonna make it 8,000. Let's see what Charles wakes up with. Jack 8, 7, 3, not much there. Over to Anthony. It's gonna be five grand for him to call. Does have position on Professor. Queen, Queen, 8, Rainbow. No luck for either player. Professor still with the hammer lock here. Aces up, far on the lead, but. Always fearful of that trip queen possibility. 
Press is going to bat. Quick fall from Anthony. Nothing to see here. And then he asked for a second. There were six like, very strange interactions within 10 minutes of yeah. this guy. Like, yeah. I, there were six different grown men that walked up to him <laughs> and just like, can I play with your dog? Sit on the fucking floor of the six. wind casino. It was like the, the strangest thing I've ever seen in my six life. Six different people? Six different grown men and one dusty. And one what dusty. the fuck? That's weird. What's the yeah. odds of that? Six. I mean, how often? No, it wasn't happen? six. It was four at least. Four and then two women. Yeah, it was six people. We're four doing round of threes, right? Okay. Yeah, just keep it on. One guy goes, on. one guy walks up to him and goes, is that an emotional support dog? Fatal goes, yes. And he goes, good, I need emotional support. He sits <laughs> on the fucking floor. I swear to God, that was That's true. Direction. That was true. Fucking 40-year-old man. And I'm just, yeah. I didn't say anything. I was just like, and then they're like, thank me for that. They're like, wow, I needed that. Thank you so much. Crazy. Yeah, it was pretty insane. Heads up confrontation here between Charles and Anthony. Slide over pair, Charles with the pocket nines. Anthony spiked top pair of eights with the side cards, but sharing the king 10 with Charles, who's got the better made hand with pocket nines. 14 grand bet from Anthony when check two. Assuming his hand is best, cannot blame him here. He's gonna define the hand. Charles folds with pocket nines, which Okay. May seem Not odd, good. but it's hard for his hand to improve. He's out of position. Anthony's a tough customer. He's just going to get out of the way there. Anthony easily could have an overpair higher than his nines. Tough to play hands out of position in Omaha. He gets out of the way. Understandable. <clears throat> Despite having the best hand. A lot easier to play Where did you at go home, after the catcher? That's for sure. He, the pitcher hit him. The pitcher hit him. Why go after the catcher? Sometimes that's a better move. You go after the pitcher, you know the catcher is coming behind you. Just go straight to the point. The pitcher's not coming after you. Not Was the work. catcher order it? I don't understand. Um, most of the time. Because the catcher's got to know where the ball's going. They almost did or they did? They did. And Dustin Baker's like, dude, I'm down, we're down four to chip in the division. Like, yeah. He's like, if we're going to tag him, we do it in preseason next week. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to do it. Like, uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So why, why didn't you get out with Dustin Yeah, or you do it if you're down like seven yeah. runs or up seven yeah. runs. Professor going to open here. King oh, Queen 9 7 good. single to the high side here. Oh, King High Clubs. The got the Anthony in there oh, with Jacks. Five deuce oh, double suited as well. Jack high, spades and clubs. That is pretty insane. <laughs> this corner is always bad. Three ways to this flop. Repeating queens and a six. Queen, queen, six, two clubs. Professor hitting pay dirt here. Got trip queens and a king high flush drop for good measure to go with it. Amazing spot for Professor as he Ruffle some eyebrows to his dismay, but probably going to find a bet here, it looks like. Going to bet 8500 here in the 30000 Hoping to price in Anthony with jacks and a jack-high club. Could get very interesting here. If a club pinches off, let alone a jack. This bet size should drag in Anthony. Kind of a good example of why you don't want to just pot out or make huge bets here. He's going to be able to get a loose tug here from Anthony with the worst hand. He's going to come along, call 8,500 with jacks, jack high clubs. 
King of Spades on the turn now. Double flush draw board through the turn. Professor filling up. King's full. We got King Queen on a Queen. Queen six King board. Hand keeps get, getting better for Professor. We got 47,000 in the middle now. Now Anthony with the double flush draw here. He's got spades and clubs, so a bit complicated on a paired board as always in Omaha. The professor could see Anthony's hand. He'd check or bet real small here. He's gonna bet 21 grand here. Around a half size pot bet for Professor. If he could see his hand, he wish he would bet even less, that's for sure. But he's trying to build a big pot here. Stacks are massive. 180K effective before the bet. Anthony's going to call 21 grand as we head to this river. Three of spades on the river. Jack high flush for Anthony, but again, paired board. 90 grand in the middle. A bit of a tricky spot here for Anthony, to say the least. The professor's got a lot of waggle in his game, too. Far from a net. Hard to get away from hands against players like this. Let's see what kind of size he's going to face here. 89,000 in the middle. Professor just hoping Anthony filled up here with the Queen X. He's got the top boat here with King Queen. He's in a bad bot two thirds, three quarters here, 67,000. Getting over two to one on a call here, but again, paired board. He's got the second nut flush here. Loses to ace high spades as well. Loses to any boat. Bet, bet, bet. Any calls? Is a call? <laughs> Huge hand for the professor. Anthony threw out a small amount of chips signifying a call. He's gonna be on the hook for that 67 grand. He's paying it off, much to his dismay. Tough run out there for Anthony. Breaking in those newly updated Hustler chips is the professor. A lot of blood being shed here, predictably so, in this massive stakes nosebleed game of Pot Limit Omaha here. It's been back to back days of unbelievable Why action. $3,000 straddle no, as we speak. No, because you, you ask him if it's a call. <laughs> Obviously, it's a call. Really great sizing there by what the are professor. You, what were you thinking? It's not a call. I was looking at this area. I didn't oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, he put three chips out there, so just in case. Feels like he won the absolute maximum there. Not always. Always feels good to make a bet, have your opponent tank for a while and reluctantly call. Check, 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 turn, I cannot hold. Okay. Probably would have bet smaller had he seen his opponent had a non nut flush on that paired board, but it paid off. Really good sizing there by Professor. He won about as much as he could have there, I think. Huh? You check, right? Shout out to everybody engaging with the show, watching and in the chat. Looks like we got a Phil Helmuth siding in the chat, getting involved here. Nice to see Phil engage with the show. Get on up here, Phil. Take a seat. I'm sure we'll have you. Let's see how your four card game is. These guys can spell poker a little bit, though, as you can see. A lot of big brain DJ and gambling going on here tonight at the Hustler. Highlighted by the play of Danny, who's been the bell of the ball so far here tonight. Yeah. 
get this? No. You guys get so mad. You're making jokes, dude. So much anger. Why are you angry? A cloud man. Beautiful girlfriend. Is there any chance that you're, that you're misreading everyone? <laughs> Never. No shot, right? Not in poker, for sure. He actually is super bad with, like, I don't know what the word is, like, social cues. Like, like a guy will be buried, and he'll just be like, ah, like that. And the guy will be, like, literally looking at him. Listen, like, nah, that guy loves like, uh, You can do that to me. I'm buried. Well, it wouldn't bother me. Yes, but I can see that it doesn't bother you. Huh? I'm saying, like, you don't, you don't understand what I'm saying. Like, I've seen you do it many times. To somebody. You know what I'm saying, right? You Only. You know what I'm saying, right? Kind of. I get it. How much? I'll fucking take it. I'm tilted now. Okay, come on. They're good. Yeah. Professor's up too much, playing too good, playing his A game. Are we done? That's all. I'm actually in for Updated chip count here brought to you by Steak Kings once again. We're playing, right? I'm not quitting, I'll, I'll play. I got special guests coming for you guys. Let's go. Gonna buy a piece of your favorite uh, poker player like a Phil Homies or a Phil Ivy for that matter. Go to statekings.com backslash hustler. Buy a piece of your favorite player in a cash game or a tournament. <laughs> Have an argument with your friends on who's better. Put some money on it. Let's see. Buy a piece. Statekings.com backslash hustler. That's who's coming? Oh my God. Shout out to Stake King. Shout out to Rad Poker. WPT Global with that 100% match up to 1200. Prometheus Poker. A lot of great sponsors here tonight. It's been an incredible night of action so far, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been unbelievable. I'm your commentator, Adam Johnson. I go by Comedic Gamble. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time.